asking whether we're ready to go live. Yes, <laughs> I have hit the go I live. I make sure in case he accidentally clicked. The Wait, button. you <laughs> ask, are you ready to go live? And instantly, without waiting for an answer, hit go live. No, Why I did just you waited even for. Ask? No, I just waited for an answer, and then you. Said I some think, silly I think thing. you're getting confused. Clum. I think yeah, we are getting confused. And then I said, and then I said the thing because yeah, that's you did. the thing we do before we go live. Well, hey, no, we live. don't do that. But ah, oh, sure. So we <laughs> live, right? Yes, correct. We, we live, are. Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everyone ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I believe uh, so. We're still sorting yeah. stuff. Yeah, take Pretty take much. your time. Finish sorting so many spells. Wait, was wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, you do this. <laughs> <laughs> I like how my character has six potions of healing on them. That's including the bag of holding. Well, let's see if you guys actually use them. Uh, don't say it like that. <laughs> yeah, mm. okay, don't worry. <clears throat> let's do a ping. At live notification. I mean, if you guys do not use the the potions, everything you do not use, you can return for money uh, after the the quest. Yeah, I remember you saying that. So that's an an incentive to play well. True. And we got this. Do you? Yes. We do. No uh, room for no I room for negativity here. Go to mysterysayword.com. That's that's he's the site. He's positive yeah. as always when he plays Mario Maker 2, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? I love Mario Maker. It's like my favorite game, man. Yeah, you wait, wait, what day, is right? that roller doing over here? <clears throat> that's a good okay, question. Uh, wait, wait, just for the other guys, for the information, I'm more or less a new player. I have kind of, I think, the utmost basics at D&D, &D, but I'm not 100% familiar with everything, so... You're all good. I will... Okay, cool. Okay. Just, we're, just we're just playing for fun, and yeah, you know, we'll yeah, work it out. Yeah, this is the perfect campaign to you join You just tell us yeah. what you want to do, and we, we, we tell you what to roll. Yeah, okay, cool, nice. I may need help. What happened? What'd you do? There's a Chaos Ball roller. I didn't there do is, anything, yeah. it just... It just went. I couldn't pick it up. Can you put it over <laughs> it's, here? It's where here. It's here called? now. You can't pick it up. What? It's. It's. it's, it's I can't pick it up. Yes. <laughs> I fell no, over no, no. It goes. Up. No, no. Below. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah? No, no. Wait up, up. No. <laughs> oh, here, where the arrow. No, please. <laughs> like a child. I need help. I need an adult. It's, it's, it's hard here. to see where it's gonna go. You have to realize when. Oh it, my god. The shadow isn't correct on my screen, so I'm. Oh my god. All right, All right, now I might be able to pick it. No, I can't. Actually, I literally can't pick up the stuff. Really? Yeah, I can I, pick up is, it, stuff. is it locked on I your end, perhaps? No, it, no? it, should, it shouldn't be. No, I can pick it up. It says I'm connecting to Mondu. Oh, Mondu. There is a little connection symbol blue. over Mondu, yeah. Mondu is ABC blue. The, oh, the, that would uh, have Yep, that would have Save the table. I already saved, yeah. Do you want me to host today, or...? No, 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 no. Uh, that's my normal DC in the morning. <laughs> okay. That doesn't make it better, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, the thing well, is, they reset the, the servers, uh, like, twice a day, so they keep the IPs refreshed. Yeah, I also have that, like, during the night oh, at, like, 1 a.m. Oh, it's every 12 hours at DC? Is that the idea? Uh, uh, I get one uh, around 6 a.m. when everyone is waking up, one around 10 a.m., and one around 6 p.m. So this is just a normal, okay. Yep. When the night All right, I'll be back in one second. And the sure. G's, he's gone. Uh, I'm gonna wait for tabletop to, yeah, okay. Multiplayer, invite, uh, to load, crack and table. Let it load for myself. Like, right now the table is taking a bit to load, but because mm -hmm. of the map, not because of the <laughs> table itself. Yeah. Yeah, it actually loaded in pretty quick last time. Like, not compared to the first time last week. It took ages. Yeah, who solved the big issue? Like, oh, the, really? The issue was the bags. The infinite bags with uh, a special stuff. Oh, okay. That's good, then. Invite, invite, invite. There we go.
Oh, I'm getting invited by Mondu to play Tabletop Simulator. How fun. <laughs> Very fun, yes. <laughs> I really like Tabletop Simulator. It's my favorite game. That's very specific, isn't it? The amount of time I've spent on Tabletop Sim the last couple of days. It is a lot, yeah. Roughly <laughs> 400 hours on Tabletop Simulator. I have barely 100. I mean, I have been playing this for um, a long time before we started doing the Indian stuff. I used mm. to play Magic the Gathering on here for a little bit. Why would you play MTG on Tabletop Sim? I mean, uh, with friends online. There's no other reason. I mean, does anyone else see random rollers around? Yeah, yeah. Um, what? Yeah, what? that's that's a weird one. Yeah, um, what yeah. I see Hawkdoor's strength save. Over yeah, here. yeah. That's a weird one. Yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, oh I remember this issue last time. I don't remember. Oh, going on here? Oh, oh, I think we have to oh. reopen the table again. Oh, oh the only the only ones that are that are good are are uh, meat here's. Hmm. Let me rewind. I did it quite tidily. Yeah, uh, apparently. German engineering. <laughs> must be. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we probably should probably put the in the notes in the bottom right. We should probably put yes character in. We there. should. Okay. Is it fixed? It's loading. Uh. uh Yes. It looks like a yes. Anything else? Of any issues visually? Looks okay to me. Yeah. Uh, it looks, yeah, it looks good. Fine. Yeah. I can pick up stuff. Yeah. That's important. Yeah, I think I'm good. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Let me do one more thing over here, because... Now, finally, I get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when we play D&D, &D, the first thing that pops up in my chat is say word coming in, writing nerd. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Oh, cool! You're dropping one of those over there. I'm getting cards! Mm -hmm. Woo! Looks okay. Like Unless you're proficient in it. it oh. You guys ready? Uh, I'm ready, yeah. I, I believe yeah. so, yes. My body is oh. ready. For a recap, at the Milestone Guild, everyone was out for some reason. No one in the, in the house except our three unlikely party members that got matched in... Extremely the unlikely. <laughs> Extremely unlikely. <laughs> yeah. Um, their mission was to re uh, rescue mission because a team of lower level adventurers, with maybe an exception, was sent uh, to explore uh, a recently found shrine underwater in the Dragonflail Lake. After a few days of travel, fighting some wolves in the way, pretty much destroying those poor animals, uh, they arrived to the, to the lake, fought some... Uh, Shades, shadows underwater. Yes. And almost drowning. And they found themselves taking a short rest before going back down and exploring this little shrine. On the other side, one of the, the members of the original exploration crew is finding himself inside a room, which I'm going to reveal right now. Oh my god. <gasps> That's cool. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, damn. Medir, would you place your model around here? In oh. This yeah. So somewhere in there, I can. I'm oh reading yeah, some, my God. Some, some books and shit. So, you have <laughs> yes, been here. That's Yondu. That's not Yondu. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have been totally here. is, though. <laughs> You I have, have been, been here for roughly four days. Oh wow! Helping your your mage party mem member, who was attacked by some kind of crazy shadow that drains strength, and you two have been recovering for a while. And the only thing you remember is that 
your cleric party member went ahead and suddenly a bunch of crazy shadows were unleashed. And everything went south. Huh. Yandu died. Yeah, not the under die. <laughs> not uh, Yandu. Not, not Yandu. I love how his name not Yandu. That's Everyone great. This is a wizard, not a cleric. Okay. Fair enough. So your party were you, the wizard that you are helping to recover, the a dwarf warrior that ran away, and the cleric that you have no idea what happened. But that's about it. It's been four days and <clears throat> here are the food, but for the moment, let's go back to the rest of the party. What are you guys doing? Uh, where are we? Is a start. <laughs> We were, uh, we were, we we were on top. You guys were on top. Yeah. You mm -hmm. just finished a long, uh, short rest. Right. Yeah, so I assume uh, the next logical thing we would do is enter the ruins. Yeah, I would say so. To that? I think that would be uh, wise. Yeah, we should, feel free we should to probably to start minis. getting in there right. now that they're here all arrested. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is, that, is this where we dive in? I assume we can I'm dive in freely without without like any issues, right? Yeah, we fought the monsters earlier, yeah, so I would say so. That. Oh, there's another shadow spawning. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Move to yet, outside. Yeah, I would be the one you... furthest behind then. You're right the one furthest behind? Who is at the front? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it should probably be Hogdoy, yeah. So, okay. You see, uh, because you're ahead and the, you, all of you have dark vision in some way or another. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, Mither, do you have dark vision? Uh, I don't think so. Mm, let me double That's check why I, I turned Wait, on the... Is this torch these. actually active over here? Uh, what? Is this torch actually active? There is a torch there? on the wall in the cell, yes. Yeah, I activated yeah, the it. Yeah, the, tor the, the, tor the torch is active here. Okay, turn it so he can actually see in the current room he's in. That's the yeah. idea behind okay. Anyways, as you guys get in here, Hogdor, you see, roughly over here, something shiny. Oh. <laughs> oh. What do, do I, you guys do? Uh, do you I see the shiny see thing? It, do I see you, it? you guys will see it. It's very shiny. Uh, knowing that Hogdor has well, said, ooh, shiny. Hogdor sees the shiny uh, thing. I immediately run over to Hogdor and, like, stop him for a moment and, like, put my hand in front of his chest, like, kind of, like, pushing him back. It's, it's a long shape that shines. Whoa. Hogdor likes shiny. Place, Hold on, you guys need to know. Hold on. Inside here, it's dim light. There's, mm -hmm. like, streaks of, um... What what would be the way a good way to describe it? It's like a circuit that glows with a, with a faint blue light. Okay. But like in between here, going like along the, the tiles or something. Along the walls. Ah, along interesting. The walls. Okay. The middle height. I I kind of see what you mean. Yeah. Also, there's a there's a very annoying buzzing. It's like a, you know they sound like a microwave. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Constant. Yeah. Uh, okay. You get, the feeling, you get the feeling that if you were to take a long rest inside here, you would not get too many benefits. Mm. Yeah, basically. So should, should we should we put the spooky dungeon loop on? I'm about to do that. Oh yeah, that would be. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do though is I after stopping Hogdor and he's upset about it, I'm gonna say, hold on, wait, Hogdor. Shiny thing doesn't always mean good. But, but first, and I pull out the bag of holding, right? I, I pull out one uh, potion for each person, so two potions out of the bag, and I give it to Hogdor, and I give one to a Nomo over there. I don't know if Nomo will actually accept it, but I go over there anyways. I'll just I'll just take it. Okay. No common. You gave us a okay. potion each. Uh, okay. Yes, and I am gonna say. I'll take it from your play area, right? Is that just a standard potion of healing? No, 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 no not my play area. I it's from the bag of holding. It's completely different. Here, Is that just a, okay. a standard potion of healing? Yeah, I'll just uh, copy the card I have. Me real quick? Oh. oh, yeah. Just, no. Oh, oh, yeah, we haven't been promoted. Oh, yes. As they do that... Oh, sorry. Uh, that's my fault. Uh, no, you're all good. As I do that, uh, but there, what, the one homebrew rule we are using here is health potions. You, you can drink them as an action, and they mm -hmm. heal full health. So a normal healing potion is... Oh, wow. Death. Okay, cool. I'm you not can full also health drink them... Go. So not 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 your entire full HP, but like usually roll two d four, so it would just yeah, be yeah, eight. It's eight plus ma four. Max HP. Hold on, who did I? Oh, sorry. Uh, change color back to orange. That was a misclick. Okay. So and you can drink them also as a bonus action, but you have to roll in that case. Okay. Cool. Anyways, 
Okay. Um, Anyways, after I give them the potion, I'm going to say, we're in the ruins now, so make sure you use this potion when you need it. You never know what we might find. We might find more of those shadow creatures. It's just in case. Okay. What are you guys doing? Uh, after probably... I give them the potion, I'm actually going to move up very slowly. Hogdor still wants the shiny. I mean, Hogdor can follow behind, but I, I want to go in front because it's shiny. Okay, Hogdor follow. As I get up to this point, <laughs> I'm going to... Not too close, but from right here, I'm going to make a perception check. Is, is that okay, Mondu? Go ahead. What are you looking for? I'm just looking to see if anything's out of the ordinary. Just something weird. Okay. Uh, 21 total. That That's more than enough. You notice that... Uh, the place is dusty. However, this tile over here and this tile over here, there's not dust on, it, on them. No dust, huh? These, these mm. two uh -huh. specifically. Those two specifically, and the same on the opposite side. It's like mirrored. This one. Do you mind it? Do, oh. do you mind if I mark them? So it's like. Perfect. At this point, mm. Mither, you give me a perception check. Okay, wait, I try. So my first one. Whew, so exciting. <laughs> perception. Yes. Perception. Here we go. Roll. Should be wisdom. Are you, do you have a zero I, at perception? No. You, right? Yeah, you should hear be. nothing. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. actually have. There's a boss in the in the in in the room in all this of this place. So if there is footsteps, you are not aware of it. Okay, I keep reading the books. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna immediately make another action here. <clears throat> I see that uh, Noman wants to do the same thing. We're both going to go up to the... the th well, I don't think Noman knows about it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What's the no, behind? I was, uh, was going to check the water, the... but... Okay, that's fair. You want to check the water? Guys... Give me a perception check. <clears throat> uh, uh, this entire block okay. is uh, what you saw without... Like... It, oh, it's the whole uh, thing? I it's have a seven. <laughs> okay, let me seven? Try that, draw that real quick. Hold on. Well, with that, uh, you can tell if you were to walk on this water, it, it, it would be the water levels up to your your ankles, basically. It's Just very, very shallow. where they're at. Hogdor right. wants to know where the shiny uh, yeah, is. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix oh, it. yeah, the shiny. No one said about anything about the shiny. The shiny is actually right now at your foot. It's uh, actually a, a sword. Oh. Does Hogdor pick up the sword? Uh, oh, no. Of course he does. There you go. Hogdor wants shiny. Hogdor wants shiny. Hogdor gets shiny. This is an unsheathed moon moon touched longsword. Oh. That's actually it's, really cool. Uh, do we have a card for it? Uh, I guess yeah, I'm it's already at Sayward's. Oh, you put it here. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, oh, I, I read, I read, I read the one. riding horse card. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That's the same exact thing. Let's go. Yo, this actually looks really nice. That seems cool. So... Moon touch sword. It's basically a sword that glows with moonlight. Okay. That's like a really good sword for a samurai character. Yeah. Keep in mind, is it this a is long a sword, weapon. short sword, or great sword? It's, it's apparently a long, a long sword. sword, right? Yeah. yeah. Sword. It's a uh, long sword. 1D8 gotcha. Okay. Or one d ten if you use two hands. Oh, cool. Keep in mind, this is a magical weapon. Also, upon grabbing it, you notice at the hilt uh, is the symbol of the um, milestone guild. Oh, okay. That's some good information. Wait, what did I see in the water? I kind of missed that. It's very shallow. You could, if you step on it, the water was up to your ankles. All right. Uh, I would like to cast Ray of Frost on the water in an attempt to freeze it. Mm, you freeze the water. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me a second. Let's pull the good old, because I did not foresee you freezing the water. <laughs> Uh, components. <coughs> In the meantime, at that point, uh, are you being stealthy, uh, Laren? Yeah. Do you want me to roll a stealth check right now? Roll a stealth check. Okay. And that, uh... and that you are going to be good. Probably. Well, don't say that. <laughs> you are going to be too good. Uh, I should. Ha okay. It's not a proficient, so it's just a. Uh, it would be However, plus four to this roll. I mean, you're stealthing, and you have a, your friend next to you casting spells. It's see, it's an eight. yeah. It's a plus four. Uh, Midir, you hear the sounds of a king casting out out the door. What do hmm. you do? Okay. Um, since um, the original party was attacked, as far as I understood, I try to uh, 
not uh, arouse attention around me because I fear that it's uh, another rounds of shadows or a gang of shadows. Do, do you move or do you stay put? Um, I would like to move like beside the door and surprise anyone who would like okay. give come me in. give me a stealth check at disadvantage because you have heavy armor. Oh yes, <laughs> oh, he's ready for uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but so, we don't know yet. I see. Armor. I see you're as sneaky as Hulk. Ah, the... Hold on, uh, blocks, blue block. Oh no, it was almost a nineteen. <laughs> all, all of you can hear the sound of chains rattling inside this room. In the meantime, let me, <laughs> oh, no, let, me let me make this little ice block. Oh boy. Can't you just tint the color of the Yeah, that would water? work too. No, because you're making a small piece of ice. Well, that's true. A ray of frost wouldn't. Mm. This works. Also, like as soon as you freeze that water and you'll hear the rattling. Let me lower the, the thing here. A bunch of spikes pierce through the ice. A oh. bunch of what? I'm glad we didn't Spikes. go in there. Spikes. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we. Oh, damn! Oh. Spike trap. <clears throat> I can hear the uh, the creepy dungeon music now. <laughs> yeah. Great. Right, yeah. Oh, that is so cool. You I like that. See the spikes. Yeah, that's cool. I have an idea. You could just remove the 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 grid, grid. thing. Yeah, I just did that. That's what I'm doing. There you go. Yeah, nice. That's what you see. Uh, uh, and yeah. we... Does that make a loud noise for... Um, yeah, uh, that also makes a, a loud noise. You, there you hear the sound of spike that you already know about. Hmm. Activating. Uh, uh, would, by the way, like... uh, Nomen, give me a perception check. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, hold on. Perception. Perception. Perceive things, please. It's a 20. Oh, yeah. oh damn. Oh, yeah. So you see these spikes piercing through the, your eyes, but you also notice that there is uh, some kind of green liquid po pouring out of the, Ooh, the tips. Probably poison. Mm. Oh, so these spikes are probably poisonous. Yep. Um, Hogdor. Hogdor, could you do me a favor and uh, mm -hmm. Jump cut in there. a little bit of the ice? <laughs> <laughs> Jump in there. You want Hogdor jump on ice? No, 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 no. Just smack it with your with your axe yeah or, do you have a sword or axe what i don't know yeah he has a battle axe. Got a battle axe yeah okay so just uh just whack it so that we have like smack it pieces. yeah hogdor shrugs okay step back a little and do you want me to roll for something to do that are you are you attacking the ice yeah he is uh what weapons are you using i have a battle axe Battle axe or, or the shiny sword? The battle axe. Okay. Uh, you break the ice. Okay. Oh, sorry. Good. All right. I would I would like to pick up like a little piece of the ice. Well, you have a piece it's of ice. Just... It's cold. And I would like I would like to throw it over here where there's no dust. Okay. You do it. And. It's what I thought. I was oh. gonna make an investigative check, but uh, I figured yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, Medea, oh, no, no, like. Track go off. Can I make an acrobatics <clears throat> check for that? You want to jump over there? Can I make an acrobatics check to uh, uh, finesse my way your, around it? What's your strength score? Uh, it's it's plus two, but like my acrobatics is is a thing. Is that okay to do acrobatics? Yeah, but I mean the score the because you can do a long jump. That's up to your strength score. Uh, well, it's 14 strength plus 2 mod, so... You, you can clear the 10 feet the spectra cover, so... You can, you can without jump any over hassle? Running. Like, with a... Just Wait, a without regular. doing a check. The spikes are down. Okay. I'm gonna do that, then, without a check. You need, over. You need to run for 10 feet. There is space for you to do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So no, I'll we're just... not, gonna, not gonna move the minis around. Right, right, right. You do you a running jump, jump. yeah, yeah. Yeah, just do a running jump over here real quick. Cool. At this point, Midir, you hear a... a, a Kind of loud thud of someone jumping in front of your door. Mm. Like someone landed in front of it. Does the door open in this direction or in that direction? Well, it's not um, an open yet. Well, with the handle here, it would slam into Oh, I think right it, was, it would probably go in, inwards to you, I assume. I'm going to yeah, say, would... because I don't remember which way this model opens, it opens both ways. Sure. <laughs> ah, okay. That's fine. That works. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> 
I'm I'm ready to ambush anyone who comes in. Okay. Here. Uh, um, are you are you stealthing? I'll I'm, I'm, I'm doing... just standing here. Uh, oh. I, I'm I'm my character. I'm trying to think how my character would react because uh, the character did hear the chains. Um, yeah, you you have chains rattling inside. And we know we're looking for people, and in the sh a sh and I know the shadows don't make that kind of sound, right? Yeah, shadows are like a yeah. slow. Like, I'm more I'm actually sound. gonna do a funny thing. Yeah. I, as as Hawker steps up here, I tap him on the shoulder and kind of hold him back. I'm gonna. I'm afraid he'll walk the door, on the right? trap. Uh, I'm not gonna move. Hawker want anymore. to see. Are you guys? Yes, Hawker. I, but you see trap? with your eyes. I'm going to, uh, no joke, uh, since I, I heard the chains, I'm not sure what's in there. I'm going to get close to the door, and I'm going to knock on it twice and back off. Well, then you hit <laughs> tuck tuck. Okay, surprised as Meteor is, because shadows normally don't politely knock. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> true, they in don't. Case, <laughs> I just want to see if it's going to come out and attack me, and I'm, I'm just backing off, whatever it is, just to be safe. Um, yeah, and you hear from the inside, uh, yes, please. Are you serious? You're gonna respond to that? <laughs> you okay? I'm just gonna, oh, let's see. What kind of, yes, please, in that tone, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in a very low voice, like, yes, please. I'm gonna push the door inwards towards him, and I'm just gonna push it slowly open and still back off. That's the plan. I'm just gonna, yeah. And that's all I'm going to do. So the door is like creaking open at this point. How do we know okay, it's not locked? Then... Is it locked actually? Uh, Mondu, is it locked? Good question. Uh, did you lock the door, Medir? Well, of course. <laughs> of course? Oh, okay. Uh, so I checked the door, so Medir hears me kind of like uh, checking to see if it's locked. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then uh, mustering his braveness, he placed himself. Whoops. Yeah, the hitbox is the, a mess. Hitbox is weird, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In front of the this door is... and kind of unlocking it and uh, swinging it wide open, like towards the outside. Whoops. Outside here. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, what happens. that is, uh, that is let's actually go. what I happens. I am now a god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boom. And just jump in forwards like, you came to the wrong room, fool. Yeah. Wait, wait oh. a second. Before when, that happens, when, when, hold on, hold on. Before yeah, yeah, before yeah, you do yeah. anything, Manu, I I'm in like a, a ready stance with my fist, anyways, just to be safe. Okay. Uh, so you know. Are you in a ready stance to avoid stuff or to hit stuff? To avoid, actually. Well, give me a deck save at advantage. Uh, Midir, give me a strength check. Okay. Oh boy. Can be athletic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Deck so save. Is it, uh, a strength okay. check or athletics? You can pick whatever you want. Oh, do I even have a strength? Okay, 25 check? is my event. I mean, that was just a save, thing. right? Oh my god. Okay. Well, uh, actually, it's know. not a save. It would be just your strength, uh, but it athletics doesn't check. matter. Athletics. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's the same. It's the it's same. same. It'll okay. be the same, yeah. Um, the, door, okay. the door slams open. It's oh, the same. It is the same. It's the same role, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Uh, Ellering, you <laughs> have enough to jump where, wherever you want. Where do you jump out of the ways of the door? Can I, oh boy. Do I have enough to jump over the spikes, or should I within this zone that I have? Well, that's for that's a running. Safe. You, you can effort. land over here. Uh, because it's, the door is slamming my way, right? That's yeah. the idea. With that save, you can jump over here uh, into the water, or yeah, into the water. The not a good idea. <laughs> Realistically, I would. If I know I have that much distance, I would jump back with my teammates and go over here. Okay. Realistically, because it's safer that oh, way. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, and you fall over and land with a head and on land the on the spike spikes. Yeah, and then yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There. And Dead. for the sake of hitboxes, I'm going to delete this door. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, thank, thank you. No, that is perfect. Yeah. Thank you. And so at this oops, point, Midir, what does the team see when you come out of the door? Yeah, so uh, storming out of the door, you see uh, about two <laughs> meters, a uh, big old man wizard uh, in, a, in a, well, mage cloak, I suppose. <laughs> um, wizard. He, he's uh, kind of angry and has a very imposing statue. 
and shouting all around him like, You came to the wrong room, fool! And has a fiery hand on his right. Like, come and get some! I, I put you in battle stance. Where yeah, is thanks. Hogdor? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. immediately make a comment Hogdor and say, just uh, disappeared Hogdor... off the face of the earth, by the way. Wait, where did, where did Hogdor go? I don't know. Oh, what did you do to oh. Hogdor? <laughs> uh... Wait a um, minute. Do we have an extra Hogdor around? I don't think we do. <laughs> just... Uh, control Z. He literally just disappeared. I saw it happen. Wait, he literally on, just on. disappeared. No, no, no. Don't, don't control Z. I can get Hogdor back. Hold on. I'm checking under. I don't see anything. I don't know what happened. He's I gone. Can't. Hold Hold on. On. Oh, he probably got deleted because uh, someone was Hold messing on. with the side. Oh, spike maybe. Hand. Hold on. There, there I, he I is. can get him back. There he is. There he is. Oh, two Hogdors. Oh. Two Hogdors. There, there he is. Oh. Oh, you duplicated Hogdor. Yes. <laughs> okay, that works. Anyway, Hogdor was here. So you come out, you say that, and yeah. can you guys describe what uh, Mither sees when he comes out? Introductions. Okay, um, so you oh, see... Uh, on Monday for the stream. For over here, you see uh, a Shattered Kai, so it's an elf with like very pale skin, uh, long dark hair, and he's just wearing a robe. Kind of like it looks there, just skin is very pale. Uh, he looks kind of like he's... <clears throat> about dead so it's somewhere in between death and life he looks very starved and... <laughs> he acts about the same too yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> that's about right yeah that's 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 what you see and i'm holding a wand and hold on a very important detail i have a withered vine <laughs> uh hold on withered wine twisted into a loop that i wear as a bracer that is true okay that's okay, a very important detail. Hogdor, would you like to describe yourself? You also see a very surprised looking orc to see someone jump out of a room <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> he looks kind of gruff, but you have a feeling he might not actually be a bad guy. Despite and he's holding a battle axe and a shield. And finally... Uh, the first thing you saw when you opened the door, well, bits and pieces when you saw something dodge out of the way. You saw a, a very small human with a leather jacket and brown hair and all that. As you see him, pretty much. That's all you see. Question for Mondu: Are we all wearing like tags from the guild? Um, like is there, is there some kind of identification? That's a good point. Yeah. There. You would notice. Uh, actually, all of you, give me a perception check. Everyone. Okay. okay. Yeah, to see who sees okay. what. Uh, I'm gonna say with a 15, you see, you notice Midir, you notice that they have hey. stuff from the, the guild. Oh, 18. Okay. Oh, we're all killing. And, it. Oh, we're all oh, killing. We all it. we all see that we're good. Yeah, both of you see some kind of thing that identifies you as a member of the guild. Probably Midir and some part of the backpack, if you have mm. mine on mm -hmm. you. And your weapons and stuff probably have the symbol. Hogdo so sees that and says, Oh, you friend! Yeah. The question is not what are we doing here, Goliath. The question is what are you doing here? You should know that. <clears throat> okay, surprise. No, like, well, oh. as far as, as, far as oh. we know, the party died. Possibly. That's, what the yeah. war, the That's war, true, yeah. I alluded to that. Like the last time. Well, the party was assumed to die. You didn't know. Mm. And one of them actually made it back. I'm just making sure he's not a mimic. <laughs> some <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm... Go ahead. Okay, so, um, Mitty is quite surprised and states that, um, like, oh, uh, well, you don't look like the general monster type of dungeon sword. You seems like you're from the guild, so the little pest of a dwarf reached you after all. We come to help. Great. Was the dwarf the one that in the bed, correct, Mondu? Yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> That's what I thought. Okay. Well, as a soul survivor, I'm very glad to see you guys. Soul survivor, I say. And he points with his uh, left hand towards the room, which you, of course, cannot see, but there's, like, not Yondu lying dead. <laughs> no, he's not dead. He's super weak and exhausted. Ah, okay. I'm gonna well, take the moment. Well, almost. Almost not soul survivor. 
So the moment I see him point to the left, I'm actually going to jump over the spikes again, if that's okay. Mm, yep, that's fine. And I'm going go to go immediately room. just, I want to look over there. Since I don't feel like he's a person who would harm me, I just kind of bypass him. I'm just going to go over here next to the, the body. <clears throat> um, How long has you been dead? Well, we were invest. We were supposed to investigate these ruins, and were surprised by all kinds of adversaries, uh, shadows amongst them, and uh, well, it didn't go well for us. So we locked ourselves into uh, that room. He points again with his left hand to his left side, and the last few days we were busy eating our rations and uh, well, in my case, uh, reading books. And uh, yeah, well, this guy just lying around trying to not die. So, uh, Noman does not buy Meteor's story because he thinks it's kind of weird that we have a dwarf who's almost dead with one guy who's dead and then another guy who's almost dead. And then you have this guy jumping out like, he's looking pretty alive, like nothing happened. He's just like, oh, yeah, I'm just chilling here, dude. And uh, so I, I would like to insight check to see whether oh, is a check. Noman leaves or not. And mm, would he roll a uh, counter yeah. persuasion? Or? 13. Mm. No, roll a persuasion <laughs> check. Actually, roll a charisma check. Straight up charisma check to see how convincing you are in your uh, me? words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. This is a d20 plus your charisma mod, yeah. Uh, charisma. It's the bottom one. Oh, so it's the charisma save, right? Yeah. With That'll the, work, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just adding your charisma modifier to a d20. Ooh, not bad. Uh, with that, um, this guy is really easy to read. He's not too charismatic, and he's not trying to hide anything from you, Noman. Okay. Well, in that case, we should probably we should probably get going. Do you know of any other survivors? No. He he uh, runs with his right hand through his white beard, thinks again, and just states no. May I make a medicine check on the uh, body ahead. over there? The Hogdor, not Yondu body. Hogdor also a medicine asks... check with advantage. Advantage? Okay, hold on. Yep. Well, I you gotta... have seen this before. Uh, okay, let yeah. me roll one more time. Sorry, <laughs> I, did, I already clicked the button before when you said okay. That's my second one, which is the advantage. Oh damn! Oh wow. Uh, with that, yeah, Ooh. this is exactly the same condition. The with that check, the... and I see if they're still alive. They are absolutely alive. They have been slowly recovering. The, slowly recovering. The the nature of this place, the buzzing that prevents you from sleeping well, made made it so they they did not recover fast. Uh, like you guys did from the shadows. when they're on the ground like that, Mondu, am I assuming that they have? There is it the drain that's hurting a lot, or is the damage that's putting them down there? They are extremely weak. Um, is there any way I can? Well, I could give them a potion of healing, but really mm, save. You know, a potion of healing would not work. Yeah, that's they need rest thinking. and not be here. Hey, the question is: is it is it the strength that they're missing that the shadows? This guy shadow is at one strength, is strength basically. Ah. Would be a elixir or revival. He cannot movement? pull his own weight. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's see, um, can we, I mean, we can try to get him out of there. Octor can well, you don't know this yet. Uh, so I'm going to immediately <clears throat> oh, yeah. turn around and tell our new friend here, but like, Hey, he's still alive. He just needs some, uh, attention, some rest. Well, he has been resting for four days now. Four days. Yeah. It sounds like he days. needs some food. Ah, they have food. They have food. It's just super weird has... because of the shadows. Have they been eating? Can I ask them that? Is that okay? Or... The answer yeah, is yes. sure. Um, yes. Help yourself, and you see some <laughs> leftovers. Like <laughs> may maybe they would be uh, still rations for one day or so, so not much left. So you arrived in a good time. Yeah, are they uh, the... actually on the floor? Or are they on like on the side of the wall, laying down? Oh, sorry. Uh, was I was I even supposed to kind of decide that? It's I think it's your you, call. You guys have food. That. That's no, no, you guys have food. It makes it's sense. Just, it's okay. No, you're, no. Uh, the, this guy is like. Yeah. Is obviously it's not falling over like a dead person. He's like leaning on the. That's what I thought. That's why I asked. Wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as he's taking care of himself. Uh. Well, if the entrance is that. Uh, 
Well, I mean, he's not strong enough to talk, but he... Give me an insight check. Yeah, sure. All right. Let me go ahead and roll that real quick. Insight is wisdom. So my wisdom save would be appropriate for this. In the meantime, Kogdor, what, what did you want to do? Eight. Oh, yeah. Um, Kogdor says to Midir, why no escape? Why wait here? And he looks um, at him. I mean, he's an intelligent wizard, and he looks at him like he's like a very stupid, like, mud, like, well, what do you think? Why? Our party was ambushed, two of us almost died, and we were surrounded by shadows and other things, so we locked ourselves in here, and you suppose we're, like, opening the door, and it's like, oh, excuse me, coming through. Did Hogdor see the shadows come out of the entrance during that fight? Mm. I don't think he did, right? Because he was you, He did not. I think I was the but... one surprised, wasn't I? Yeah, you yeah, were surprised, surprised you but you see. found shadows coming from behind you, and behind mm. you was, it was the... the yeah, table. so he wouldn't... So Hogdor's actually... Yeah, he wouldn't know. Uh, also, with that inside check, the, <laughs> this guy is like... Uh, the gives you, he gives you a big idea that he can wait until you guys are done, as long as you close the door. Yeah. I'm anyway. going to tell him that we're going to... Actually, I don't know if we're going to explore or not. I feel like we should, because that makes sense. Because you got to finish the mission, maybe. I mean, your mission was to re retrieve any dead bodies, retrieve any alive party members, explore the ruins, and retrieve any artifacts you find here. Yeah. Okay, explore. Oh, also, and retrieve so, the art ruins. Okay, I I'm thought gonna, we only needed to get the survivors. I'm gonna, That's what I thought, too. to explore and find stuff. So you're doing the original mission? I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell you, not Yondu, that we'll be back. Uh, we're going <laughs> to lock the door from behind and make sure... Uh, to not answer unless you hear a knock. Two knocks, okay? He nods. Okay, and then I just I go ahead and close it. And is it one of those like lock from behind kind of deals? So he does it, or it's a lock from behind. That's what I thought. So, yeah, you're so gonna have to wait it. for him to actually do it. <laughs> yeah, he'll do it eventually. Uh, I relayed the information right. to the meteor uh, that we are here to take over the mission. We're gonna explore <clears throat> a little bit, if that's okay with you. Fair enough. Would you need some additional brain muscles for that? Sure. Uh, we can use all the help that we can get. Great. Agreed. Just one question. Uh, I... One question. Hold on, Glow. Yeah. Was the shadows the only thing that you saw here? And maybe Mondu can put some insight The on answer that. to that is yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. He nods. You, you heard a, a loud noise and suddenly sh a bunch of shadows came out of nowhere. Okay. All right. Anyways, Glow, go ahead. Um... That's uh, another insight by Mondu, maybe, but uh, uh, hey, Goliath, how how did you get over these bike traps? Well, I walked over them in a big step. The answer is he jumped. <laughs> well, <laughs> these, these are this. feet the spikes, by the way. Well, yeah, but, oh. but he, I mean, he appearance, might appearance wise, he, he doesn't look like a fighter, he looks like a wizard. That's correct, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't know wizard. that like, I don't know that he's and super athletic, and I'm he's like, like an old man wizard. Hmm. Yeah. This wizard. So yeah. Um, okay. But you don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I'm it's, waiting I, for I, it. I don't. I yeah. don't think I. Larian's gonna no, love I, you. No, I don't think <laughs> I can clear that. I'll just I just ray of frost here to see if there's a spike trap over here. Uh, uh, so what was it about the shadows? Is that, is that your character asking me? Exactly the same. Uh, no, no, it, it was towards Mandu. Because he said that a bunch of shadows appeared? Yeah, was, a bunch of shadows yeah. appeared after a big, big noise you heard. Like, at that point, you were about... Let me... Does he... Do, that's good. Okay, go you ahead. were about... about. Actually, you were exploring this room, and you heard the noise, and the shadows came over. You saw your dwarf Does Min here fighter party member running away, and, the... you, and everyone was super weak. Does like... Min here tell me about the explosion? Like, actually says that? Ah. Would, would you <clears> say not, that? Not quite that, an explosion, like... Um, like a big, you know, metallic sound? Something like that. A metallic hmm. sound. And some gears, actually. Hmm. Gears. Does would me here? Would you relay that information to me since you know it, or when you were talking to me, or? Nah, he just runs through his white beard again, and it's like, oh yeah, it was quite noisy, unpleasant even. Could you describe the noise, Midir? Well, it was 
very metallic and clanky. <laughs> clanky, thank you. I'm glad you made <laughs> that up at least. <laughs> and what do you expect? I didn't even see you. What a stupid question. No, 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 I was asking you out of character. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> you're, you're fine, you're fine, dude, don't worry about it. No, 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 I, I, I was saying that I'm glad you said clanky instead of, like, gears, because that makes, that, it, it paints a better picture, for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. my character's gonna say, uh, clanky, huh? Maybe some sort of contraption? So, he's asking it? Yeah, time? that was, that was my character, <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was my okay, character. Okay, okay. Sorry, you got it's it. Like, you got it. Yeah, potentially. How am I supposed to know? Did I build it? No. What a stupid question. Well, Larry's gonna take offense in that because he has the literal <laughs> same intelligence modifier as you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before you, you guys continue, side side note information: the mm -hmm. long jump you can make is up to your strength score. So all of you yeah, can do ten feet. No, I can. Except I have for nine. Yeah, exactly. I have nine. Oh no! Movement, so then, you then, need to find out how to do it. I am st I am standing here this entire time thinking how the fuck am I getting over there? <laughs> well, ah, yeah, you can right right toss right. him. We could toss him if you yeah. want. Oh. Have Hogdor toss him to me. I'll catch him. Um, hey Hogdor, <laughs> or, or just put him over the shoulder. Oh yeah, Something. you can carry me, but then he'll not be able to jump well, as far, right? If you're carrying him, your jump. I'm gonna say <laughs> you would need to do a this very high strength check to jump over the ten feet. Mm. Him on your shoulder. Even with can my high strength, can I can I do an athletics to try and jump it? You can try. Well, all right. Ready uh, for Gnome in the die. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so uh, ready for me to take some damage. Here we go. <laughs> Stop running. I'm just. I'm, oh, hold I'm on, hold on. Let me let me, let me just read up on one thing. Hold on. Um, where is it? I'm gonna tell Hogdor. Hey, Hogdor, you coming? Oh, Hogdor, come across. But we'll wait and for Glow to do his no, thing. There's no, there's no check jump over. Oh yeah, so. I, I can just jump, I right? Attempt. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I don't know. Did did any of you tell Hogdor there's an illusion here? What do you mean? It's an illusion? illusion. I was under the impression yeah. those were real spikes. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. No, you noticed that there were not dust here. Yeah. And a quick inspection revealed that there were spikes, but you still see an illusion over here. I mean, I wait, just wait, wait. It because you, you when you say it. there's no speck of dust, I assume the traps are real based on that information because they're just being used. That was what I was thinking yeah, also, it meant. I yeah. also thought mm -hmm. that these are these are real right. traps. That's my fault. That's my fault. Uh, this can we use my original attempt to investigate? Oh, so I can them? I can just uh, walk over there. Is that? What you're saying? If you walk over there, it's gonna trigger. Like you know this. Wait, a but you said it's. But you said it's. An okay, illusion. now I'm really confused. <laughs> but your character wouldn't know that. Um, let, let me let me let me rephrase. The fa the floor is an illusion, under the spikes. The spikes. Oh, oh, so oh, the floor oh, tiles are no not okay. Because the illusion that's is no. Oh, okay, but when's that's that? Right. Wait, if you're gonna make a trap, why would you? Why would you not keep it looking the same with the illusion? Who does because this? whoever made it they did not think the temple is going to be in ruins forever. That's fair. That's fair. Then All right, I'm, I'm just I'm just going to attempt to jump with my athletics. <laughs> I will <laughs> use athletics. I will use tides of chaos, which gives me oh, advantage no. on one oh. roll. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and there you go. Go ahead, roll with advantage. Next time you cast a spell of level one or higher, you we roll out d100. Yes. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Damn. I have minus okay. one to strength. I have twelve. Do I yeah, make you can it? Clear it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. He's over here now. Let's go. Now and, you need to uh, do that again for the next one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I. I. I teleport. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Wait. How? Wait. How far um, can you teleport? Thirty feet. Okay. So you couldn't have gone from like one side of the room to the other. From no, no, I was I was measuring that. I didn't want to oh, use okay. both teleports. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm I messed up my. From that position, you can see like over here. I can say I say. Roughly. Anybody gonna react to the teleportation? Because you guys, for you guys know, you don't oh, yeah. know that I can do that. But or is that? I mean, you Sorry, don't have to. Let, let me let me give you better information. Uh, what is you can see the same kind of illusion here. The floor has no right, no, no spikes. 
the, no no dust can i um the, i assume the door isn't locked at this point because he's taking his time right um yeah it's it, it's probably not locked if you open it you're probably gonna find the guy it's crawling to the door that's <laughs> fair uh I think what I'm gonna do, these are like, this is Rebel over here, right? Yeah, that's Rebel. I'm gonna. So, is this still an illusion? Like, no matter what? I mean, what, it's like... still an illusion, yeah. Okay, so. I thought I maybe. Just I just left it there it. so you guys know. As a reminder. Um, is it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually jump back over here real quick. That's fine. I, I had an idea for my character. And I'm gonna grab a few, like, maybe like a, a pebbles here and there. If that's okay. Yeah. Uh, At least we're coming handy, how many that's I grab, or can I just say I want to grab, like, six pebbles? You can grab. You're fine. There's nothing there. Okay. There's nothing it's, there? I mean, there is nothing there in the sense of the, there's nothing other than rubble. Like, rubble, right. Can I get it, some small not rubble? Much, that's the idea. Like, you can see the floor through the, the, the rocks around there. So there, you can tell there's nothing about it. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. I want to pick up some rocks. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can do it. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm asking. I'm going to pick up, like, six pebbles. I'm going to write it down. I have an idea in case we come across these traps again. Okay. So, anyways, uh, anyone else can do what they need to do. I'm just collecting small rocks right now. Pogdo says, oh, no men teleport. No men magic? <laughs> I love Pogdo. <laughs> I think he was talking to Noman, I believe. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Hogdor's but he's right on now. mute currently. Ah. Uh, Hogdor feels <laughs> annoyed. Hogdor get ignored. <laughs> oh, Hogdor <laughs> sad. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I'm doing my rock thing. Are you gonna? Does Meteor wants to jump over? I guess as well. Um. Yeah. Like here, I suppose. Mm -hmm. All of you take a, a, a running jump. Hogdor jump too. I assume it has to be a running jump, yeah. But by that time, I'm dumped by getting the pebbles. So I'm going to do my two running jumps. Is that okay, Mondu? Yep. Okay. I'm going to eventually re reach the party over here. Oh, very Shuffle out of your way. Yep. As you, as Hogdor is getting ahead, Hogdor, you give me a perception check. Okay. Let's see if you actually see Imagine the thing. Imagine Hogdor is in front of two traps right now. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Clo, you're muted. I think he's busy. We'll give him time. Uh, okay. He sometimes has uh, problems okay. with this. Okay, how do you actually get to see it? It's not too high hidden. This on the floor, there's a massive copper looking key. Mm. Also, you know this over here, the, next to this big massive iron door. Now, when you there's say we clever... see it. Is it shiny? It's a lever. Yes. Is it a particularly shiny key? It's a shiny key. Oh. oh God! I'm not there to stop him. Oh, Hogdor shiny key. Oh, I'll, I'll oh. just let him go. Ah. Hogdor goes over right there. The Hogdor is going over there. Uh, what happened, bro? <clears throat> I'm, oh, I, I'm good. No, it's just it's just muted though. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, good. Okay, you you get to the key. It's a copper key, and it's absolutely massive. How how big is absolutely massive? Like, would I need two hands to hold it's it? The or? same size. It's bigger well, than it, your axe. Oh, okay. Like, oh, holy crap! Oh, it is big. I was gonna say this is this is about three feet or something. Yeah, right. And you, you also also see like um next to the door there is a lever that looks very similar to the end of the key. Hmm. Quickly, I'm uh, Mondu. I'm gonna make a perception check just to see if there's any traps nearby. Within uh, my range. For, looking, I, looking, just looking for traps? Give me a perception check, yeah? Yeah, I just want to look. Because you know what happened earlier. Very Being very cautious here. Nat, oh my oh god. Damn. 20. With that, damn. you don't see any illusory looking floors. Everything looks normal. And uh -huh, uh -huh. you see a socket over here that looks like a key a keyhole. Looks like a like keyhole, cool. and it's adorned with copper uh, adornments. Okay. Knowing that I don't think there's any traps, I'm just going to walk over. I noticed I saw Ooh. a hog door walk over, but you never yeah. can be too sure. 
By now, uh, all of you also can see a uh, broken down door eh. over here. And what seems to be some kind of room. Hogdor's just looking at the key. Just looking at the key? Yep, okay. he's just staring at it. Yeah. Oh, shy. They're all kind of looking at it. Hmm, I saw the socket, the but... Uh, <laughs> do we all see the socket here or only him? Now only that you got somewhere. close, I get closer, only that, I oh, now that everyone is close, you can see the socket, yeah. Okay. I don't quite want to open that. I'm going to tell the party, uh, I see the socket and I see the key. I don't quite want to open that door yet just to be safe. Let's kind of explore the other stuff first. Okay. Well, there I agree. A, after a you. A door over here and a broken after door me. over here. <laughs> okay. Well, if it's after me, I'm going to make my way over here. I'm going to well, roll a welcome, stealth. Hold on. Welcome to broken hitbox land. It also oh, boy. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's fine. I'm going to roll a stealth as I walk over there. I'm going to get very okay. stealthy. So let me okay. go ahead and roll a... Norman, do you get closer to without the stealth? Uh, no, 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 no. I was, I would, no. I was just checking the hitboxes. 18. 18? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Go very ahead. stealthy, and I'm going to roll a perception check as I get close to that door. I want to just be very careful. Okay. I'm not looking for anything in particular. Let's I just say you're, like, over here by now. Ooh, nine, with my dark uh, vision goggles. There's not much going on in this room. There is a few stands, stands and broken pots. A big spider web, nothing. Is the, yeah, I was going to say, is, is the spider web uh, just really there? Nothing. Yeah. To, this is normal. Uh, the one thing you notice, it's not really hidden. It's, like, in the middle of the room. There mm. is... Five pots on the floor. Pots? It, pots. Are they different color or? Uh, eh, they're like bronze. bronze. Actually, very well conserved for what this. Just on is. the floor, just randomly, or in a just very... on the floor, like f like they fell from one of these stands. Oh, oh, like and... like a, like a ghost yeah. event. I got you. I gotta get my. <laughs> <Like a ghost laughs> event, yeah. uh, there is four. There's five pots. Four of them are open. Open? Can I look inside of them with a? Do you want me to do a perception check? If do you get close? I'm not gonna get too close, but I want to get close enough where I can kind of like peer over in the pot, if possible. Well, if you get slightly closer, I'm going to keep your uh, self check. That's you fine. can give me another per another final perception check for this. Uh, you want me to do stealth and then perception? Is that what you want? No, no. I'm going to keep your stealth if you're still being stealthy. Yeah, I'm still being stealthy. Very, very quiet. Very quiet. Okay. Um, hey, look at that. Not 20. Well, with that, wow. you can. Wow. There's not much else you can see in this room. You're no using all, your, you all of your not 20s. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you can see these five pods. One of them is closed, uh, still in the one of the stands. Mm -hmm. There's four of them around here. All of them are open, and there's like shadowy material inside. Oh. Okay, the moment that happens, I'm gonna back off. I see that. Okay. Uh, slowly with stealth, still of course, with the party. Okay. I'm gonna get uh, back uh, to the party. To keep the uh, more detail, it uh, the, because you got that twenty. Yeah. Those pots are like have like shadowy mist coming out of them, but they seem kind of empty. Like whatever was inside. Oh, empty. It's, it's okay. Gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, Okay, so, okay the, that's the remnants, <clears throat> the remnants of a shadowy thing, there's also an extra pot uh, closed. Uh, on okay, the, so on the based on the information, I could put two and two together. Uh, do you want me to do a check for this, or do you want me just to mm, come out with it? You, you as a player already know what you think you know. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. You could say good luck to the party, though. Yeah, I'm actually going to go back to the party uh, stealthily and say... Uh, hold on. Actually, give me one moment. I have to be right back. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, in the meantime, what were That's, you uh, guys doing? Why, 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 is, why is he saying he's be right back? I, I don't understand. No, no, uh, uh, let's say he's still <laughs> looking inside the room. You guys are here doing something, I guess. Hogdo's just watching the key. <laughs> uh, did you did you ever pick up the key or are you just looking at it? No, just looking at it. Uh, hey, Hogdo, why don't you pick up the key? Uh, eh? Sorry about oh, that. My father just okay. really, uh, came into my room with even though it was locked and he knows I'm... Yeah. Anyways, uh, anyways, I I knew you guys are talking amongst each other. Yeah. The uh, my plan was. You come the, back. And Hogdor, are yeah. you picking back picking up the key? Hogdor picks up the key. Okay. You have the key in your hands. You okay. may add massive copper key to your inventory. <laughs> massive copper. Massive key. copper key. Acquired. You got it. Da, 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 da. You got the massive copper key. I mean, it's like if you put oh, it on the ground and straight up, it's uh, up to your chest. 
Maybe maybe a bit higher. So it's very big. Yeah. This will go under misc. All right. So, anyways, now that I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, I stealthily walk back to you guys and I explain the situation. This is what I'm gonna say. I noticed some pots in that room over there. Looks like a very old room with a whole bunch of like cupboard with pots and stuff. I noticed one key thing though. I noticed that the, there were some pots on the floor, and they had some shadowy material as if something left those pots. My theory is that these shadow creatures might be either in pots or they're being created somehow. Perhaps with that gear cranking thing. Who knows? <clears throat> Give me... As you say that, give me an intelligence, intelligence check. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah, why not? Uh, Let's see I... if you remember a key detail. Which you probably should. Oh. Eh, it's a low check, but... Oh, uh, yeah, no no extra information I can give you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, there is, however, one pot that is not opened, still on the shelf, I believe. Or is it on the floor? What was it, Mondo? Was it on the floor? Uh, it was on the shelf. On the shelf, okay. It's on the shelf, unopened, same as the other pots. There might be a shadow creature in there, if that's where they come from. And I was telling the party that, so they could do with that information as they must. Yeah. Midir, Noman, Hogdor, what are you guys doing too? And I guess now you're back to the party, Larry. Hmm. <clears throat> um, Hogdor just kind of scratches his head. We might want to open that uh, that pot right now, just in case. Uh, just to make sure that, it, that there's a shadow creature in there? Nah, just to make sure that it doesn't get opened while we're... Away. Somewhere else. And that they, is, uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Over, and that they overflood us from the back. That they BT is us. considering taking the pot with him for further <laughs> studies. Uh, well, Midir, something you would know, uh, because... You kind of fought these things. Mm -hmm. uh, these shadow creatures, if they hit you, they drain your strength. So, and if your strength, you saw the results. If your strength goes down to zero, you die. Okay. So these shadow thingies, uh, can they be attacked with physical attacks or only magic? Uh, you would know that. I would know that. Let me double check the resistances. You would know that if you were to do a normal attack, uh, they they take damage, but it's not as effective as, as you would expect. Mm -hmm. And you know that fire is not not very effective. <clears throat> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, well. fire and thunder is not very effective. That's all you all you probably know. So, what are you guys doing? Well, anyways, uh, I kind of look at Noman and, and I kind of like nod to what he says earlier and I go back and pick up the pot using stealth. Is that okay? Yep. It's okay. Right. Roll. I'm you gonna can roll. roll a new stealth check if you want. What's that? New you stealth? can roll a new yeah. stealth if you well, want. Well, I already mm. unstealth, so I might as well just roll a new stealth check. So let me go ahead and okay, do go that. Ahead. A, uh, not a dex save question. because. Are you guys mm -hmm. positioning yourselves or something? Quick. Quick question in between, since uh, Mitya oh, was part God. of the original party, um, does he know that um, his companion, his almost dead companion here, or the dwarf, um, did something to the pots or something? Um, you don't know that. You heard the a loud thought that you may be able to tell the door broke down. Because of Maybe that. that's where the cranking came this from. This is a the... metallic door, by the way, not wood. Oh. Mm. Okay. oh. And Maybe I should have thought about that. Oops. Well, anyways, with my nat one stealth, otherwise it'd be five if it wasn't nat one. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna you say I'm very stealthy. Something in there, maybe. <laughs> you walk into a room doing the the worst stealth stealth ever. Uh, nothing happens. It's fine. Nothing happens. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the pot slowly <laughs> and see how heavy it is. It's surprisingly light. Light. Okay. I'm going uh, on my however, way out. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. However, Good. it's very, yep. very cold. That's that's a good sign of a, a ghostly creature, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. Would my character know that? Give me a religion all? check. Okay, yeah, 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 sure. Give me one moment. I'll, I gotta roll a religion check. That is under, I believe, int. Yes, okay. Ogdor, are you still looking at your key? 
He's picked it up. He's just holding it. <laughs> so, uh, 69, let's go. Uh, uh, so, with a 9 imp check, do I have any experience with ghosts that I can remember with coldness? Like, from, I mean, you do you have experience. Uh, is any any other of you uh, proficient in religion? Hogdor is. Give me a religion check. All right. Uh, <laughs> is that after I bring out the pot? Is that safe to yeah. do so? Okay. Yeah, the pot is closed. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'm very, being very cold, careful. You know. I don't want can it to on my face somehow. Yeah, Hogdor has no idea either. Hey, look, sixty-nine. Let's go. Can what I help say? out somehow? Are you proficient in religion? Uh, no, but I'm gonna I have tell, intelligence. I'm gonna tell uh, him the pot is very cold. Give me, give me a religion check that. because you're smart. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm gonna how, tell how them, do I do that? Um, if you don't have a roller for it, just roll a d20 and add your intelligence. Add your intelligence, yeah. 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 Oh, that would be okay. plus three. So d20 plus three. So it's like my int save, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Because okay. the only difference is if you have like con or strength, because uh -huh. you're proficient in the saves. So these ah, wouldn't. Ah, okay, cool. Okay. okay. But for okay. intelligence, since you're not in proficient in in save, you can just use the in save roller. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Roll, roll, roll the dice. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> you don't know. You have no idea. What, 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 is, no is, is Noman going to do anything about it? Or he's like, just like, oh. I know that. No, it's Noman, a pot. Noman doesn't care. <laughs> That's a pot, one, yeah. So. Noman oh. just wants to open the pot. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not gonna let him right away. I'm gonna tell the party that the pot is very cold. Uh, it might hold something inside. Uh, probably one of those. Maybe one of those shadow creatures could. It could hold anything, honestly. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the floor where I just was. And Maybe we should let Hawkdoor smash it. What kind of pot handle is it? There's no handle. It's like pot with a lid. How would you open it though? Like unscrewing or like it has a handle? Um, it has like a knob to grab it and pull up. That's what I, okay, okay. Uh, so since Mitya has no idea what's going on right now and <laughs> cannot explain the uh, utmost interest in the bronze pot and he doesn't know shit because of his natural one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why are you so focused on the pot? Just be done with it, or I don't know, put it in the water if you want to. Oh, well, didn't Larin tell you what in what was over there? He said uh, out loud, right? What? Yeah, he did. Did you so say you... out loud what the, the room had? Yeah. Yeah, I, I told you, I described the room for you guys. So, you know, uh, in the okay. room there was five pots, four of them were yeah, open I, with shadowy right. material inside, and one, one of the pots was closed on the shelf. Now that we're oh, kind of, like, okay, looking okay. around like dumb idiots, I'm going to say, do you want me just to, like, open it and then everyone backs off and see if it's a shade or a shadow? I would, I would say Hogdor smashes it if there's something I, I feel like it, if we smash something that makes a loud noise, it would attract other enemies. Mm, at this point, eh? I, I want to ask Hogdor you all can you smash. Ro okay, roll initiative. You do, hold on. What? I want to ask you all to roll me a d6. All right. Okay. Oh damn! Request, but I've all right. How I should I... have asked you guys uh, long... way earlier. I almost forgot. Uh, look up Five, here, two. long at your play area, a bit yeah, a bit yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a. You can just click the d6. Oh, yeah. Cool. There's a roller up here for you. So this is a d6. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, it, it is. Roller, okay. nice. Yeah. Okay. Shwoobity whoop. It's a six. Okay. Okay, so we have a five, two, five, six. Please don't, don't let it Lois be damaged. Matters, Please don't let it be damaged. <laughs> we lose, we lose that Nothing much happens. strength. Yeah. Uh, Nothing for happens okay. for you guys. That's me rolling for random encounters. Right. Oh. And for random okay. events. I would, I would like to open the lid of the pot. And no man has had enough of the talk. I would uh, like well, to move. A little even bit though I asked <laughs> no man if he wants me to open it and back off, he's like, "Fuck this! I'm just gonna." Okay. Nah. Yeah, I'm yeah. just I'm just opening the lid. Okay, you're opening the lid. Uh, the moment I, I see him, to... hold on, I... Monday, the moment he tries to open the lid, I'm just gonna back up like five feet immediately. Okay, you open the lid and slowly, something you all know already, a shadow starts coming out. All of you can do one action before we roll initiative. I'm gonna do a sunbolt immediately. Wait, who can do an action? Everyone. I'm doing a sunbolt uh, immediately on that. So thing. we have we have a shadow that's. 
forming right now or is it already out? Yeah, it's forming slowly and coming out of the pot. Anyone can do something before initiative. I would like to ray of frost into the pot. I would like mm. to firebolt into the pot. The pot I will reach and it run away. Hands. What if it's a... <laughs> oh, man. Just fucking okay. go for okay, it. Okay, hold on. Uh, before before we do all of that, uh, no man, how did you open the pot? Did you did you leave it on the ground and pull the? Yeah, lid? I left. I left. I okay. left it on the ground. I just reached down and. Okay, so the pot lid. is right here. So okay. we have a sun bolt, we have a fire bolt. No man, what are you, are you doing? Ray of frost. Uh, well, assuming that I would go first with the ray of frost because I see it first, I would just. Can we shoot roll in. An initiative to see who does it first? <laughs> no, go, go no, ahead. I mean. Hold on, no, wait. I so opened no. the pot. I see yeah, it. Yeah, he first. opens the pot. Uh, but you took say... the action to open the pot, wouldn't you be slightly slower? Actually that's that's you... correct. No man would be would do it last. I'm doing this. Wait, thing you you moved <laughs> away while I was opening the pot. When I saw you right. do the action of doing so. For all I care, these two can fight for, can go before <laughs> me, but you guys are uh, going to destroy the shadow. <laughs> Roll your attacks. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I'm trying to make it right. into a competition uh, because yeah. of no You're man. Meteor, meteor is shooting a fireball. Hot right? door smack. Uh, hold it with what? Your, with your his control? battle axe. Okay, do you get, you get close and smack it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, everyone roll your attacks. No, uh, we, we, how do I it, do it, this, it's um, important. It, it was very important to me that I go before Meteor, but oh. if you guys decide that it's Meteor before me, then uh, he goes first I mean, and then I do oh, something. Oh, uh, no, man, everyone is uh, watching you open the lid and they have more time to react before you drop the, the pot lid and do something. I have my wand in my other hand, but it's okay. Hey, I got to go last with you too, buddy. Who cares? Can we just roll for hey, things, please? I care. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. like I said, please just do. I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to attack. It's just, <laughs> you, it's all you guys can choose. All of you can roll your attacks or you can roll initiative and see who do, does what first. So I, well, I think we already decided. We already decided that Meteor yes. and Hawkdor go, and then Nomen and Elaren okay. go. That's also what do, we decided. Also, do do I still get two attacks? Because it's one action. Okay, I got a twenty-three. That's a hit. Roll for damage. Fireball. Ah, ah, okay. Level I get five. It. I guess I'll get ten. ignored. That's fine. What? They... Okay. Can, can we just do one after the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hawkdor, roll your attack. Thank you. That's more like it. That's absolutely a hit. Yeah. Uh, let me do math real quick. Uh, that's... Uh, uh-huh. Plus... It's still living. Who goes next? Uh... Nobody wants to go. That's fine. I, I'll drop the pot lid disengage over into this corner. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you scream or something? I, I let out like a hiss, a screech. Like oh, a, because of the fire, right? Not, not a high pitched <laughs> screech, but it's like a like a like a, like a, like a, like a vampire like a seeing sunlight, basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. <laughs> I love this so much. This is great. <laughs> uh, Larry, you roll for your attack. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Okay, whatever. Unless you want to do something else. Uh, That's why I said it's important whether he goes. I know why you said it now. Um, or... The shadow is looking very rough. I'm actually, because of Laird's character, you do a screech of like a vampiric screech kind of deal, right? Yeah. I'm going to just kind of. Uh, I'm going to take a perception. Not perception. What kind of role would it be? To understand what just happened there, I'm actually inside. gonna waste inside, inside. I would say, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm, a, I'm just so confused. I'm like blasphemy in, in my mind. I'm like, what uh, the fuck was that? You have a. You have a. I mean, you can you can do an inside check and then do your do your attack. You sure? Yeah. I feel like yeah, you, you have a. You, you have a DC 15 to see if you realize what's going on or not. You I have, have no absolutely idea. Absolutely no uh, idea. With, wow. that, with that roll, I'm actually in character. I I'm so confused. I lose my turn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. <laughs> everyone, roll initiative. Perfect. We have a, a shadow with like three HP. Right. <laughs> it makes sense to me, honestly. Initiative. Ah, there. Okay. I have a nine. 
Oh, I have a six. Do we really need the music? <laughs> oh, <laughs> to fight music. Cool. Well, if the shadow gets a hit in, you guys are going to get hit. Yeah, I guess that's oh, true. Oh my god. I was hoping my feet would come in handy for this fight, but I'm lower than Hogdor. Guess what? The shadow rolled a 19 on initiative. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, are you kidding? Well, I am the furthest away. I kind of hope uh, it doesn't um, come after me. The last one to attack I... the pot was Hogdor, so it's going to go for Hogdor. All right. Good thing I didn't attack, I guess. Although I would have uh, killed it. Sorry to say. Oh my god, does... <laughs> 20 to hit, does that hit? 20? Yeah, hit, that right? hits. I would hope uh, that hits. Oh no, you drained strength from Hogdor. I'm so sorry, uh, Hogdor. My, my character <laughs> was just so take, confused with that. You take 5 necrotic damage and roll okay. before. Okay. <laughs> oh, please. Please hit a 1. Please. Oh my god. Hmm. Don't know no that. Four goes down by 3. Alright. And that's the Shadow's turn. Uh, Hogdor's next. Hogdor, <laughs> it seems like you get to take revenge immediately. Uh, Hogdor smack. Uh, Hogdor smack. Go ahead. So Swing. what am I What am I minusing on my strength? I'll roll anyways. Minus but... one should be. Minus one, yeah. That's minus two. Well, that ain't doing it, is it? That's a miss. All right, well, let's you try have, again. You have 15 strength now, so yeah. you only have a plus two instead of a plus. That's a hit. Nice. That's, that's a, a hit? Even with a minus. 15 to even hit, with right? minus. That's... Okay. Roll for damage, minus one. Hey. And with that, the shadow is gone. <laughs> we are out of combat. <laughs> All right, great. Just like that. <laughs> so I took how much damage, sorry? Five damage, was it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oopsie. You took five necrotic damage. Oh my god. Where exactly did the, the shadow creature hit? In terrain strength. I'm kind of curious to see how Hogdor looks like right now if, with his veins uh, and all that. Roll me. Actually, l l very simple. I'll, I'll get uh, close for that, obviously. So, uh, Wait, do you want to see what the damage was on Hogdor? I just want to see where he took damage. I'm just curious. Uh, simple enough. The, in the, his arm, where he uses his hand, hand axe, uh, is looking a bit skinny. That's what I thought. Mm. I'm sorry about that, Hogdor. I probably would have killed it if I just wasn't so confused by that um breach. He kinda like glances over at Noven. It's okay. I, I walk up towards the, the Goliath and I oh, and try I, 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 I try <laughs> I I try to intimidate him. You never do that again, Goliath, or we'll have a problem. And uh hold on. Let me roll for intimidation. It's gonna be great. Right, do I... one. Give me another one. Come on. <laughs> uh, it's a charisma. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, where do they have it? I kind of lost it. There we go. But I'm not proficient in it, so I only had a plus four. Hold on. It's so it's like a wisdom. Only a plus four. Like a seventeen into me. Oh my lord! I love it. Um, give me, give me a straight charisma check, uh, Midir. Charisma. Da, 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 da. Oh, 20 at your charisma that, modifier. Yeah. You got this. You don't got this. Oh no. Uh, he looks quite scary, but <laughs> not too scary. Concerning, probably, right, Mondu? Yeah, concerning. Okay, so uh, the Goliath is concerned. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, no ask, yeah. and ask Bex, like, or oh, what, and try to intimidate him. Intimidation <laughs> <laughs> check! Uh, I question, I... Yeah. question for you, uh, Midir. Yeah. Are you flexing your muscles or are you using just your, your words for this? You can use intimidation with uh, athletics if you want. Ah, okay. So um, I go in front of him and I don't know, am I, am I bigger or not? Or, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're about the same. We're about the same enough, height. All of you, but Laren are about the same height. All of you are super. I am a very small human. I'm five. <laughs> I made your model to scale, so we're we're really about the same height. Ah, okay, cool. So um, yeah, I, I go directly. I don't know. I think the hitbox doesn't allow me to. Oh, maybe a little. Directly in front of him, like almost um, 
uh, head to head and look him into the eyes like, oh, what? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you roll intimidation now, I roll charisma. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> roll intimidation. You can <laughs> use your athletics this if is you great. are being, using your muscles. I have oh, 20. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, why not? Okay, let's try. Man, man, you nobody know. really doesn't give a shit. I love it. Oh, oh fuck. No, man, this guy Wait. is flexing his muscles. He's super scary. Oh my god. Uh, I'll give you that. You have. You're, you <laughs> look like you're <laughs> really strong. But, uh. Please do not use fire anymore. And I turn towards the door. And I turn also away, like, uh, both are intimidated. We're both scared. <laughs> Classic. That's awkward. Hogdor Hog just looks at both of them and goes, eh? and, like, scratches his head. Anyways. Oh, what are you guys doing? Uh, learn it immediately. Hold oh, on. God, learn I, I'm, I'm so sorry, Sarah. Before you lost two, two attacks and everything for RP. <laughs> no, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Laren's gonna immediately interject when they see them turn around and say, "Well, I mean, he just turns around and looks at the door behind him. I think we still have at least one more door before we go through whatever that door is—the big door. Shall we proceed?" Yes, I would like. I, w I would advise we go through the. I'm gonna. Tiny nooks and crannies I'm gonna, oh, hitbox be damned. I'm gonna yeah. check the door, see if it's locked. I'm just gonna do like it's, a very quiet it's in, check. It's indeed locked. Okay. Would you like me to yeah. roll stealth to see how quiet I am for that? Feel free to do so. All right. Oh, sorry, is it locked or not locked? It's locked. It's locked. Actually. Okay. Yeah, it's stealth. Okay. All right. Still uh, check. I need to make a roller for this. It's a metal right? door, right? Yeah. It's a metallic door. Yes. Uh, twenty-two. Uh, with that, uh, not anyone here does not realize he you actually tried to open the door. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, now that I know it's locked. I'm going to make a lock picking ch check because I have a thieves tools. So is that okay? Okay, uh, give me a twenty plus dex plus proficiency. That's a thieves tool check. Okay, so plus seven from whatever this roll is. Yep. Wow, I suck. A nine. Well, your lock pick breaks. How many do I have in the thieves tools? Ah, you have a bunch. I have a bunch. May I do another uh, one? <laughs> however, something anyway. you notice. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this lock seems reinforced in unusual ways. Can, do I can, notice can anything we... about the keyhole? The keyhole I... looks normal, but okay. for this type of, lo of lock, it's kind of hard to lockpick. Okay, so based, on that, based on that uh, the, the attempt, right? I would okay, I would like to vote? throw out the question is the is the keyhole maybe like big so that the key that uh, we found could possibly fit in no, no 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 that key okay. is that key is bigger than the handle on the door All right okay I'm right. going to back off since I noticed this I'm going to tell the party I noticed that this lock is extremely hard to lock pick and I don't know where the key is at I could go search for it or maybe behind that big door. Should we go through the big door first, then? Well, I suppose if we have no other option, do we? Okay. Uh, and, I'm uh, gonna... Mid I'm uh, actually gonna no, tell the no party... No attempts at the door? I'm gonna actually tell the party, I, let me do it a couple more times, just to... just to see if I can crack it, and then we'll make that decision. I, I think Meteor wanted to speak up. Yeah, and, and Meteor just looks towards uh, Hokta, it's like, oh, maybe our trusty, uh, muscly orc can just kick in. Okay, uh, kick the door in. Oh, oh, I, I will respond. Oh yeah, go ahead, go, go ahead with Hogdor. Hogdor smash door. I would immediately, yes, I would immediately it respond door. with, uh, I would rather not smash things in because that would create a lot of noise. But it seems that there's only shadows here. I don't know if they are, you know, prone to sound, but we, I don't know. It's it's risky. Just give me a couple more tries. Okay, so I'm gonna do three more. Two more tries. Well, Let's step into this. 23. 23. Uh, let me double check the DC on this door. Uh, actually, it does not open. Okay, one last attempt. I have to probably get a 25 uh, wait, based wait, on that. Check. Uh huh. You 
you found all the all the clicks inside the lock. You you should be able to open this lock. However, everything feels like strengthened and super hard. Like you think even if you had the key, you would not be able to open this. Oh, okay. it's it's um what's, what's it's the not rust called? either. It it's uh it's like it, what would they call that? I know exactly what it is, but uh, no since I know this information, I'm gonna say, well based on what I just did there and I definitely hit all the locks in, in the door. I hate to do this, but uh Hogdor, would you like to do the honors? Oh Hogdor Hogdor smash door? It's metallic, but good luck. <laughs> so, I really, uh, you know, I really extra like this. Extra information, something you notice as you were locked picking the door. Mm -hmm. This door is metallic, but it's not too too thick. It's like a very simple door. Okay, so Hogdor probably has a good chance of doing it. First of all, Hogdor wants to just try to push on the door. Give me an athletic check. I can do that. I really like the Hogdor character. <laughs> He's actually my favorite character so far. I love Hogdor. Yeah, Hogdor I also love Hogdor. Hogdor. Yeah, go ahead. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, my God. Oh, Pretty good. So, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> the casual Hogdor smash door, door indeed. Hogdor, <laughs> as you push on this door, you feel an attempt at pushing you back through magical means. But you're too strong, my boy. Hey. <laughs> Flies open through super, Hogdor's super strength. Where did Hogdor go? Hogdor again? Where, where yeah. Hogdor go? This is this is what I imagine. He just like tries to attempt oh, to uh, just nudge uh, the door, we, but it's not. I think off. we lost Hogdor. I think again. we lost him again. Yeah. Hogdor flew into the DM area. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> That's how strong Hogdor he is. Hogdor blasted. And uh, by the way, Meteor landed straight on the trap. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah he saw it. <laughs> Dead. Okay, you open the door, and inside you find a simple looking room. There is two shelves that have rotten books and broken pottery. Okay. Nothing, nothing of importance, and what seems to look like a bed, but it's kind of weird. What's Before that, was there, was, was there any kind of magic visible while he was smacking the door? When he opened the, the door, you could see a flash of... Uh, a flash of uh, energy, like dissipating. Okay, I would you can like. Give me another kind of check hold on. Before, yeah, that, before, that is what I was gonna do. Before any of that, right. Hogdor turns around and looks back to his friends and, and kind of puts his hands on his hips, looking all proud. He's like, "Hogdor, open door." Hey. <laughs> uh, I, oh, I immediately put my well. hand up to give him a high five. <laughs> Hogdor high fives, Alaren. Also, funny enough, nice. it was not as loud as you thought it would be. Was it very quiet when you opened it? Not quiet, but loud, but not extremely loud. Oh shit, everyone is going to hear us. Okay. Okay. It's actually nice. The uh, the explosion of us flying around was not represented. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, man, what was what, what, what your kind of check? Uh, I didn't roll yet because you said hold on. Okay, yeah, roll right, it. Yeah, what what do we have on? to check? Yeah, go for it. Uh, also, you, yeah. Medir, give me a, as well an kind of check. Yeah, I was doing Arcana check to look, for, uh, to look for, to look for in like. Uh, yeah, just to realize magic. what the heck was going on here. Yeah, uh, hold on. Oh uh, no! <laughs> it was on a twenty and rolled on an eight. No. Oh, it was seventeen. Actually, yeah. that's enough for both of you. Uh, this is a spell called Arcane Lock. Uh. It, gameplay wise, gives a plus ten to the DC of the lockpick. Oh, and okay. Plus ten to the AC like... of the door. That's <laughs> like twenty-five AC. Oh my God! Let's I go. I almost got it. So basically, the, yeah. So the twenty-seven was just enough. Hell yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. So someone cast a enforce door spell or something gives DC and AC to the door. <laughs> but, uh, uh, hold on. That... <laughs> no, you told Arcana check. I would like to make a quick perception check from where I'm standing just to see if I see anything out of the ordinary. Like uh, traps or something, right? Well, yeah, that's, I described... that's like something that could harm the player, mostly. It, it, yeah, that's fine. Everything I described is what you see here. There's nothing else. Nothing, nothing special. Nothing. No. no looks like, it looks like a bedroom with a weird bed. Now, the real... With your arcana checks, you would note also that the arcane lock spell lasts forever. So if someone cast it like yeah. a thousand years ago, it's still active. Well, not anymore because Hogdor broke it. 
<laughs> yeah. The important question, though, Mondu, is is anything oh. shiny in this room? <laughs> no. Everything okay. is rotted and broken. Okay. Can I investigate <laughs> the, the bad sarcophagus thingy here? Sure, give me an investigation check. I love that my character's making everybody paranoid about shiny things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've noticed it, so now i got to keep it in case. Well, that's, yeah. that, that's out of character, but yeah. Investigation <laughs> for you would be the 20 plus 3. Oh, Hogdor's just gonna float there, I guess. Uh, I'll put yeah, the key okay, in your square. We'll have Hogdor over here. How yeah, about yeah, that? that's cool. Oh, god damn it. Oh, leg. Oh, okay, it's a 12. You intimidated the bed, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have an investigation die. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. No, you're fine. You're fine, it's great. Uh, in, that's, that's actually enough. Uh, you find, uh, like, um, a secret compartment below the this weird looking bed and turns out you can open it like it's it's a uh, it's not quite a coffin but it's like a huge chest you can sleep on on it well i yeah i take it or open it or whatever <laughs> well you open oh, it and uh, hold on let me Bob, check something where is it uh oh you find <laughs> oh yes a wand Wand. The sorcerer or wizard one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's just the focus. Damn, that's really cool. Focus? Um, uh, yeah. It's an unidentified wand. Uh, it might have a special effect. Ooh. Uh, nice. Can I identify it? Uh, give me a kind of check to see if you recognize what it is. If not, you can spend okay. an hour in a short rest uh, okay. looking at it and uh, figuring uh, it oh. out. There, okay, there. Oh, come on! <laughs> I have the feeling that we have to move these a little bit down because it's, it keeps hitting the table. Good, overall. Are you sure you can just select all and move them down? Yeah, with that, uh, it's not yeah, enough. There you go. Let's see here. Okay, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a wand that looks, looks better than a normal wand you give to a student wizard. Hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, um, if, of course. If, if it has any effect, I mean, you can try swinging it and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I okay. Can, can yeah, Sorry. maybe not best to do that in a little room while we're... I don't know if Meteor's character would yeah. actually swing that around to see what it is. Maybe. I mean, you could also show Nine, the actually. wand to the party. Yeah, right, right. This that. Is what and know, you know that I'm holding a wand, so... So, um, I pull out the wand and... Uh, oh, right. So, uh, we cannot do anything more with this chest thing? There is nothing else in there. Like, there okay. is a rotten books like, that if you grab them, they go to dust. Yeah, and naturally I just present the wand because it's not a secret or I don't intend to keep it or whatever and just, oh, okay, look what I found. It seems kind of interesting. I might even try it out at some point. And, well, if anyone would like to... I would like to do an arcana check to see if I can... Leave it to see if you, if you recognize what kind of wand this is. Oh, 20. Oh, oh you damn. <laughs> instantly recognize this is a wand of the War Mage. Uh, can you give more <laughs> details of what it does? Uh, basically, give you a, g this one specifically gives you a plus two to uh, spell attack rolls. Ooh. Oh. So, I'm, dropping, is, uh... I'm oh. dropping it over here because Meteor found it. You guys can <laughs> give the one to whoever wants it. Meteor, also, you found the wand, wild, Keep in mind, the wand requires attunement. So you found a very an hour special, with it. You found a very special wand there, Meteor. It, uh... Helps you with your spell casting. It makes you, you so, you aim better, with it. Explanation on, on mechanics it's for you. It's got auto aim assist. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to give you an explanation Whoa. to you, Midir. Aimbot is he here in yeah, this? Playing on console. Require, this one requires yeah. attunement. <laughs> attunement is basically you spend an hour, uh, forming a spiritual link with your magic item. So if you want to do it, you will need to go out of here and spend an hour looking at the one. Ah, okay, so, or else we continue and just, I don't know, just put it in my back just, pocket. You just hold on to it, it, yeah. You just keep it and use it when, you, you can keep it another time. <clears throat> um, okay. It's like, um, okay. Quite interesting for such a puny little stick. Uh, I don't know what happened with the key, but Hogdor has it. <laughs> yeah, Hogdor has the key. Yeah, I have the key. I oh, I, I, I put it into his play area. Because he's holding it. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyways, okay. while you guys are... Taking a look at the wand, okay. I'm going to make, if that's okay with you, Mondo, I'm going to make an investigation check around the uh, 
not the, the over to the right, but you know where my character's looking right now? Looking at the yeah, shelves. I just wanted to the see shelves. if I see anything interesting that peaks my eye. Oh, God, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, even with, with uh, if you roll a one, there's nothing of interest. Everything is the broken parts, rotten books. Nothing. Not, nothing useful. Absolutely anyways, nothing. But... The, only thing, yeah. the only thing you 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 guys could find with an investigation here is that one inside the, the thing. Everything else under this bed was this rotten clothes. Like everything is dead. Like okay. the one is magical, so that's why it we still yeah, the time. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it was this the only fine. item in the room hmm. because it was a very important uh, door. Yeah. Yeah. This looks right. like a bedroom. That's the extra information. You get. Yeah. Right. No one would look at bed. Like but to yeah, investigate I ain't the, the the thing the the level. Well, you investigate that. Give me an investigation check. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. It's it's, it's in, a very low DC. Is it intelligence or what is it? Intelligence. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ba, 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 15. Oh, well, with that, go. yeah. You can you can see this is has the, this is this lever is very similar to the key Hoctor is holding. And it's on a keyhole that's very similar to the one on the opposite side of the door. Oh. Uh, yeah, Hoctor, you should smash it and <laughs> Um, also, yeah. <laughs> also from, with that, you also see on the inside of the this weird, huge-looking keyhole, you can see sparks of uh, arcane power. Let's say the mm. same bluish hue as the the many stripes that go all along the walls in in this place. All right, I would like to convey that information to the party. Uh, while he was investigating the key, Meteor uh, uh, went over to Hotgar. Hotgar uh, was still impressed by his uh, amazing feat of just <laughs> evaporating the door. <laughs> it's like, Maybe, uh, the DC was 25, jeez. Uh, good Org, what kind of workout are you doing daily? Eh, <laughs> Hogdor just strong. Think, uh, <laughs> just uh, like you that. don't lift any weights, no gains? Yeah. No gains, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think he would say what are gains. Hogdor, Hogdor <laughs> kind of tilts his head, not sure how to respond. No, no, okay, it's fine. Oh, so I did, in, after you guys are done, I would like to convey to the party yeah, yeah, go for it. Out so that there's, so that there's yeah. a keyhole, that there's the thing that it looks like this is the, 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 the key from Hogdor fits into here and... It, and it looks like a lever. Can we make a check to un like see if we understand his fast uh, speech? No, I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to say <laughs> it. I joke. wanted to save time. No, that's fine. I we get what you mean. Hogdor, Hogdor comes over. I can also over. do it in RP. I'm fine with that. Yeah, you should. You should. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Hogdor, Hogdor so, use Hog key? Hogdor, you can, uh, you can, Hogdor, uh, yeah, go use key. This is uh, oh. the only place we can go. Okay. Hogdor puts the key into the keyhole. Do you turn it? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Okay. You turn it, nothing seems to happen. Hmm. Key no work? Kind of thing. Why? Yeah. Hog I, I uh, would just turn this as well. You turn it, nothing happens. Hmm. When, reminder, when you looked into into the mechanism of the, the thing, it looked like a lever. Here's the thing, I have an idea, but I don't no. think Hogdor oh, would have this idea, so... Yeah, um... <laughs> hey, Hogdor, go pull on that key, just pull it down, and... As I tell Hogdor that, I start pulling this thing down. Okay! You both, of, both of you pull the, the lever down? I step oh, away from the door... Yeah, is the door gonna explosion. explode? Hang on. Okay. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, okay. it slides open? What? That's great. I know, That's cool. I know. isn't that great? The door slides oh. open. I just got a little nerdgasm. Oh. Uh, is it, is Hogwarts this, is gets consumed uh, by the darkness. Is it the transform tool that you use? Well, to move that's it? unfortunate. Uh, you heard, as the door opens before you guys enter here, you <clears> guys <throat> heard mechanical gears turning and electricity. Electricity? Or what? Yeah, electricity. Mm. Oh. Is, is that a concept? And Do we know past that? the door, Probably you not. see a dead-looking cleric on top of the spikes. Oh, no. 
next to him a massive silver key and the backpack. Is the key shiny? The key is indeed shiny. Oh, okay, before you do anything with that, Hokuto Hokuto see shiny. That, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna stop him here, but uh, Mandu, uh, this mechanical door does it make any clanking sound? Uh, just gears and mechanical sounds like chains. Probably the mechanism that opens it. <clears throat> it's not a very loud sound. Okay, well, Hogdo C These shiny. These are massive tall doors, by the way. Oh God, Hogdo C shiny. Hogdo C shiny, you, yeah. You get up to here and give me a please at deck saving throw. Okay. Yeah. I oh no, Hogdo C shiny. I uh, I should have held him back. Reminder, Hogdo, you uh, probably by accident attuned to the ring of invasion. Oh, that's right. We talked about that. Yeah, rest. because you no, looked at the shiny the entire time. <laughs> so he, if he fails, he can choose. If I fail, I can if you fail, use a reaction You to can basically oh. succeed okay. using one of the three charges. I like that. Well, let's roll and see you what happens first. You can do that three first. times? Damn. That seems very good, yeah. yeah. That's a really good item. You guys found nice. it. Nice. Twelve. Uh, that's not enough. Do you okay, well then I use invasion? one of the charges on the ring, yes. Okay, you, you all see as Cogdor magically like shifts like 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 a blue shadow, and moves so out of the way of the spikes that I need to bring over here. Okay. Oh boy. And you are up to the. Cogdor does not even notice the spikes. He just looks at the. He just looks at the key. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> just yeah, unconsciously <laughs> finds the the spikes. Also, by the way, these spikes. Look similar to the ones from before, but they stay out. Okay. okay. Well, they, are very, they are very rusty. Probably, I'm actually going to ask... Mechanism I, I know all this crazy shit is happening, but, but I'm actually going to ask Admin here if uh, if this is the same sound he heard when the sh shadows are attacking last time. And would, uh, would he know this, Madu? The, the sound of the doors opening? Yes. Hmm... Maybe you're giving me, give me a history check, I guess. History. See if you remember. History. history. I believe you're proficient with that. Without a table this time? Wow, okay. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You don't know uh, shit, man. He <laughs> has no clue. He, well, heard, he heard crazy noises. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. All right, I mean, here, go ahead and relay that information to me. Yeah, and he's like, um, and again, like the same sentence as uh, it was over here. Like, how am I supposed to know? Did I build this kind of things? No. What a stupid question. <laughs> like hey, that. man, I'm just asking if you heard a similar sound. That's all I ask. It's not a stupid question. By the way, since you're a person who likes to, uh, you know, do things for, uh, well, you know, for knowledge and science and all that, I thought the motto was, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Well, now there is. <laughs> oh, Damn. oh, you, you invented the <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, Laren just like uh, shuts no, no up. No chill bitch just, here. Just uh, at hey, this Laren point, will remember this. <laughs> this you... Okay, at this point, all of you can hear the sound of gears turning and the spikes will go down. May I make uh, a perception roll to see if there's more of these in this hallway? Give me a perception roll with advantage because you know what you're looking for. Thank you. I will do so. I hope 24 is enough. More than enough. Uh, oh, nice. You, you see the same kind of illusory floor over here, over here, so, over here. a pattern, basically. Okay. Ooh. All right. Oh, we have it like... Like this. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm going to throw a rock on the one to the right of the big one. Oh, one of my pebbles. Just to let people know there's a one there. Over here? The one the one that's already that just uh sprung over on Hogdor, basically. The one to the right of it, the Sonia. Yeah. Okay. Uh you do that and indeed the spikes come out of the floor. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, remove one over rock here, here. I just wanted the party to see without uh, saying any words, basically. <clears throat> well, everyone sees the spikes over here too. Oh, uh, Meteor, seeing what um, he has done right now, uh, he approaches him and uh, Elarin, right? Yeah, that's correct. Right. He approaches Elarin and um, just nodding acknowledgedly, like, oh, I might have to take that back. <laughs> nice. Okay. Fair enough. No hard feelings, Elarin <laughs> says. 
in in a, in like the exact same like not really like a stutter but like you know message by message by message very slowly. <laughs> mm. I would you like can tell to that Alaris cast... a little butt hurt. <laughs> I would like to cast chill touch right here to have like a hand spawn. Mm. But so the spell that... makes a hand spawn. Yeah, and you make an attack okay. that deals necrotic damage. Yeah. Hello Chief Touch. It's not touch and it's not cold damage. No, no, uh, it's necrotic damage. I just I just want to spawn the hand like at the spike trap. I mean the hand has to attack something. That's how the spell works. It's not mage hand. Creature. Oh, I can only use it against a creature anyways, so I can't even do that. Sorry. I would allow you to sh to try to hit the trap if you want. Well, okay. In that case, it just slams straight onto one of the holes where the spikes come up. Isn't this trap already uh, sprung? No, nah, it's sprung, it, but it, it went down. Back. Uh, ah, it probably okay, armed okay. itself. But it's not an illusion, right? Anymore? Yeah, yeah, it's still an illusion, but you know it's there. Okay. So basically, what the hand is supposed to do is like spawn like right next to it, and then do a slap right onto one of the. Holds. Okay, give me an attack roll. Uh, spell attack roll. Where are you? But none of us have dispel <laughs> magic or anything like that, probably. It's a nine. That's a miss. <laughs> the hand goes through the hole and nothing happens. Well, good I'm enough for me. I walk no onto the trap. You walked into a trap? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, give me a deck save. I, yep. In character, I guess that makes uh -huh. sense. Noman was using the hand. The hand slapped the thing. Nothing happened. So, Noman thinks ah. you know what? That makes sense. So walk over. Yeah, ah. he thinks it's safe. So, uh, uh oh, oh, oh. Uh, well. Um, Did these spikes have the green stuff, or was that only the water ones? These spikes did not have the green stuff. Oh, lucky, lucky for Ooh. you. Um, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that, oy, 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 that was mm. really lucky. You take... Oh my god, that's a low roll. Five piercing damage. Oh, that's... Okay. Okay, I mean... And what do you do? Do you roll away? Do you jump it... off? Well, oh, I would that's... I would jump over here if that's... Okay, okay you do okay. that uh, as you take damage. The spikes are out, and they are struggling to go back down. Uh, after seeing what Noman did, uh, I'm going to go in the corner over here, and I'm going to throw a rock in front of him so he can see the spikes. Do you want me to throw a, an attack to see if I land in that You're spot? Just throw a rock, rock into a 10 by uh, a 10, by 10, uh, five by five, 10, 10 by 10 area. Uh, you did that, and uh, there's no spikes. The stone goes through the illusory floor. There's no spikes on that right one. It goes through the floor, basically. so it doesn't hit the floor. It just falls through. It goes through the floor. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Uh, no and as you can tell, the, the the floor is also like this. Not dust. It's clearly an illusion that was made <laughs> when the temple was in way better state. So, oh, uh, and, uh, I just uh, could... hold on. Uh, both Hogdor and Nomen, give me a perception check. Yeah, you guys need. Oh, Hogdor's Whether been looking at the key this whole time. He does not roll a perception check. Well, Hogdor, give me a perception check at disadvantage. Okay. Makes sense. I find it so cool, by the way, that you kind of play this in character thing. He's just through. Really like it. Yeah, it's the fun of D and D. If you just yeah. keep playing to attack and not nice. have any RP, it was okay. fun in that. You Norman... know. Yeah, but I can see that you guys are quite experienced and have already played. A well, we at are, least, we I are, don't know, 10 rounds or so. I probably have the eight, most experience here. Yeah, I mean, so the cool. group here in general is 18 sessions in another campaign, and this is yeah. the second time I IDM, so... Yeah. So 20 sessions right so, now at this point. With that perception roll, Norman, you see the, door, the rock go through the through the illusory floor, and you, hit a, you he, do hear a, the sound of it hitting something super early. It's like the floor is not too deep. But it's, uh, say, you could the rock assess is, it's, the, like, a pebble two feet down. In here. Okay, two feet, okay. All right. Uh, uh, hey, Hogdor, you're, you you know about medicine stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Also, Hulk, by the way, Hulk in front of you, there's a dead 
It's a dead yeah. cleric. I want I want not Yondu. to check out Yondu. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hawker, you can you? Can you I feel like you'd want to pull off thing? the the pull off the dead body from the <laughs> trap, but yeah. This must be Yondu though. <laughs> okay, Hawker, he kind of says that this poor cleric. <laughs> I love that. Although name. He, his muscles look drained. Uh, he died to the spikes. He did, this guy has a big spike piercing through his heart. Was oh, he wow. part of my uh, original? Yes. You group? also recognize him as part of the, the thing. Also, as okay. you check his body, you found that at his feet, there was these two. Ooh. Oh, nice. You find so, an empty holy water <laughs> flask and one that's actually full. Okay. Hmm. So I'm going to delete the empty one. Unless you want it for some reason. I mean, the bottle might be of use. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. I let if, we know. if we're going by point-and-click adventure game rules, you pick up every item. So you know what? We'll take yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> also, because you know that uh, you are proficient in religion, you would know the holy water deals damage to undead. Okay. I let the party know that um, this one is also uh, one of the original party members. Ah, so there is the cleric. I don't know what his name was. Uh, Yondu, Shwandu, Wandu. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I was already <laughs> wondering where he was. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, and if you recall, Alerin, uh, Cyril told you to drop the dead bodies into the bag of holding. What? Oh, right, okay. Right, that's a thing. I'm, yeah, we no. We can recover I, them. Do I see um, the dead body from here? Can can I uh, be for You also heard when the, door, the door's okay. open. All right, that's why I thought. I, I would like to do an investigation check to see if there's, like, stuff over here. Give me you a will, perception like, check. How, how far I can see. Okay, hold on. You can see all this room. This is in dim light, and you have you guys have dark vision. Yeah, I don't know. Wow! Oh man! You you okay. you actually give me. Are you looking for illusory floors? Yeah, I'm looking for this. Roll this another check. You, you oh, sorry, I roll an advantage. advantage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, another perception. Because you know exactly what you're looking for. Oh, there, there you go. go. With that, no extra illusory floors around. This looks. All right, clean. guys. I step on the dead body <laughs> and I jump over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, uh, cool. do it. I make a running <laughs> jump and go over here for right now. That's okay. If I pull uh, why, the Why Norman key, step on person? Um, <laughs> Did you try to pull key? the key? <laughs> yeah. It's locked in there, Medivh. No, ah, okay. Look, cool. Hawk Door. Just you're, you're big and strong. You can jump far. I cannot jump that far. I need I needed uh, I needed a little more room. Also, mm -hmm. side note, uh, long jumps require you guys to run for at least 10 feet. So to yeah. do this jump, I'm going to require you guys to do a check. Fair. And I, I, I'll i uh, <laughs> I'll take the body <laughs> in the bag of holding <laughs> after you guys jump off of it. Maybe. Do we Do we also uh, assume yeah. I pick up the key, by the way? Uh, I do, mean, Hogdor Hog is take the key? I do Have take the key. Have you taken the key Hog Hog shiny, I guess. <laughs> I I, I, I said oh shiny and looked at and picked up the key. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> you may add Roy, you may add to your bag of holding list uh, not dead Yondu. I said that not Yondu. Okay. Yeah, just just, just oh, plop okay. him uh, plop him on the bag of holding. Yeah, you, yeah. you see Alaren just like put it inside this bag. It just looks really weird. Yeah, you see how the body slowly shrinks into the hole of the bag, like uh, unnatural ways. It's kinda of weird, yeah. And yeah. Can a person go a, in a, a bag of holding that's alive? Uh, for yes. ten minutes, yes. For ten that minutes. That is, I didn't even know that. That's well. crazy. I was secretly, that, that, was, I was secretly hoping for you guys to try to put the uh, the guy that's alive <laughs> inside the bag of holding, and then tell but you, hey, is. he's dead. <laughs> well, <laughs> out of character, I would have known, but I wouldn't have stopped them from doing that in character. See, I didn't uh, know, the know fun, you could do the, that. The, the, fun, the real tried. funny thing is, if you're a druid and you have a bag of holding, you can put your entire party in the bag of holding, shape shift, and then it's like word. swim yeah. swim away as a fish. And then, if you're not taking ten minutes, you can plop out and have everybody come out of the bag of holding, or That's you could amazing. just fly away as a sparrow or something. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's amazing. That's a great tactic. I yep. like that. Anyways, uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, well, uh, I guess Hogdo like is gonna to try ahead. to jump across. All right, Hogdo will go for that. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna clear the way. By the way, I'm yeah. just, just making sure. I assume you want an athletics check. Give me an athletics check for a long jump without. I'm pretty good at running. those. 
Well, oh. I mean nine. Uh, which is your path That's to minus the top? Minus right, minus two, right? Oh yeah, minus two as well. True. So seven. Minus two or minus one? Minus two. I lost three strength, right? So your modifier should go down go down by one then. No, he said he was at eighteen, minus three is fifteen, so he's at two. Oh then it's a plus two. Not a yeah. minus two. Okay, whatever. Uh, that's still a fail. Okay. Yeah, that's safe. yeah, but compared to his roller, which here. had the four, it's oh god. And I'm going to Dex scale save. this up to the real size because you know I made the scene before deciding the the size of. Uh, oh, you can you can I'm, I'm nineteen. Up. You can. That's a success. You successfully fall and roll over. Roll over to the end. nice. Who's next? <clears throat> I'm gonna let a uh, meteor do something. That's here. close. Yeah, oh, what yeah, are you doing I, over there? I'll let you do something first. I have a plan. Okay, so um, what do I need to do to get over there? Uh, running long jump, you can get... Actually, if you give me a DC 10 acrobatic check, you can do both jumps in one row, in one time. That's what I was thinking. One, like, one if row. he knows they're both there, you can just do both. If you can jump here safely, you will need to, If you stop... Acro acrobatics. To not, not that like it's acrobatics. 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 That's just a yeah. dexterity. Uh, ah, Meteor's You're acrobatics. proficient in acrobatics, actually. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a success. You jump over both, uh, you clear both in one jump. Boop, and then boop. Oh, nice. So I got a question for you, Mandu. Did yeah, I? I, would, I would, can I? Oh, go ahead. Can I do something like a little bit more dramatic? Like <laughs> running, running forwards, jumping to the wall, jumping off the wall, and here again. <laughs> This wall is higher than it, than it looks in the model. Like it keeps going. Well, up. literally, no, I mean just on, on the what side. What is this? Super Mario sixty four? Just bouncing off. No, you, want, you want to wall kick and jump here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's uh, your your check is still good enough to do that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Wow. So Mitya lands lands there with like uh, with his robes, but you can hear the chains clattering, and it's like oh, kind of putting himself up, holding a. Uh, one hand on his back, it's like, oh, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> that was very loud, by the way. Well, Elarian, you saw this old man do monk stuff. What did you do? <laughs> I, was, I was actually going to respond to this. I'm actually, uh, this is a visual thing. I don't know if, if he would see this because he's looking the other way. I kind of put my hand, uh, like, for example, like a, a beard thing, like my goatee. I'm kind of like impressed a little bit, you know? I won't say anything. You're doing the stroke the beard motion? Yeah, I'm doing a stroke <laughs> like the goatee. Like, nice. It's like, oh, I'm too old for this shit. Uh. <laughs> Despite what you say about that, he's a little bit impressed. But, Mandu, I have a question. So when I threw the rock, do I know that this is probably a hole? Uh, You you would realize. You, you, were, you threw the rock and you weren't looking at it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you... one more rock and I'm going to get as close as possible. And it's just going to drop it you, in front you of me. You are down as close hole. as possible. Also... Yeah, I'm going to drop it down the hole where I'm at. Like just you know, as close as possible to it. Just, I just you want to the see. rock and very very fast, like like not not even after it's past the 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 luxury floor, you hear it like landing on something. Uh, how how many seconds are we talking here? Uh, half second. a second, half a second. But one no second spikes popped up, right? No spikes. Also, give me a perception check to see if the you can discern the kind of sound it is. That's what I was. I wanted. I'm. I'm curious about something. Uh, wow. Uh, eight. It doesn't sound like metal. It doesn't sound like metal. But it's I know this solid. is gonna be a very risky thing to do. But are you gonna how jump thick, in? No. How thick is the illusion? Can I tell? Uh, it's at floor level. Okay. You can tell. I'm gonna. St I'm gonna take this risk. I'm gonna stick my head and look down. <laughs> oh boy! You okay. stick your head through the illusion and you see what would be a spike uh, pitfall. Oh. You, don't, you don't need to see. You see. Oh, no. I was gonna roll for it. Uh, okay. I was. Not, I was so looking forward to spikes just so, springing out. That's into what your I was face. assuming. Oh. But, uh, this, uh, but this is a this is a pit trap how, with spikes at the bottom. However, there's a lot of coals and skeletons in there to the point uh. you could stand over and just walk over it stand over and walk over it yeah is there uh hold on let me can i make a perception check to see if i notice anything or maybe an investigative check to see if there's anything on the bottom you are, up, you are, your head is 
Oh, basically touching the skeletons. Give me an investigation check. Luke, That's what that is. Luke. Yeah, yeah. See, you know what I'm <laughs> going with. <laughs> Uh, nine, apparently. 69, yes. Nothing worth it. Broken swords, rather than But it, it's a free check, though. Like, I could just walk across? Or... You can walk across, no issue. I we will... should have known that. I don't know. Is anyone actually watching me at this point? Hogdo's <laughs> looking. Them. What about uh, Noman? Vitya, no. He's, he is busy with his bag. Okay. <laughs> no, is Noman looking? Uh, no. I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at... Uh, I'm looking at Meteor, because... Uh, okay. While Noman doesn't speak out, he's very impressed with the feat he just saw by the old man. <laughs> right? Yeah, it was pretty great. I'm gonna walk over the skeletons nonchalantly, like, uh, I'm just kind of, like, walking over nothing. If that's okay. okay. You there see you him walk, walk with his feet, like, up to his ankles. His, <laughs> like, his feet are going through the floor. You hear the rattling of bones, but he makes it through like it's nothing. <laughs> Hogdor it's a trap, Jesus. Hogdor sees this and goes, Eh? How you do? Well, you see, it's a it's a long secret be uh, behind the monks. Uh, I can't really disclose that information. <laughs> oh. Hogdor goes, Oh, okay. Well, you get Maybe one day I'll room. teach you, Hogdor. Maybe one day. Now that all mm. of you are here, over here, you can see uh, on this side... Two big keyholes with silver adornment. One of them has a <clears throat> lever that's silver. Oh, this seems familiar. And over here, you see two keyholes. Oh. With golden adornments. Oh. No, no lever, no key. What is this? A Zelda dungeon? Yes. Yeah, I've like <laughs> right? I did. I mean, I'm, give, I'm giving you keys that works. Yeah, levers. seriously. Oh, that would be cool. So. If he picks up the key or uh, the wand or whatever, it's like da -da -da -da. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the. <laughs> if Draybog was here, he would do this. He would, yeah. A uh, Draybog would definitely. <laughs> okay, well, so this so one had what silver, silver right? Yeah, this one. This one has a silver keyhole over here next to the left side of the door. Does Hogdor notice that? You do. It's kind of shimmering. Okay. Because of the, the light oh, in the room. Oh. <laughs> Hogdor comes uh, over and looks at it. While he's doing that, I'm just going to roll a perception check to look for traps since I don't know about this yet. You see no illusory floors. Okay. I'm just going to walk around the room. Uh, can I roll an investigative check just to see if I just notice anything out of the ordinary? Uh, do you want to know this or do you want to touch stuff? If you want I'm to know this, it's to be perception. I'm going to not touch stuff. I'm going to use perception then, right? Yep. Hmm. Okay, just gonna just a, this is my perception check to walk around the room. Yep, the nothing out of the ordinary. Can, Can I, I? Um. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. No, sorry. You you go first. You go first. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, inspired by Ellerin, I would like to uh, investigate the rubble and also uh, cash in some um, pebbles. <laughs> I thought okay. he was gonna. Do um... Nice. Since I noticed the pebbles too, can I grab a few more as well? You you can grab a few more. Both of you can add. A few pebbles to your inventory. All right, I'm going to do plus three then. They are kind of big, so let's say you grab back. five. <laughs> also, <I'm back. laughs> no need to roll. There is, like, nothing of value in this pile of rubble. Yeah, I just, I'm just going to would, I would like to investigate the water, see how deep it is. Miss Give me a perception check. Some pebbles. Yeah, do, do like, uh... A net 20. Oh. Pebbles. With like that? that? You nice. actually realize it's dissimilar to the other, <clears throat> the other end. However, the bottom side is murky. It's not an illusion. Also, you notice what looks like a face, oh, and God. it vanishes instantly. Yeah, it vanishes. Oh, yeah, it goes away. Hmm. Like uh, you realize you were looking at it and creepy went stuff. Away. Uh, right. Okay, I, I I take note, but do not. Inform the party. Okay. Why you asshole? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, another thing, uh, this little pool is like fed from uh, these like holes that bring other water in here. Okay, it's it's that's still gotcha, yeah. thing. I got you. And that's it. That's all you see. That there. creeps me out a little bit, Mondo. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but I, that's, my idea. Idea. Yeah. that's the idea, and you did not see it. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's, uh, it creeps me out as well, but Nomen, not so much. <laughs> it's like, Nomen, nope, you... nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it's, like it's like a normal day back in the Shadowfall. <laughs> it's like, anyway. oh, hi, Greg. Oh. <laughs> hi, Hondo Grandma. Put, Hondo puts the key in the keyhole. Uh, can, can I just real quickly ask, what did the face look like? Did it look like a human face? Like a... It did not brains. look like a human face. It looked like uh, a spirit eyes with and a mouth. I don't like that. Ooh. Spirit eyes. No one's not going to say a damn thing. Damn. Uh, well, unfortunate. Anyways, you put the, the key in the keyhole. Do yep. you turn it and try to pull it? Like I do whatever? turn it, yes. Okay. Um, uh, you hear the sound of gears and nothing happens unless someone else is doing the same on the other side. Yeah, right. Yeah, I help out this time. Alright, you did and, it. And, and before that, he, uh, Meteor nods admittingly at Elderin while they're um, putting their pockets with uh, pebbles like monkeys. Like, <laughs> you all can hear the sound I see of you are the master of pebbles too. <laughs> I see them in your ear. <laughs> you guys are getting along really well. At first, Funny it wasn't enough. so great, but. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, I was saying it's, uh, this way. it's, it's getting it, better. Yeah. Uh, before it was uh, in character, so this guy's a little bit arrogant. I didn't mean like any offense before. No, <laughs> no, you're all good. It's dude. all good. No, I, on that yeah, way. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. The doors open. You hear the grinding sound of gears and chains, and it's open. Oh, uh, is that is that all we see? Since this is the second time a door has made this sound, uh, can I make a? history check to think or at least try to put two and two together with this because it, it seems like a very common thing in this ruins are you I also wanna... seeing the fuck of yeah, war yeah check. yeah i was i was asking yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's why i was is this, asking is yeah, yeah is this really all we supposed to see? see uh this is all you see yeah like a narrow passage only, here? The, only this from this angle uh, uh you can see up to here like but there's nothing going on here to be honest yeah but but what is what oh, is man, can I what's here here, this, here. You have no idea um, yeah, I thought so. I mean, it's right in front of us. We There's no door or anything. We could probably... Like, there's, or a fog. Only... there's a fog right here for no, us. Hold on. Don't you see the, the space? No. No, there's, no, it's there's black a fog. It's black for us right here. Hold on. It's black it's for It's a big guys? rectangle, basically. Yeah, yeah this is so here. All we oh. see is this passage, basically. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah like we, a, see, we, we see like one tile over here. Door. Okay, I'm going to rewind so you guys reload ah. this. Because I, I opened the door and opened the space, so you guys should be seeing the hallway. Yeah, that's, ah, that's why okay. we're asking. It's, uh... Yeah, it was weird. Okay. Visible confusion. Oh, no, don't look <laughs> at the map. I, you can see. Oh, okay. I was just able You're not going to really remember map. what it looked like anyways, let's be honest. I wasn't looking. Okay. Uh, it's still black for us, yeah. Yeah, it's still there. Do you want us to look away real quick and see if you can move I can, it? I can move it, probably. Oh, okay. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, we can see everything now. Cool. Uh, okay. 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 I just I didn't want to accidentally. Oh, oh this was so confusing that? for a second there. When, uh, when I see the were, cobweb now. So, uh, it was so fun when you were super convinced that. Oh yeah, this is all you see. I'm like, okay, what? <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. yeah, that's better. It's there we go. Area, that's, that's, okay. That's, that's okay. Concerned. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now, it's okay. with that, uh, because <laughs> you guys are all used to it by now, I'm not going to make you roll. There is no illusory floors over here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We just all gonna walk in. I mean, I guess so, right? I mean, I'm gonna. I, I'll, Norman will just stay a little bit behind, actually. Hulk all right, then I'll be the first then. one to take the corner and take a perception check, maybe? Mm, no need to. P no need? Okay. Passive is fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just a hallway. Okay. And then, Are you guys seeing the, the shadow going away? Yes. Away? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna make a stealth check and peek around the corner. That's the plan. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, stealth, and then I'm gonna make a perception check. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm the loudest motherfucker. Out there. <laughs> you you trip on a on a bunch of rocks and make a lot of noise. Oh shit! Uh, Perception, nothing out of the ordinary. You see uh, a bunch of uh, a big I, pillars I, over here. I, I'm just gonna fall over, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh shit, fuck that rock. <laughs> Stub my toe, man. <laughs> the little toe. Are you guys getting closer? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm waiting. <laughs> since I since I uh, fell over kind of a little bit, I'm gonna make a new stealth check in front of the party if that's okay. 
<laughs> okay, you recompose yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna roll it one more time. Is anyone else stealthing, by the way? No. Absolutely not. I'm the stinkiest well, ninja for now. For some reason, Alluring is like, you guys think he's a ghost. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, uh, peek around the corner. Do you view of the entire room by now? I'm gonna use a perception oh. check to immediately look for any hostile. Yeah. I'm looking Let for hostiles. Just... Yeah. Nothing you can see. But okay, with that, God. you see this room, there's big, four big pillars in the middle. All of them have a strange looking torch. One of them is turned on. And over the torches, there's glyphs that I'm going to show you now. Yeah, I'm just kind of like hiding around the corner just to make sure. I love how you guys called out Zelda and I just dropped you into a torch puzzle. <laughs> 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 Uh, and no man, no man looks at the lit torch and in, in disgust. It's not a normal torch. It's not fire. Oh, okay. Then whatever. Oh, God. Puzzles, man. Yeah. You see that over each of the torches, there's a Is glyph. this one meant to be diagonal? No, no, no. no okay. The, 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 the arrow it means upright. So if you look at it from the front side where the arrow goes up. Oh, I see. Can we? So Wait, I don't understand. Lists or if you stuff. stand in, let me let me accommodate this better. Uh, if you stand in front of the torch, looking at the glyph, you see it from the direction you should be seeing, with the arrow looking over upwards. So you uh, mean okay. like if we were facing we were like this? this way? Exactly. You see, this glyph you see. This is what like we see. Mm, okay. Okay. And something extra, this torch is lit. You can see it's a torch, but looks like it have, has a crystal around the, the flame. The flame is uh, sparkling with uh, King Power. And this clip specifically is glowing red instead of faint blue like the other ones. Hmm. Mm. Uh, which one is red? That one? This one. This Sorry? One. This one, okay. And the torch is lit. It's a yellowish, bluish color. Mm. Wait, the, these, I... these, are these torches also glowing? No, they're not, right? No, all, all the other four torches are turned off. Okay. Can I make an investigation check to, or some sort of check to, like, if I can? I don't know. I'm gonna push on it. Is that okay? Give me, give me an investigation check. Yeah, I'm just gonna mess around with it. I'm kind of curious. Also Why is like that one afterwards? Also, adding to the description of the room, there is four big, huge statues. All of them uh, sporting four? what looks like to be a knight with three, draconic right? wings and face. It's the only three. Is yeah, we only four? see three statues here. Sorry, three, three, three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, of okay. them ha all of them have a golden key on their mouth. There's three golden keys oh, and shit. three statues. Can are I they particularly they shiny keys? All of them are shiny. Oh. Um, also, with that investigation, Larry, you realize these torches mm -hmm. are fueled by arcane power? Mm -hmm. The same kind of uh, uh, arcane lines that go along the walls. And this torch has a mechanism that let it ro lets it rotate in 360 degrees. Oh, so I, can I just, like, flip it? You can flip it. I'm going to flip uh, it once. I'm just going to pull it back or whatever I need to do to make it activate. Uh, it flips. Oh, also, let me. I forgot to add to the description. This, mm. uh, look, it looks like a button on top of, uh, in the middle of the, the torch. <coughs> can okay, I investigate I'm gonna, the room? I'm going to be the okay. dumbass and I'm going to click it. Like oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, you're going to oh, click the button? Yeah. You rotate it once like this? Yeah. Let's do that and see what happens. You click the button, the torch lit. The glyph glows red. And I'm happy I'm gonna have you all to roll initiative. Oh. Oh, oh I'm fine. Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, so I uh, don't investigate. <laughs> side, side, side note, since I kinda got buried a bit in noise. This is insane, Wandu. I love it. Yeah, Pretty cool. You like, like it. Out Never. of the tor two torches that are lit. Well, with a I red mean, glowing yeah. glyph. Come out. Uh, where's the beat? Two 
blistering at crazy high speed. To what? Two wisps. Ah, wisps. Ooh. One of them is zips mm. around and gets into the middle of the room. The other one from this torch zips around and gets like over here. And learning, just by saying that, you can tell these things are way faster than you. Yeah. And with that, let me let me roll for initiative for the wisps. I feel like if they're that fast, they should get advantage on the initiative. No. They have a crazy <laughs> oh, hand modifier, and they are gonna roll... Well, I mean, we roll like dog shit anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Yeah, it's true. Wisps. I mean, I even rolled from one, but it still was a ten. Uh-huh. Wisp. Number two... And initiative for the wisps is holy shit twenty four. Whoa! My only chance of getting that high was rolling a fifteen to cut. Yeah. Uh, with this modifier, you're never going to beat this. Okay, what's your initiative, guys? Uh, I rolled it. Terrible. Elarin. What's your initiative, Elarin? It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Yeah. I'm looking at I'm looking at another screen. So. Oh, tell. sorry. Ten. Ten. I also have a ten. Uh, I have an 11. And, uh, Clo, uh, re-roll. A d20. It's a 10. Wait. I mean, you can Just go wait for Mondu to do things, please. Uh, wait. Yeah, uh -huh. but... We, like... Uh, uh Hogdor is a 3. Yep. And Midir, what's your initiative? 11. Oh, 11. Not that high, unfortunately. Higher than me. I have an us. <laughs> By one. <laughs> yeah. By the one wisp, uh, the wisps one. are very likely gonna go first, yeah. anyways. Uh, yeah, the wisps are absolutely going first. Uh, how do I delete this wisp? Hold on, let me re add the wisps because I messed oh, up. Oh, I have picture. HP now. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, it's on your your battle stance has the HP bar. Oh, that whoa. <laughs> Mind blow. Uh, okay, <laughs> for you, for the HP bar, look at it from the front. Okay, yeah. And then you can, if you click on the right side of it, these buttons will appear. So click on the right side of the HP bar. Right, and now you can plus or minus oh. your HP. Ah. Whoa, and if you click cool. in the middle, this menu pops up. Oh, okay, oh, the music's what? not looping. Why? Um, Why? You don't really okay. need it, but it's there in case you just want to hide the health bar. I should fix it, hopefully. Okay. This yeah, tracker ah, messed up, so cool. I'm going to do it manually. You click. Right, okay. exactly. Click cool. in the middle again, it's there. Cool. Sorry for the delay, this thing broke nah, you're me. Okay. Don't worry. Um, I mean, we, we spent the time by explaining stuff, so... Also, feel free to talk tactics. Um, these wisps, since I'm not familiar with monsters and D&D &D and stuff, um, are there any specifics? Because, like, for example, physical attacks can't harm them, or they... We, we uh, don't that's know. something we have to figure out, yeah. Yeah, if you, you, ah, okay. you, you know. In combat, you need to figure it out. Uh, okay, after cool. the wisp goes midder. No. <laughs> well, no, it's, I think it's the initiative roll the round. I think after the wisp, yeah. you go. Uh, no man ah. and uh, Laren, you guys decide who goes first. He wants uh, Laren to go. can go first. I'll take it. No man. And finally, Hogdor. Okay. Well, going first, the Wisp, because they rolled a 24 in initiative. Mm -hmm. With a 15. That's um, insane, what? Yeah, they have a plus 9 on Dex. Wow. I have plus yeah. 9 on my uh, initiative as well. I just suck. Plus oh, you rolled a 1? He yeah, did, did roll a 1. <laughs> wow. Um, this Wisp over here, because you triggered the torch. It's yeah, I, I figured I'd be the first one to get hit, yeah. Um... Where the heck is the attack? I should have it's seven. Listen at super high speed and touches you with a Swoosh. shocking touch. Uh, okay. What's your AC? 17. Uh, it's a miss. Oh ah. my god. This one over here is going to go to whoever is the closest to. It's actually from this spot, Nomen. That's going to attack you. Uh, mod you real quick. Does my character feel any, like, heat from that wisp? Uh, no heat. 
Okay. This is oh, this thank is basically God. a lost soul. Uh, <laughs> actually, the will wisp rolls a ten to hit, so misses. Mither, your it. turn. Mm. Uh, oof. okay. Let's see. Try to hit these things, basically. Mm, so I didn't notice uh, that the shocking thingy happened here, or did I? You are aware of uh, all the combat going. There's lights uh, on the room. Yeah, there's okay. torches, so you do see. The room is yeah. well lit now. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, although I was... Although, um, now I have to ask, since I was intimidated before, and uh, not using fire again, um, is it does it have an influence so that I uh, so that mid here decides it's not to? Absolutely that, that's, up that's to you. It's, it's, it's up to you. One hundred percent up to you. That's how you felt. If you do it again, it's up to you. Ah, okay. Um, actually, I would like to try something out. I would like to uh, grab this thing, and uh, so I would like to use the shocking. What was it again? Shocking okay. grasp. Shocking grasp, yeah, right. But it's like using both hands and encircling it and kind of squeezing it to nothingness while using shocking grasp. Hey, give I me an attack roll. <laughs> uh, you need to go there. You need to move right first, in. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, right. Move it in front of the character, yeah, in front of the wisp, yeah. So, uh. And turn your character over here. Yeah, there you, you go. Got, 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 got it. Got it. Good enough. Are we set oh, to the grid right now? We're hunt. not, are we? Ooh. So no, we are set to the grid, yeah. I don't know. It's just that the grid is the grid is not the same as this. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I, I, I recommend it for you. Can move as you want. off the grid of your characters, yeah. You can, oh, you okay. can move just as you want. Jesus the grid. So uh, you no. can use that as a grid, yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I try to squeeze this thing with shocking grasp. Okay, give me a spell attack roll. Spell attack, spell attack. Uh, there. Okay, cool. Let's go, spell attack! Big roll, oh, come shit. on. Oh, wow. Holy 25, shit. That's, that's very good. good. Roll for damage. Uh, shocking grass damage, right? Okay. Cool. Yep. Should be two. Decent. Roll the damage! Eh, not that high. As you shock this electric looking soul, you realize, you realize your attack is not doing as much damage as you wish it did. Uh, quick question. Uh, I don't know if you read your stuff for fighter long or if you just focused on the uh yeah, yeah for yeah, the yeah, average yeah. night because you have extra attack at fifth level which means you could would be able to attack once more if you do an attack action but that doesn't that means if oh. you use a shocking grasp he can't use the extra attack I was gonna ask that uh does he have the feature double check if he already has it that where he if he casts a country he can attack or vice versa um, that would be on the Eldritch Knight, right? Yep. Eldritch Knight. That's level seven. So no. No. Okay. That would okay, be your so turn. Okay. So the ah, so the extra attack is only for physical attacks. Yeah, only for melee attacks for your punches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Understood. Yep. Okay. Um, um... Laring, your turn. And unless it was shocking, I'm afraid to actually probably punch it. If I were to do this, I probably would. Uh, something you would notice mm -hmm. as he, as Midir basically touched the, the soul to try to electrocute it, he did not take damage. But he was using the shocking ability to probably yeah, mitigate. Yeah, he, had, he any... had to touch it. Mm, okay. You know what? I'll take a risk. It seems like he touched it somehow in some way. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll uh, use my trusty punch. How's that sound? Punch Bonus the damage. soul. That's not what I meant to do. Punch uh, the soul. <laughs> I meant to do <laughs> accuracy. Sorry. Sorry. Hold on. Okay. There. I just said punch damage. Nice. That's a hit. Roll okay, I'll, I'll reroll the damage because that was really unfair. That's what I <laughs> Somehow higher. As you punch the soul, you you feel like you, your non-magical punches are not doing as much damage as you wished. Well, it didn't hurt me, so I'm gonna go again. That definitely That's doesn't hit. Mm. Um, Anything else? I am going to use... Give me one moment here. Because I need to make sure. I'm gonna use patient defense as my bonus action to do a dodge. Okay. And that's my turn. 
Alrighty. Um, no your turn. I'm thinking. If I do a spell attack, I have disadvantage, right? If you use a ranged spell attack, you do because you're melee. Oh, disadvantage to hit. Cool. Yep. Well, not cool. I don't. But... <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> I know it's cool for Larian because the wisp is when you have struggle. So basically, oh, okay, I just like. One. I, I kind of like put myself in a stance where I'm ready to like dodge if possible. What happens mm -hmm. if I use infestation because the creature has to make a saving throw? That is not no disadvantage. It's so okay. Okay. It, it's only if you do a ranged spell attack. All right, I would like to. Uh... So saving throws are fine, basically. Yep. Let me just one sec. I'm seeing what uh, what is the best option here. Uh, I need a 10 foot radius circle so that I can check something. Oh my god, can you... please not. I'm sorry, I'm taking a little if bit longer. If you need a 10 foot radius, you can place it so it only hits a wisp. That's okay. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I want. No, it, I should hit the wisp and me. That's what I want. And yourself? Yes. He's a masochist. Oh. Okay. I want to cast Wither and Bloom. <laughs> ah. as a second, oh, I, I as see a what you're doing. Uh, it's a con oh. save. Yes, oh. it's a con save, and I get to recover one hit dice of HP. Okay. Um, Convenient. The, um, the Wisp fails. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let five. me roll for damage first. This Wisp uh, Wither and Bloom does 2d6 damage, so not too much, but okay, it's 5 damage. damage it's damage? necrotic damage, yes. Necrotic damage. Yeah, you feel like this thing resists that. Okay, so, so. I basically did nothing, and I recover 1d6 of I mean, health. You heal more than the damage you did. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. For six. Oh, nice. yeah. Nice. So I'm, I'm back to full. Uh, nice. Also, uh, since I used the spell slot, I used the wild magic table, right? I rolled oh. a 1 to 100. Oh boy, uh, give me a magic. second. Yeah, that so. Um, now, so is this the the... stuff happens. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me this get a is... hand. This is the thing you told me about, right? That, uh, like, yeah. Yeah. So, magical okay. effects. Roll me both of those, these dice. Uh, where, where do you have them? Right here. Oh, right here. Next to, in, next the to in the middle. In the, in the, in the, in yeah, no, no, no. I was. Here we oh go. Boy. So 11. 11. 11. 11. Yeah, Let me go to the wild magic table. And see what the heck happens. This is crazy. What? So I, there's there's like 50 different effects that can happen. Although oh, you wow. can see chaotic sparkling magic coming out of Nomen right now. So you, and okay. 11. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reroll the d10 for me, please. All right. <laughs> it's a nine. It's a no, no, the D10, not the D100. Oh, well, I mean, it's it's a nine, still basically. Still it's, a nine? it's a nine. Well, a nine. Uh, I mean, this was this landed on the 90, so it would be a nine. You Before shrink that. nine inches. <laughs> Let's go. All right. What? Uh, you all see as no man shrinks in size, like oh. he's getting smaller. <laughs> like Super Mario style. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, now. Now yeah, the get him a mushroom. check might work better on them. Okay, I'm going to keep these two over here. <laughs> yeah, uh, true. <laughs> okay, you cast your spell. Anything else as a bonus action? Um, let me just. I if you don't... have quicken spell, you can uh, fasten a, a cantrip, maybe. My my issue is that if I use quicken spell, I will use sorcery points, and I don't think we're gonna get them back until. Well, there's gonna be some bigger enemy than the wisp, so. Uh, holding my resources, I would not, I will yeah, not use. That's wise. Okay, is that your turn? Yeah, that's that's my turn. Uh, Hogdor. Okay, so I didn't really get a chance to explain what Hogdor was doing while everybody was examining the torches and stuff, but Hogdor's just trying to reach up and grab the key over here. Uh, I love this. Do do I, I do I roll to see if I even notice the combat going on or something? <laughs> uh, you hear what? You do hear loud noises and combat going. Okay. Uh, if you if you want to roll for it, then waste your turn. Go ahead. But... I think it would be in character for me to roll for yeah. it. I mean, 
from here Fantasy you would see stuff. lights coming from this side, shiny light, and these souls are very oh, shiny. Wouldn't, mm, yeah, wouldn't it that's be shiny true. Like, maybe. It's, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's up to you to, to, to if your character Here's would what we're gonna do. rather be more interested in the thing or the noise and the. Okay, other I notice. Light. I notice. I'll say I notice. All right. Uh, in that case, let's see. Uh, how far? Hogdor gets off of the statue. Yeah. <laughs> Hogdor tries Hogdor to grab around. the whisk He's because like, it's oh. shiny. <laughs> More oh, no, shinies! Fell oh yeah, fell over. Uh, let's see, how far can I move? Go there. Can I get down here? Actually, yes. Um, let's I, I go... see, we'll see where priorities are lying. Yeah, I'm, I don't actually... <laughs> well, aren't we like decent friends, Hogdor? Yeah, we are. This? Yeah, sure, we'll come over. <laughs> I'm gonna specifically stand next to Alaren, actually. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was a little worried. I'm like, uh, I don't want to be dodging really like your life here. <laughs> if I can, there we go. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go up and attack Mr. Willow Wisp here. Okay, roll B for attack. Are you using the axe or, or the shiny sword you found? I'm using the axe. Okay. I know one that ain't gonna do it. That's amazing. All right, let's try again. What do you say, Roy? I was kind of wondering. Wow, never mind. Did did my character even notice him picking up the sword? Oh, he would. It's a very glowy sword. Mm -hmm. Like pulling out of the water, right? Uh, hold on, uh, what was the second roll? Yeah, that's a Yeah, miss. one. <laughs> uh, I just want to see. Hang on. Since the sword is magical, I have an we'll idea wait on that. if that's the case. That's my turn. Yeah, that's it for me then. Hey, uh, up next, the wisps. Um, this one is going to sip around because it's really fast. It's actually making an attack of opportunity for you, Hogdor. Oh, okay. Oh, because you know I have alert on. <laughs> oh, it, I mean, I learned. I know, the... I know, but it's just, you know what I mean. I assume that's a hit. That's actually a hit. Make it good, Hogdor. Your non-magical axe uh, deals some damage. Okay. Uh, where's my cheap tracker? Wait, but it's That's minus. It's it's minus two. Oh though, yeah, right? it's still minus it's on strength, strength, right? Oh. oh. Uh, That's still a hit. Okay. Now. And it's two less damage. Yeah. Do I get an attack of opportunity or no? Uh, do you have sentinel? No, I don't. But I do have alert. I don't know. No, alert prevents you from taking damage. Uh, from, I know, I know. From seeing things, giving you advantage. But the wisp never left your melee range, so no attack. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Um, it's too fast anyway, so I don't think I would even get one regardless. Uh, and you would, but if you hit, this, another story. Uh, I um, really, really here. need to get sent at home. Um, the wisp is going to attack you, Larry. Flipping around. Okay, actually, well, disadvantage, I suppose. Actually, hold on. Uh... I'm going to roll a d10 and see if the attack Hogdor did makes a difference on its mm -hmm. behavior. D20, 10 or higher goes for Hogdor. Goes for Hogdor. Okay. Damn. Rip my, uh, <laughs> just, uh, yeah, disadvantage. Shit happens. Uh, attack yeah, attack it's attack okay, though. It's fair. What's your AC, Hogdor? 18? 18. The wisp attacks you and bounces off your shield. Okay. That's it for this one. This one, uh, they're not smart. Let me let me do the same. Roll a d10 on a 10 or higher. Goes for Nomen. Okay. Nomen. Goes for Mither. Bring it on. All of you, bro. <laughs> What's your AC? Six, 16, right? Uh, I think, yeah, it's I 16. think it's 16. That's what it says on the right. notes. Though. Actually hits. Actually hits. You take eight lightning damage. Eight? Eight. Oh, damn. Wow. Okay, uh, wait, HP, HP. It's a way and then you so click I on the right side it... of the HP over there as well, and then... Yeah, I was not sure if I uh, have to do it on my character sheet. You so. can do it, oh, well, You can do it there if you want. Fine. Okay. Uh... There you go. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, just so you know, if you're ever in a situation where you take, like, 15 damage or so, so you don't have to hit 15 times, mm -hmm. you can bring up this menu. There's increment buy at the very bottom. Uh, you oh. can put 15 there, click once, and then put it back to 1. Okay, cool. 
but Definitely I like easier to click. When you, uh, I like the clicky stuff. <laughs> yeah. The orchard. Yeah. Generally fun clicking on things, yeah. It's fun yeah. until you have 190 HP. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so it's up? Meteor's yeah. turn now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a wizard's attack, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, annoyed that I got zapped. Um, I still have this thing kind of in between my palms, right? Uh, no. You attacked it and it went away. Ah, okay. These things look to be immune to any attempt of being grappled. Mm, 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 mm. Does that make it ethereal in uh, touching it, or...? Yeah, if you touch it, your punches go through it. That's okay. why you deal half That's what I felt, it. okay. I mean, they're souls. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't uh, notice when I got attacked. And um, yeah, sorry. Since I'm such a noob, <laughs> can I use the reaction absorb elements thingy? Uh, I, I will allow it. You would take half damage, right? So I don't know. Four HP, I believe, right? What does the spell say? Let me double check. Capture some uh, elements. Sun. Uh huh. Some you have resistance to the trigger damage. Okay, yeah, you are resistant to lightning damage until the, your next turn. So you took half damage. Took note of that. Okay, so and four. The next time you you attack, you, if you punch it, you deal one extra one d six of lightning damage. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, when I when I punch it, right? Okay. If you punch it. So you took half HP and you used a spell slot for that. Mm. Yeah, mark ah, off right, a right. first level spell slot. Uh, alt scroll. Okay, cool. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Um, ah, since I'm so close, uh, I get disadvantage on um, firebolt, right? Yeah, I... firebolt yes, you would. would be disadvantage. <laughs> Punches would be normal attack. Shocking grasp would also be normal attack. Okay, so but Mitya understood that uh, the shocking grasp was not very effective on this thing, right? Exactly. And punching, since it's ethereal, would have no effect. Would be also half damage. Ah, okay. Yeah, well then, stubborn as the old Mitya is, he uh, tries again to do the um, shocking grasp. I squeeze you to death thingy. Roll, roll for attack. Okay, same as last time, right? Yep. Does this yeah. does this get the extra damage from absorb element? Uh, I believe it would. It uh, just says the next melee attack and shock and grasp. Oh yeah, you would need to do a melee attack to get, like the electric power you're talking to see your punches right now. Shocking grasp is a melee spell attack, so it is still a melee attack. Mm. It says delivering, you make yeah. a melee spell. Yeah, attack. I'm going to roll. He can do either, and it would get the benefit of absorb elements. So either punch or do the shocking grasp. Keep in mind, you can punch twice or one shocking grasp. Yeah, but um, um, I would stick with the shocking grasp for now, since he's uh, stubborn and he would like to electric. Let's say the first it. time you hit with a melee attack, so it'll only be on the first hit. Hmm. It's kind of a, a stubborn uh, contest thing with him. So he <laughs> tried to electrocute it, and he was electrocuted. It's like, yes. okay, who who is going to be yeah. st stronger in electrocuting? It's competitive. <laughs> okay. thing, but also yeah, yeah oh, exactly. Right. Your your spell attack. Spell attack. <laughs> I Let's see. Go. I see. Okay. That's his personality traits. I got you. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. a miss. <laughs> so uh, then you I try do it to second grab time. it, and it just slips away. Okay. Yeah. Mm, try okay. to do it a second time. Uh, um, more annoyed yeah. than before. <laughs> that would be your turn. Up next is Elarin. You can't, you can't, you can't do it a second mm. time. Oh, I cannot Elarin attack twice? Is, ah. Yeah, you uh, can only attack twice if you do a normal attack. If you do Shocking Grasp, ah. that's a spell. Okay. Yeah. Elarin, at, at the start of your turn, you notice something with your passive perception. Okay. What do this I statue over here starts to rattle and move. Rattle oh. and move. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, hmm. No oh boy. You uh, also know there's two big eyes on this statue and a, and a tongue that's coming out from somewhere inside. Oh boy. Okay. Might be gas. Um. I'm going to. I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to take my turn to. I'm looking for it. 
I'm gonna use Step of the Wind. I'm gonna spend one key point to disengage to okay. not take an attack opportunity. Doing so, I'm going to let's see. It says it as a bonus action, so I'm gonna use this as yeah. my bonus action. I'm gonna disengage off of the wisp. I'm going to move out of the way, but while I'm moving, I'm going to yell to the party, hey, that statue is moving. Just in case, I would get out of the way. And I'm gonna move, uh... Actually, I can move up to the wisp over here. And Added I still have... the statue to the initiative. What's that? Added the statue to the initiative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And I'm over here with my uh, 35 movements, and I'm going to... Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I'll take it back, because I've learned my lesson with the punching. I'm going to get a little bit farther away, actually. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt a Sunbolt as my regular attack for that turn. You can use two, remember? Yeah, yeah, two. But I, that's what I mean, like, at least Shoot one. your your, your key blast. Yes, I'm going to shoot one key blast right now. Uh, that probably misses 100%. That's an indeed a miss. Come on, big rolls! this game. <laughs> you too. Well, uh, Mir and, and just like You see beams of light going through trying to attempt to hit the, the wisp. It misses all of you including the wisp. And that's your turn. Uh, now the living frustrated. statue. Living statue is going to move. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> uh, it gets over here. Actually, it uh, went for for Cogdor. Uh, Rip Cogdor, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> and out of the tongue, a mouth opens uh, and tries to bat you. Uh, it tries to what? Grab him, I think. Grab. However, Cogdor, your your shield is really good. You batter out, and it misses you. Okay. That's it for the statue, quote unquote. So uh, if the mouth opens, does the key fall down? Uh, no, no, no. This is a mouth at, at ground the level. Side. Oh. Level. oh, ground level. Ah, like a okay. mimic, it's a basically. big yeah, mouth okay. full of teeth, and there's a big tongue out of it. Yeah. Oh, so this is a mimic. Well, now that you figure uh. it out, yeah, the statue's a mimic. Hmm. Or the mind Aren't these things that? supposed to be very dangerous? Yes. It is. Mimics are yeah, strong, yeah. It, funny enough, if any of you would touch the mimic, that would start combat because you would be stuck. <gasps> That's That's why was yeah, like, that would have oh. been probably better than to have the wisps and the mimic. Well, I'm glad I examined this oh, statue. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, your turn. Uh, you have been alerted I... of a massive, huge statue with a mouth that's trying to chop down cold or so no, I would like light. to cast yeah. Frostbite at the wisp right in front of me. It has to make uh, a con save. <laughs> Con save, uh, yes. wisp, con save. Uh, that's a fail. <laughs> so that's really it. Like... Has... Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> no, you can, you can, you can say. I need to read. I really like um, how intelligent this guy is, and he sees like this opportunity, like a big red button. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <It> just <Yeah. laughs> does it. <laughs> it's great. That's uh, five cold damage, and it has. Disadvantage on its next melee weapon attack. I don't know if that um, counts as a melee weapon attack or not. I I don't tell me. This it's is just... Wisp A, right? Uh, yes, this is Wisp A. Yeah. It takes five cold damage. Uh, you feel like your cold damage is not enough. It's not doing as much as you. Jeep, does expect. anything however, do damage to these things? Honestly. However, the Wisp vanishes. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> it, like it dissipates, but, like it evaporates a little yeah, bit. It, it dissipates, and, in a, and you hear a, a slow uh, wisp. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Hold on, I need, I need, I need to do a little bit of measuring. I'm here just for the record. Did, uh, did you use ties of chaos? No, this was not a spell slot. Okay. This was no, a... I mean, you can use it for an attack roll or something else, right? Because you need to do that. I, I used I used I, I used tides of chaos at the beginning for the athletics. Okay, and not again. Okay. I Let can't me know use if you it use again. again. I cannot use it again until a yeah. long rest. Uh, no, you, you can use it again if you tr if you do wild magic. It refills. Oh really? The feature Wait, comes what? back after wild magic search. 
No, once you do so, you must finish a long rest before you can use this feature again. Uh, let me double check. Uh... It's, it's here. Immediately after you cast the Sorcerer Spell first level high, you then regain this feature. Wait. You cast the first I mean... level spell, you got it back. It's online. You can use it whenever again. I don't. I don't. I really don't see it. Okay, let me let me guide you. Titus, Titus of Kirk has two paragraphs. Yes. Once you do, you will finish a long rest. Anytime before you get the use of this feature, the demon can have you roll on the wild magic table. That happened already. Uh, Immediately after you after cast a social comes... spell of the, uh, first level or higher, you then regain this feature. Oh, what so the it's fuck? It's online. It's online. You can oh. use it again. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Oh, God, that, that is so cool. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, very useful. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm still I'm still figuring out where I'm moving. I think if I move here, I'm like 60 feet away from the thing. I oh, know it's like 40, 40, so I can. Be so I can I can move like this, and then I will. Also, all of you, all of you noticed when this thing moves, it it's very slow. Nestle right, Nestle I'm, I'm 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 chilling back here. <laughs> I pulled okay. the lever. <laughs> no. Anyway. Yeah. Bro. Um, Hodor, <laughs> I can't turn. imagine. Um. You have a little a little wispy soul attacking you, and a big statue tried to bite you. Yeah. Um. Hodor smash. Hogdor <laughs> smash, but not sure which one to smash. Uh, was the wisp damaged at all? It was, right? Uh, yeah. it's it's like it's it's struggling to keep its form. Hmm. Let's attack the wisp. Why not? As soon as I remember where the heck my table is. Not here. Tackle. Other side. One moment. <laughs> that, that's mm. amazing. Let's try again. Come on, hog door. Yeah, Maybe? That's be it. It's a minus two, right? Yes. Yeah, it's the 20 to hit. That's one over its AC. Oh my oh, god, wow. okay. Was an AC that's a lot 19? of AC. Holy god shit. God damn. They have 19 AC. Yeah, that's but very, very fast. Makes sense. Six uh, damage. So three damage, right? Yeah, because of half. Six. It's six. It's on a thread. It's about to oh, be geez. dissipated. Uh, you have another attack? Oh, never mind. No, I don't. I did twice. Uh, I yeah. think, you know, just for... Let me see here. Uh, I keep losing where I, I am. Maybe attack opportunity from the mm, list and just disengage. No, I'm not. Uh, I feel like that mimic's a bigger threat, but Hogdor wouldn't be the uh, wiser, At right? this point, actually, Hogdor, give me a religion check. Okay, oh. sure. Are you looking for action surge or? I was actually yes. But this oh, is something God. you also None have made, uh, long by the way. religion checks have not been good. Actually, I think uh, I'm gonna I use have... second wind. Oh. Uh, so I can use a bonus action to regain hit points equal to one d ten plus my level. I want to be safe oh, about hey. things. One d ten plus five. Let's go. All right. Big rolls only. D ten is this one. 15 health, let's go. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, well, that's ten not good. 10 health. 10. Cool. Okay, you got 10 HP back, and that's your turn. Um, Oopsie. Mm -hmm. Hold on, the wisps. Okay, there's one wisp left, and actually, it's not going to attack you. Let me double check. Is it going to come after someone else? The wisps vanishes slowly oh does it also Be gone. Oh. did it did it move away from me or did it like you feel you feel like a presence trying to go away from you is i, I guess what i'm asking it, is is this attack of opportunity this, worthy it, this you would roll a disadvantage because it's invisible i'm gonna still attempt it might as well okay. roll me an attack at disadvantage
<laughs> you can't get much love, more disparate than that. That's a miss. I yeah. love that. Whoa. One in a 20. <laughs> All and right. Another one in a 20. Jeez. Yeah, great. Anyways, uh, Mither, it's your turn. Uh, wisps are seemingly gone, and you see a big <clears throat> statue with a mouth trying to jump down Kodor. Okay. Um, I missed it. How did you get there? Like, just run away? The wisp became invisible, and you have no. No, no. I, I mean, I mean, no man. No man ran, ran back. Yeah. He moved back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just ran there. Okay, so um, since no man is not like directly beside him, uh, not as before, uh, I uh, mid here decides that it would be okay to try out the fire. <laughs> okay. And Launch cast your... um, oh, the fire okay. thing. Um. Uh, what was it? Uh, firebolt, right? So firebolt. Okay. Absorb elements is offline, anyways. Uh. Oh shit. Um, hold on. Give me one second. I don't need this anymore. You're attacking That's, the mimic, right? That barely misses. Ah. Ah no. Anything else? Um, I would like to move beside the statue. It's 20 feet. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, you have 30 feet of oh. movement, I believe. Ah, 30. Okay. Hey, uh, Alarion, your turn. Hey, wait, hold on. How far is it? 30 Close feet enough. From me. Uh, what is my. Oh, man. No, I, <laughs> oh my I God. wish I could do that, but I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, hold on, how Thank much feet is the sun boy anyway? <laughs> Your beams is 30, 30 feet. 30 feet, 30 feet, okay, so I was, I'm in with range, okay. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna keep less twice, so I'm gonna just do both of them right away. Okay. Oh my god, what the heck? Those uh, two are hits. Uh, yeah, it's 24, wait. Roll the damage uh, yeah. individually because of I, the I just thought yeah, you I'm... you had forty one damage. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? I I guess I rolled it too, so fast. I thought it was adding it. That's so weird. That's fair. Um, some bull damage, I guess. Uh, here you go. And they're separate, so it would be plus four each time. So seventeen damage in radiance. Seventeen damage. Okay. Yeah. You look at this. Giant mimic and seventeen. It took normal damage. In the, it's looking kind of rough. I'm going. Uh, Wait, I... how? No, it's not seventeen. Hold on, hold on. It's one plus four is five, and four plus four is eight, so it's thirteen. Thirteen. Because right. the nine already had the plus four. Oh, plus four. Yeah, yeah, it's thirteen. You're right. Sorry. Add... That's no, fine. it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I was, add, I was very confused how, uh, the how a one and a four better. adds up to. It still looks rough, though. Uh. Did I go for it? Do I waste a key point? You know what? Uh. Alaren is thinking. Bolts? If it's looking rough, he thinks that Hogdor can take care of it and decides to not waste his key. Um, caution. Let me give you a better number. It's looking like you could. If you did this again twice, you could take it down. That's, 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 Alaren is still going to just say, fine. He's going to back up a little bit for his okay. turn. He doesn't want to waste his key because he might not be able to, uh, meditate here very okay. much. Um, that's Alaren. Now it's the big statue mimic's turn, which is, it's never going to reach any of you in a single turn. Yeah, what it a would shock. Need, like five turns to get to, to no man. It has 15 speed. <laughs> um, hey, if you saw a big statue with a mouth just slowly move at you, wouldn't you rather be further away? Yeah. Anyways, it's going to, oh, it's going to bite Hogdor. It actually hits. Okay. Oh, okay, no. Hogdor. You take 10 piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And 6 and? acid damage. Okay. Ooh, oh, acid. my God. Dude. That's some mean shit. Amps. Good thing we have so many healing potions. Good thing we, we got do. so many yeah. healing potions. Anyways, that's a Mimic's turn. Up next, uh, Nomen. Alright, I would like to... <laughs> Attack her with Tides of Chaos. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, for the heck of it, I should. 
this time it was no problem with the fire bolt. Yeah, this thing doesn't seem to resist. Uh, no, I mean actually, for you, no man. You, you mean for yeah? Well, okay. I I didn't specify because we kind of looked in the other direction, but no man kind of looked. He looked disgusted, like <laughs> oh, okay, like oh shit, no, not this again. No, so he not didn't like flinch. Before, he, like didn't this. <laughs> he didn't screech or anything. No, he was. You were far away enough. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I cast Ray of Frost with a good Tides of Chaos, so I have advantage oh, on my spell attack. With advantage? <laughs> oh my god, if you hit, wow. you are gonna hit, but this thing is going to go down to 5 speed. <laughs> I have 16. That's a hit. hit. Alright. It's a massive uh, thing, it's really easy to hit. Yeah, Ray I think it's... Ray of Frost damage. It's uh, 11 damage. 11 damage. Uh, hold on, where's my Mimic MVP? 11, hit the minus button. This thing is bleeding profusely. Looking real rough. Can, can mimics bleed? <laughs> I mean, they I mean they're fun. alive. All right, yeah. I mean, this thing, this thing still looks like a statue, but it's really fleshy. Right, okay. And has a big mouth going for you. It does. Uh, right, that's gonna be, that's my turn. Okay, uh, Hogdor, your turn. You Hogdor. got a big mimic trying to bite you. Hogdor smack. <laughs> what a surprise. Give me your both of your attack rolls. Uh, that's a hit. Do you want the other one as well, or do damage first? Do do it, and we do the damage all together. Oh, okay, sure. Bit of lag. There we go. That's also a hit. All right. Roll one. And then the other and one. Damage. And well, you know it all adds up. All of you see how Hogdor decimates what's uh, what's left of this big statue. It falls over and and doesn't move anymore. Yay! And now the real question is, is: Does Hogdor um, grab the Just just one real <laughs> quick, quick thing, real uh, quick. I have, I have one two questions. Uh, one question, yeah. one remark. Uh, Mondo, if you look at my play area, I've added this little thingy that shows whether okay. I have Tides of Chaos okay. up or that, not. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, nice. So right right uh, now, Tides of Chaos is used, so it's an X. So next spell attack, you can make me roll the Wild Magic table. Okay. And the other question I have, how long am I shrinked? And do you keep that in mind? or should, do you The not shrink want me is to permanent. What, what do you mean permanent? it's permanent? I love it. I love this. This is great. Wait, it's the, permanent? The it's permanent. You 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 are never going to be higher unless you roll at an eleven again in the wild magic. Level. Oh my god! <laughs> and you either shrink oh again my god. or get higher. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me let me just go back to normal. Then I would oh, like it no. to be like somewhat. All right, I think we should be the same height for normal. Uh, <laughs> what do you say? Nine six? inches. Nine inches? It wasn't a six. Three, four, this is four, very three. silly. <laughs> so it's yeah, twenty centimeters. Nine at the start, that so. that that that's about ten percent of my body height. Yeah. That I just <laughs> shrink. Do, 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 do. Well, <laughs> as you as you that's guys finish combat. Uh, Alright, I'm sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> the keys on both mouths fall over. Aha. Aha. What about the key on okay. the mimic? It learned feels that he didn't solve any puzzle after the fight. Yeah, no, we didn't really. We just. It's like one or the other. Or if you touch the statue, you would fight the mimic. Okay. Either way, the torches. What if I were to do the other torches? If you did more, if you if you all did torches at the same time, you would have more wisps. That's kind of what I figured. What happened to the one wisp who went invisible? Did he just flee? It fled. It fled. Ah, okay. That's what I kind of figured too. It wanted to keep its own death. Uh, Elaren <laughs> immediately sees that key that, that falls and he actually picks it up. All right, you have a golden key. Uh, I'm just going to take a leak. Uh, Norman is just going to watch you guys pick sure. up the stuff and you contemplate can... over how he you got say, smaller. You say no man is going to follow the party? Right over here. Now he's he's ju he's just going to stay there and, and look at. First off, he kind of checks himself out to see. You no, know, it's like, oh shit, I got smaller. <laughs> And then he knows that it's that he has this wild magic thing going and hopes the others don't question him about it and he watches you guys pick up the keys and stuff. I'll be back in one second. 
Sure. Okay. okay well, he does that. What do you guys do in this room? Mon that Mondo thing? immediately. Do I? Do I? Can I roll a perception to see <clears throat> if I saw him lose height during that uh, match? Give me a uh, um. Give me a pussy. Yeah, I, I, feel like I, I was looking towards him when it was happening, though. Uh, but I, I mean, was far you, you away. can you can measure yourself against him and realize he's smaller. Let's just say I thought I saw something, so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna measure myself up with a uh, with him, <laughs> like with the hand on high. Uh, <laughs> on yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would be like, and, and I'm just I'm just kind of like having my hand on my goatee, like uh, he's really looking mm. shorter for some reason. <laughs> And then after doing that, I'm going to immediately go to uh, mid here and, and just kind of look and compare oh. my height. Be like, hey, uh, mid here, can I, can I just take a moment here and uh, compare our height? I, I'm really curious about something. Well, that's that's going. Does Hogdor pick up the gold, the shiny key? I'm wondering about, did, does the Mimic have a key as well? <laughs> uh, it had a key. It looked like a key, like every other statue. But as soon as that, that it started moving, everything on it became flesh, including... Oh, okay, okay. In that you case, Hogdor like looks mouth over mouth, and, uh, right? and yeah. takes the key Mimics, over here. You cannot tell they are not they are a mimic until they start moving. No matter how Unless you, you okay. even even if you have like a, some sort of spell or perception high enough, you would need to have true sight to true see sight. the mimic. That's what what ah. Okay. And it's so, kind of hard uh, to get. I agree. Um, okay. So sure, go ahead. And I would like, um, after he does that, to examine the room with uh, a Kena or a history. I don't know which one would be appropriate. Okay. Well, um, you that. I go back what kind of examination do you want? Uh, actually, yeah. Give me, give me a history check. History, history, history. I mean, and it's the same check anyway. So <laughs> go ahead and roll the double. The two oh, come on. Them. It was all, almost a 20. Yeah, it's not, not, bad. Bad. not bad. These statues seem to resemble draconic forms. There's like a big soldier with a draconic face and wings and two little dragons on the side. This seems to be some kind of shrine to praise a dragon entity of some kind. Oh, is there this, anything anywhere this, written in draconic? Because I can speak draconic. You, you can read draconic? Oh, boy. I have yeah, text for I think you. Yeah, can. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Um... The text, this text on the, uh, the feet of the, the statue. Which one? It this reads, one? Yeah, all, both of them. Oh, okay. Uh, all praise Frigomith, or evil lord. Let your presence come back to us someday. Mm -hmm. Like a cult or a shrine. And all of you kind of know because it's the, this is the lore of the, the, the play, the, this campaign setting. Mm -hmm. uh, Frigomith was a white dragon uh, that was part of the big war from 300 or so years ago. Okay. So this is a temple related to him or her? You don't know. <clears throat> a what dragon? White dragon. Ah, white dragon. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically hey, a big ice dragon. Ah, ice dragon. Okay. I was does just it, about does to it ask. have not, blue eyes? Not as you say, is it a blue <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, actually, now the, there's nothing else going on. The statues after the the kids fell over. Okay. And other than that, even if you you don't need to roll for this room, there's nothing of value in here. I'm gonna immediately go over to Hognor because he uh, saw him getting bit by the mimic and he feels bad. Uh, Hognor, I uh, I could have probably have stopped it from attacking you. I feel kind of bad. Eh? It's okay. Hognor, not too hurt. <laughs> no, 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 Hogdor, you don't understand. I probably could have prevented that. So I'm going to give you a Aww. potion of healing immediately. Now you have five potions of healing. Oh, thank you. But it's okay. Five. Hogdor just glad you not hurt. Uh, DM advice, you should I... be drinking those. <laughs> yeah, I might actually... It takes an action to use one, right? I can just use one out of combat, yeah. huh? Uh, you, Lauren you actually insists that you take it right now, if that's Yeah, okay. sure, I will use one. Anyway, so, so we have golden keys, HP. and there's nothing else in the room. Is it just a flat amount uh, of health that I gain? It's if you take the full uh, yeah, action, it's a, yes. it's a 10. It's a 10? You, okay. can, you can take the full 10 by using an action, and use, in combat you can use a bonus action to drink one and roll the dice. Uh, well, we're out of combat, so I'll just take the 10. Is that, am I understanding that right? Yeah, you're at 30 okay. HP, so you so, can drink two and get 250. Yeah, actually, I will do that. I'll just drink two. 
cool. But yeah, for the sake of yeah. time, also the torches uh, go back to a neutral position and get turned off. Let me remove two from here. That and makes they, more sense, and that means they, we wouldn't be tempted at touching the other ones. Yeah, they are also locked in place, so yeah, my way of saying you don't need to mess with the torches anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. For so the what, sake of time. Out of also, curiosity, what was the puzzle there? Uh, basically, you had this torch uh, lit up mm -hmm. in in straight position, and the glyph was red. Basically, the thing said, turn it to the left and leave it turned off. And this one was, put it upside down, turn it on, same for the, all the others. Oh, okay. So basically, it was an impossible nice puzzle. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, you can figure it out. With a good you roll, a probably. Yeah, the, 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 this was most, uh, more a player puzzle than a character puzzle. Mm. But I, I, I would prefer to play as a uh, uh, character puzzle. Because, yeah, I you mean, know, I like being makes more sense. both, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. A little well, the thing is, you see it that, that, well, my character doesn't have much intelligence, but if, if he did, I wouldn't have figured that out, even if he yeah, had like 20. True. I asked the player. Mm. You guys had options. Yeah. So did Hogger grab either the key? Way, or... Yes, he did. Uh, okay. Okay, you two have the keys? Yes. Right. Yeah, me and Hogdor have a key, yeah. What are we doing? Well, I assume we go back well, to the big old Ilarian door. Says, yeah, Ilarian says, well, wasn't there another door? Do we continue exploring? Okay. Well, oh, that was a question. Okay. <laughs> and he, of course, takes the golden key with him? Yeah, he does. Yeah, we both have a key. If you want to join us. So, guys, come over here, put the keys yep. in the sockets and open, right? Uh, as I walk past the uh, water gonna, puddle, I'm I would like to look that. back in to see if I can see the face again. Give me a perception check. As they open the doors. Oh, nine. You see nothing. Not. The door is open. And there is a set of stairs that go down into the darkness. Well, not darkness. Oh, There's shit. a very bright light going down there. Oh my, do we have another level of the dungeon? Oh my god. And all of you go down? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I follow, I follow behind yeah. Hogdor. I follow yeah. behind. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> Take your minutes. We're all, we're all going to follow please. behind. Like, oh, now the level floor. of the dungeon. Oh my God. Okay. Yes. Sweet. Being an, uh, it's what should we do? I think we're just going to hang out the... over here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So the keys can... are in the slots. And the map is gone. You want to see still with there. The yeah. Shadow? Nope. There it goes. Okay. Okay. You got it. You uh, come over. Let me, let me go for. Want us to look away or? No, you don't need to. I just realized uh, King Amogus is over here in the corner. <laughs> I'm sorry, can I quickly state that I'm super, super impressed and amazed what you guys are just doing here in terms of D&D. Never have done anything similar before. It's so, so Mondu cool. Goes over the top great. Well, that's, that's, that's all Mondu. That's... Also, yeah, Mondu's awesome. <laughs> we just contribute with our RP. That's about it. I am just super amazed. Thank you for letting me be I, part of it. I, yeah, of course. I'm just amazed that you Did guys you are doing this game? that I designed and thought about without even knowing what your characters were. Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. Oh, I already see what this is. I immediately know Hogdor is going to take advantage of that. Okay, <laughs> put your minis over here. All of you I was see, up the front, wasn't this is a very well lit You're in the front. I'll, I'll go over here. After you, when, after you. When someone <laughs> opens the door and you're like, uh, no, you. Uh, no, you, no, you. No, wait. Right. Exactly. Like, you both go to the left. <laughs> no, as, okay. as this Great is going down, like, Omen <laughs> rolls his eyes. Okay. Uh, for the sake of experience, because time, uh, I assume Melarin would, would look for. Shady floors, there's no... Uh, yes, but I also... Uh, do I see this shiny thing immediately if I want to roll a perception check? Uh, I'm going to describe the room, and you will see what you see. Uh, okay, okay. There is two statues on the side, nothing fancy about them. There is four torches in the middle, lighting up the room. The same kind of torches you saw on the top. However, there is distinctly no mechanism to make them rotate or anything. There is... 
water flowing up straight through the the corners of the room in this little things this like a glass window flowing up it. did you say yeah it's flowing up and down it's like flowing oh, okay. to the temple this this may may or not be where the the water from the top comes from mm. and in the middle of I'm the room I see. also this room is very well kept way better in way better state of conservation than the than last the, one yeah. the shrine and on the middle of the room, there's an altar where a crystal ball that's floating holds a golden cube. It's basically a Rubik's cube. You you know what I'm going to ask, right, Mondu? It's shiny, indeed. Oh. <laughs> you, wait, hold on. Before you Hotel move, takes a step forward. at the same time with the shine in this. I'm just asking if I notice uh, if it, how shiny it is in comparison. Everyone notices because it's kind of okay. glowing. I'm gonna like actually uh, do like a small dash towards Hogdor and uh, say, Hogdor, no. Eh? Wait. But it's Ho shiny, but, but shiny. It could, be, it could be a trap, Hogdor. Hold on. That is very oh. suspicious that it's the only thing there. Eh. Okay. okay. What do you guys do? I will make a stealth check, like per usual, and I'm gonna try to make an investigation <clears throat> for traps or anything like that. Is that all right? Go ahead. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that stealth check first. It's going to be a one, probably, like lately. Okay, no, it, oh, that's great. That's a good and I'm going to make oh, an invest. You don't notice immediately any any kind of thing. In the, do Even you with a six, the... are you sure? <laughs> are you... Oh, that was a stealth. That was that's, a stealth, I mean, yeah. There's nothing to see here. Yeah, Other than okay. A, a okay. glowing okay. thing. On, on a thing. Uh, I assume if, since you did, invest, did investigation, you touched stuff, uh, right? I was very, very careful, yes. But uh, yes, I, I do kind of Six careful, like... yeah. Uh, <laughs> six you notice, care <laughs> as careful, you, yes. As you went over, your hand, went through the, your hand went through the, the the crystal ball that holds this cube a bit. Like, your finger went through. Uh, I immediately pull back out, and... Do I feel any sensation from doing so? Uh, it's, uh, the cube is, the, the, the area around the cube is very cold. Also, okay. Midir and Nomen, what are you guys doing? Um, I would like, since I've read the draconic inscription about the white dragon, to, um, investigate the room. I don't know if investigate the right world or check for uh, history again, or just look the around statues, and read, maybe. The statues yeah. are identical. They have the same writing on it. And no there are no writings on the altar? Uh, uh, I'll, uh, move, I'll move away. On the altar? No. Nothing. No. Okay, can I investigate the... Go uh, so the golden cube is just golden? Does it have any inscriptions or something? No, looks like a golden Rubik's cube. It seems to have the co missing corner. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. This is missing. Yeah, then... And it's, yeah. it's Give me glowing. Indiana Jones vibes and I hate it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yeah, I will just inform the party what I've learned about the statue because I can um, um, I decrypted or deciphered um, the readings and that it's a temple for the white dragon and um, he will return and resurrect, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Another piece of information that I kind of forgot, but it's not too relevant. It's... Beer! Hi. Okay. Whoa! I'm dead. Um, <laughs> I'm just over here looking, like, at, at, literally looking at the thing, and then I see Taylor the just, like, just to burn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is this so some like, kind hey, of cage? Going? I think it's just uh, No, that looks like a crystal, like a display, and there's only water flowing inside. There you go. Oh, but do we there have, like, a... effects now? There yeah. is a, a mist going on it's around. mist if you look really closely. That's cool, And yeah. the mist comes out of the, the ball with the cube. Is that where it originates from? Yeah, it's kind of cold. Yeah. Nothing else. I, w I would like to do a thing over here. That's okay. What the other guy? I'm gonna to relay to, to the party, or at least. Hogdor, not sure about this or. shiny. Yeah, I'm gonna tell tell them that they, it's very cold. Uh, I'll cast ray of frost on the magic. water that's flowing upwards. Uh, there's a glass window between the water and the thing. I'll <laughs> cast ray of frost at the water <laughs> flowing upwards. Okay, roll for attack. Uh, oh, and no, I'm not gonna find that at the Lawrence table. 
Uh, uh, do you use Tides of Chaos for your advantage? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, have, I, I, Tides of Chaos is... is you everyone have used Sunbolt Cloak. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, <laughs> funny enough, I'm not gonna make you roll for damage, but your Ray Frost uh, hits the, the glass and make it, makes it very cold. Doesn't break, though. It's seemingly very resistant glass. Okay. So, Minir... What, what what exactly did he read and what did he relay in information from the descriptions? What was the exact phrase that he read? <clears throat> I um forgot. <laughs> no, yeah, it was, was uh, that one in Mondu. Uh, so Mondu, okay. Uh funny enough I, I closed the thing where they had it because uh, I it was, you guys were playing after uh, someone said they read their conic. Um uh, is it's it basically important at all? <laughs> a praising line for the white dragon Frigo myth, and it's not too relevant other than the fact that it's a temple to it. Mm. You know that such dragon has not been seen for ages, and it's cold. And would I know based on the information gotten from uh, Midir? Would I know if this is a maybe like a frost dragon shrine? Um... Nah, uh, give give me, give me a nature but check. Would would uh, Mitch you know? I guess he can do it too if he really wants to. But I think no, Go I, ahead I'm and just do a nature check. Because if he knows Actually, that he nature he or history, your choice. Okay, I got it. Are they the same? Are they both int? Yeah, uh, they yeah but you matter. could be a proficient or not in one or another. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm sad, but that's okay. I'm gonna roll d20 plus three. And the total comes to an alarming eight. Yeah, you have no clue. <sighs> All right. Hmm. And this doesn't say anything on the like the podium that's holding the. Nothing on the podium. <clears throat> Only a, a floating no, no sphere that you can your hand can go through, and the golden cube inside. I don't want to touch it. I just it literally spews trap in my mind for Alaren. Hogdoll's looking at it, just like shiny, but shiny strange. Not yeah, sure about Hogwarts. shiny. <laughs> Don't touch it quite yet, Alaren says to Hogwarts. Uh, but, but shiny. Uh. I know, but like it might trigger something Norman, really bad. you get over there. Yes, I walk Give over there. Give check. Sure. Hold and on. fall over. <laughs> uh, yeah, Actually, I'll, I'll fall over. not Arcana. Give me a perception check with advantage. Perception with advantage. Again on Alaren's table. <clears throat> I know you really want to become me. I mean, yeah, right. It's Jeez. good to have five foot three. Ah, uh, you, you wish. Oh, uh, nice. You feel out of this cube, the same sensation you get when your wild magic is going on. Oh, I uh, put my arm on 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 Hogdor's shoulder and uh, lean in. Hogdor, take the shiny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hogdor take shiny? Yes, Hogdor. <laughs> take the shiny. I hear oh. this going on. Okay. I mean, yeah, probably. I'm not speaking quiet. Oh, I'm just... With my passive perception, do I hear this going on? You I'm do. Like... You hear it. I'm not, not stealthy. I'm not, Hogdor, I'm not making Hog... an attempt to hide. Uh, Hogdor starts Does reaching Hogdor... for the shiny. Uh, Hogdor, stop. I'm going to stop here real quick. Hold it. Stop. Oh. But, uh, but Hogdor take shiny. Conscious. No, no, I actually start talking Hold on. to the guys. You start reaching for the shiny, you react. Uh, give me a deck save to turn you. <laughs> if you reach him before he does. Okay. Did I hear a deck save? Go ahead. All right. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a net one again. What oh, was shit. that? A 20. Oh. Uh, Hogdor, give me a deck save to see if. Okay, yeah, yeah. Start. Please roll a 20. <laughs> Don't you have disadvantage on deck saves? Uh, no. It's I don't believe stealth so. checks. Oh, a stealth. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, entranced by the shiny, he doesn't. Your hand uh, reaches inside the bubble. You feel it's cold, and at that point, Alarin grabs your hand and stops you. And I pull it back out. So this cube. Do you pull him back out gently uh, or fast? Fast. As you do that, you oh. the cube spins. Oh. And, oh, really? Yeah. 
Uh, well, <laughs> nothing else. That's unfortunate. Nothing else. Nothing else. No. Oh. Spins. Spins. There's no gravity inside that ball. How fast are we talking here? Ah, a bit Pretty fast. Like you make a you made a, sl a bit <laughs> of wind very... and the cube is. The very, oh, the very, like a, oh, like an anti gravity. The very scientific reaction. calculation of a bit. Yeah. Um... <laughs> All right. Uh, I would like to speak up, and uh... <clears throat> so this cube appears to be of wild magical source. Uh, whatever <laughs> magical powers it's hold, they're shifting. They're unstable, and. Uh... I, I stopped you off for a second. And you wanted Hogger to touch that? Uh, it's not as bad as you would think. With, I... eh? With that, um... Why don't you touch it then, Noman? I'm going to keep sure. your previous perception check, yeah. Noman. Yeah. And after it rotated, you see that the, 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 the cube is missing a piece, seemingly. And yeah, you I, feel I... like the, whatever this piece is missing from that from that little space, the, the magic is more focused there. Yeah, I would I would grab it. Do you grab it? Yeah, yeah I grab it. <laughs> you may add golden cube, golden cube question mark to your inventory. Sure. Also, let, me, let, me, scale, let me scale it up so you can see what the cube looks like. For uh, a second. Okay. Like oh. together. Golden huh. cube. Question mark. Norman takes shiny. Well, since hold on. Well, you see, Hogdor, I wanted you to have the shiny, but oh, you grab the cube. Your... Do I have shiny? Please. Hold on, your friend didn't want you to have it. Knock me over, how dare you? Well, yeah. Before you guys keep moving, first of all, where are everyone standing? Uh, I'm standing right is, here. This is where oh. I'm standing. Yeah. Okay. Let me guess initiative. Uh, yeah, roll for initiative. Okay. And as you see, all of the crystals going around the room shatter, and oh. the water level starts rising. Uh oh. Ah, shit! I knew something right was up with that said, shit. Right when you said that nasty thing about oh, it's fruit. Of course, you're the reason why this shit happened. <laughs> I would disagree. Uh... If, um, yeah, yeah, that's your character. Right? Yeah. The water <laughs> level starts rising, and part of it shifts and moves in a natural way. As you know, I'm uh, sorry. The water elemental rises up over here. Uh oh, I'm I'm really I'm really uh uh well what was what is the word? It would be cool if Dryborg was here. He would have known from Indiana Jones that you don't just pick the thing up without <laughs> yeah, putting something yeah, else in place. It would be very convenient. <laughs> oh, battle Anyways. music. Okay. Anyways. Um, it's boss music. Oh, shit. Let me roll for initiative wow. here uh, for my little water elemental. Oh, you don't know the bra button, do you, Long? No, I just, I just pushed it. <laughs> it's yeah. great. It goes bruh. bruh it's bruh, great. Bruh. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> this is fast for you guys. The elemental rolled a nat 20. Oh, okay. oh. good. Okay, uh, what's your initial yeah, count? 17. Uh, Alarence is 17 as well. <clears throat> nine, um, unfortunately. No, you have a 10. I have a 9. You have a 10 with your whole. Oh, I have a. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you, have a, you have plus one because of your dex. Mm. Nomen and uh, um, Mither at the end. Yep. Mither, uh, uh, water level. No, it's the other way. It's the other way, other way around. around. The other way around, yeah. Oh, uh, no, Mither after Nomen. Yep. yep. Okay. Nomen Is after. Is Hogwarts gonna let me go first? Yeah, yeah right, right. I'm, I'm last. Yeah. I'm gonna go uh, first because it's be up to you. I don't mind. If you want to go first, you can. I'll go first. I have. A I think Hawkeye sure. wouldn't be too hard to convince. No. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Man, that makes sense. He would probably say, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, initiative order has been described. I love all how of you a, also a room. notice that the, the, the torches start sparkling with electric energy. Oh, like that. The room is. As the water level rises. Anyways, water <clears> elemental <throat> spurt. What's the speed on this thing? 
I have a feeling that using lightning is probably not a good idea to spike being a water elemental. Oh, He's oh, been less than 30. Yeah, I, I played Bioshock. I know how that turns out. Yeah. Okay. You're just the water elemental on them? False <laughs> goes through all of you. <laughs> Cogdor and Nomen are now inside the water elemental. Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> and you can I'm see as the bottom of the water elemental starts spinning like a blender. Oh. I okay. need all of you like to I give me <clears throat> a strength saving throw. Oh, sure. No, no mana hold on. Yeah, I got you. Uh, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm very strong. <laughs> I'm six. Fail? Hobbitor succeeds. That would be 16, right? Okay. Uh, did you um, keep in mind yeah. the minus strength? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly yeah. why yeah. I asked. Oh, okay. succeed. Uh, Hogdor, you get shot off to the side. Ah. No man, you are, you are inside the uh, world elemental. You are grappled and restrained. Oh wow! And, what does that exactly mean? Uh, you cannot move. Your attacks are a disadvantage. Attacks on you are advantage. You will need to take an action to move out or teleport if you can. Uh, also, All right. uh, both Hogdor right. and uh, Nomen take thirteen damage. Bludgeoning. Okay. Holy crap! Thirteen. Oh. Even with the That's same. Like a third of my HP. <clears throat> oh, I got yeah, that. and that's the one elements of turn. The room. Now the room. All of you see the water level slightly rises, like a few inches, and all the torches spark with electricity, but nothing happens. Oh. Yet. My theory is, as soon as the water gets up to that point, we're gonna die. Mm. Uh, maybe take some electric damage. Who knows? Um, how how high are they now? Uh, it's it's like. Can we uh, get a, like a blue ankle. cube to like represent the? Uh, I mean, you can you can draw on here. That's true too. Well, that hold on. Now we're just dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you can swim and take your breath. Uh, yeah, I can make your cube. That would just let us know like how high. Oh yeah, that like. that's probably the easiest. Yeah. Yeah. So you just like use here. it as a representation. Okay. Oh, the water's so high already. Hold on. Exactly. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. That's cool. Very that low. Close, like a, it's light. It's shallow. Very shallow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense because it takes time. Alarin, it's your turn. You see Nomen trapped inside a vortex yes. inside a water. Uh, I was going to ask you a question. Uh, would Stunning Strike, if it, it succeeds and it gets stunned, would it let him get out? Um, I, I would rule that, yes, if you stun it, the vortex would end and Nomen could get out without doing any check. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack. Uh, do I attack it with... I guess I gotta have to use a punch, right? Cause yeah, you have to punch it. Yeah, let's do a punch accuracy roll check and see if I hit it. I'm gonna punch water. You're punching <laughs> water. That's a hit. Roll for damage. Okay. Nice. Uh, roll punching for water. punch damage. Let's go. Uh, there he is. And then. Just don't hit Noman. Yeah, that's that. Was yeah. That's seven okay. physical. He deserves damage. it. So no, he doesn't. Does. You feel that your punching water makes no sense, <laughs> uh, but you you are doing some damage. Oh, awesome! Where are uh, the strikes? Control. I need that. I like I like how uh -oh. I can so already see. I can already see Meteor going up to it and doing shocking grasp and hitting everybody <laughs> because we're all standing <laughs> in water. I know. Uh, stunning strike? Who knows? Yeah, 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 I'm gonna use a key point to use stunning strike. It has to succeed on a con saving throw of... 15? 15, I believe. 8 plus uh, con plus proficiency, it says, right? I rolled a 22. Oh. Well, I got to minus the key point anyways. Alright, so... You can keep punching and trying. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a punch again, because I have a second attack. I mean, you can keep trying to stun it. As That's long as you have do. key. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, That's a hit. 17. That's a hit. Uh, roll for damage. for damage. Gonna use another key point for stunning strike. Can it beat a 15 a con? Uh, damage. It's damage to physical, yeah. 18 constitution. This thing is beefy. 
God it's damn it. You're starting a tent. Mm. You keep punching water. You have never punched water. You, you don't know how to put your key inside the sink. Yeah, there you go. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. Uh, I know this is probably going to be the final uh, boss of this adventure. Maybe. We don't know that for sure. Looking at the time, yes. Yeah. I'm going to use Flurry of Blows. Okay. Oh, I get two, two more. more how, many, how many attacks do you yeah. get? Jeepers. I get four if I use a key what point. What the hell? I hate this game. Oh, no. <laughs> you punch. Use... Um, yeah. You know, the water metal, after you hit it twice, matching uh -huh. boost out of your punch. And that second attack is a hit. Okay. Let's roll for damage. I'm going to use my last key point. I'm going to use stunning strikes. Why am I even trying to help Nomen anyways? I, I, this is like a thought. I don't know why you're that. trying to help no I, To uh, be honest, I would Con 15 DC, please <laughs> work. I rolled a three plus five. That's an eight. It's done. Oh. Took three, oh. by the way. <laughs> it and knocks him out of the vortex, in... I would imagine. And it's not out of the vortex. The vortex stopped. So you, you so he can just use he can get out. You basically. can just walk out of the, the elemental. Yeah, you're not trapped anymore. You're not restrained anymore. Uh, what's the stunned thingy? But so that is my turn. Yeah. Until when is it stunned? The start of the end of your next turn. Yeah, at the end of my next turn, it's stunned. Yeah. What does stunned so, exactly do? Um, let me read it for you. Do we have advantage on attacks? No. You do. We do. Okay. I believe yes, that is correct. Oh damn. So when you are stunned, uh, stunned creatures incapacitated can't move, and can speak barely. Automatically fails strength and deck saves, and attack rolls have advantage. You're welcome. Party. <laughs> An incapacitated pirate creature I'm cannot going take to... actions or reactions. I'm going to regret doing that for uh, Imidir because he's going to just use shocking grass. <laughs> it's going to work. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Hold door, your turn. So, Nomen is still inside, right? Nomen is inside of it, but you can hit this water elemental. is big. In fact, Want to make it a little bit appropriate? Yeah. That big. Hogdor's kind of worried so you... about accidentally hitting Nomen. Mm, you can loop around and hit it from the back. We'll move on. There's enough that. water for you to hit without worrying about Nomen. Okay. Unless you roll a one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to make you hit. Hogdor if you roll a one, the elemental matching boost out of you, like dancing. So now we have you advantage, have correct? You have advantage, indeed. Okay. I'm glad we That's had advantage. Right. Don't forget you crit on a 19 to keep that That's true. Yes, good point. I did forget about that. Damage. So that would be six damage. You really feel this? You're hitting water with an axe that's non-magical? It, it's not doing the damage you would expect. Yeah, not surprising, but got nothing else to do pretty much. So we will attack uh, you again. You have a magical sword in your in your inventory. This is true, <laughs> wink, but wink. <laughs> this Yeah, is true. I was gonna tell him if Hogdor didn't do anything. But Hogdor li likes uh, his axe. Yeah, you rolled exactly the same thing. Yeah, it. somehow. Hogdor's really good at doing this, especially the one in twenty he got earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, so just co damage. copy the turn, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Anything else? Randomized rolls? What is going yeah, on? Yeah, right. Um, Anything else? Action search? <laughs> Not yet. I think that'll be my turn. The Lamentals <laughs> looking really fine still, though. Yeah, I was worried about that. Um, Mither, your turn. No, oh, okay. So, uh, seeing as this water elemental appears and kind of swallows up a uh, no man, uh, and thinking about the possibilities, uh, what to do, uh, <laughs> he went, of course, mentally over Firebolt and was a little bit amused for just a mere moment how no man would react if a Firebolt would just <laughs> hit <his train> <laughs> <laughs> Very tempting, uh, Mike. Yeah. Let, let, let's go off this idea with a slight <laughs> smirk. And afterwards, of course, Shocking Grass might be a bad idea considering the water is uh, connected with kind of the groundwater. And Nomen. And, right. yeah. and Nomen. Of, of course, you could just <laughs> jump second, off the you know. uh, jump on the altar and just electrocute everyone. But uh, yeah, <laughs> the last party didn't appreciate actions like this, so he learned <laughs> of his past mistake. Oh, thank God. 
<laughs> and with this, uh, he goes and casts um, Magic Missile, I suppose. Ooh. Okay. Mark your spell the RP talk. That was great. Roll for damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spell Magic spell. Missile is an out to hit. Magic Missile. Magic. Oh, so it's just damage, right? Um, yeah, and you're doing miss. all of them. So you roll 3d4, I believe. You roll, you roll that th three times. Oh, okay. One, two, three. And then you add another plus two because it's... Yeah, plus two damage. So nine force damage. Is there okay. any way to dodge a magic missile? No. no. Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> if you have the shield spell, it makes you immune. Okay, you yeah, deal damage to the Warlord of Mental. The Warlord of Mental is like, huh. Very nice. stunned. You cannot tell if it's angry or not. Quick question. Also, um, mm -hmm. this, oh, face yeah, sorry. The, this model has is what you saw before. Ah. ah. So, uh, since he used the ex action search, uh, can I also do that and do another attack, or is it not possible? You can action search and cast another spell or attack if you want. Um. Hmm. So it's it's not really possible to kind of grab a water elemental or something, right? Wait, you're a you fighter. Can try. He is. He's yes. a fighter. <laughs> With spells. No, I'm just asking if it's possible because it's like a fluid I mean, water elemental thing. <laughs> it's a, it looks like a creature. You can try. Using okay. a, a grapple would would use your attack action. You could try to grapple and then punch. Oh, so both, right? You, nice. you have two attacks, yeah. Okay, yeah. Or you can try to grapple twice. So I do the ex action. Sorry. Sorry. No, 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 you go ahead. I just put these markers in both of your Plarias for action surge. You can flip oh, it cool. over when I'm using action surge because you only have oh, one that's action. That's a really good idea. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, say, okay, did so you use I action flip surge it? or not? No. Yeah, yeah, I am using the action. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> so confusing. Uh, yeah, I use my action surge. And um, uh, since he noticed <laughs> that the um, his actual most powerful spell, the uh, magic missile didn't really do a lot. He, uh, it, did, it did normal damage. Yeah, but it, not like how he used to kind of killing stuff. So I mean, he just... Um, it's yeah, beefy, sorry? but your attack did the damage you expected. Ah, okay. Well, uh, but he doesn't have... Uh, anyway, so he just... Um, Didn't die, puts off his, Yeah, yeah. He, he puts <laughs> off his rope, and under his rope you can see a chain mail and kind of this super muscular buff Goliath statue. Oh. And he runs over there... <laughs> And um, punches him first. Okay. Can I make oh, a deck save to move out of the way for this beefy man? My, my <laughs> punch. He can, he can run around you. My punch but isn't. Uh... Or jump over the the the, the thingy, the, the altar. You mean he can my jump over me because I'm so small, right? Or that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, are, okay. Are you grappling him or trying to punch him? Um, I mean, I have two. I can punch him and then grapple him, right? You, you as part of your attack action, you can grapple, grapple, uh, try to grapple, try to shove something, or push it away. Or no, I don't need him. to shove. Okay. Uh, so... I mean, when I punch, I will automatically shove him with my uh, what was it again? With my crusher. Um, uh, but I don't have the absorb element thingy anymore, right? No, that's got long. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it was good. Only that's until good. next turn. Okay, so, yeah. Keep in mind the watermelon is right here. Yeah, right. So cool. Um, Meteor jumps off this uh, altar thingy and like heroically punches this thing. Like <laughs> he glitches into the altar. Done. Yeah, sort of. There you go. And uh, you punch him. Give me a attack roll. Uh, with my mighty mighty punch. Let's see. Uh, Meteor's punch Arp. attack. I can just do... Oh. <laughs> That's a crit! Uh, oh, roll, click your, <laughs> click your damage roller twice. Uh, the, oh. the punch damage without sh shield, right? You know, punch damage without shield twice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Galcon punch! Oh, that's weak. Oh, that's a sad crit. Well, first, you deal a hefty punch. However you feel your punch is not doing as much damage as a normal person would take because it's made of water. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you going to push it away with a crusher? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? 
because the punch yeah, just see so the punch hits and like you know one in one in punch inch punch the watermelon <laughs> flies it's is, is it five or ten feet um it is five feet adam okay. uh do okay. i also fly with it or do i no, stay you, put? you you stay there you are now out of the water <laughs> yay Burn, damn <laughs> and it's still stunned let's go also you're only at 20 without we forgot about advantage but it's whatever you took you, you got the nat 20. Mm-hmm. Still stunned. Oh. Anyways, uh, and also you, um, you oh, still sorry. have another attack. Nice. Uh, also, since I critted it, um, when you score a critical hit that deals bludgeoning damage, which was the fist, right, uh, yep. to a creature, attack rolls against that creature are made with advantage until the start of your next turn. So all attack rolls, also from okay, my teammates, so right? Even if the stun goes away until midder start next turn, everyone still has advantage. Nice. Damn. So, um, there a thing called double advantage, advantage? city. Yeah. No, it it's only advantage. advantage. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I was really hoping we get double advantage. Anyways, uh, you and still have one more punch attack. You can go uh, up can and punch I, it again. Can I or grab it? Try, you can try. This man is just <laughs> the Hogan. This should be guys. good. So yeah, so the, I jump off the grapple. altar. It's like, <laughs> oh, you, you go like a madman trying to call him like a bear hog. <laughs> You're trying to manhandle this giant puddle of water. Um, your hands are wet. No, this thing is immune to grappling. Sorry. Ah, crap. Oh. Well, but still cool. Kind of rips off his uh, wizard thingy, punches this <laughs> thing away, and Hulk Hogan jumps on it. I will grapple you. <laughs> Anyways, that's your turn. Uh, Noman, your turn. All right. Uh... Since it's stunned, it can't attack me, right? So I don't have to disengage for. Um, hold on. I think that's uh, true, right? That sounds stunned. true to me. Let me double check if it can take an attack of opportunity. I, I don't think so. Say, I would say no if it's stunned. It, it, if it had speech, it would be like really, really bad, right? So if that's the case, that's um, the mindset of a stunned person, right? So they wouldn't want to attack. <clears throat> Funny enough. It's incapacitated, it cannot attack. Yeah, incapacitated. That's that would, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, that's correct. Alright, so I uh wait, I walk a you little can, bit. You can walk away in without taking an attack attack of Fubertini. Okay, so I walk over here. And then I uh cast uh, Chaos Bolt at it at um, Oh boy. At what third does he level. Bolt, okay, so a third I roll level? Yes. Ooh, As a third way. level spell. So I'm I. Um, the, I'm bringing the dice over. Okay, so I rolled 2d8, and since I cast it at third level, I roll extra 3d6. Uh, and then uh, it damages the creature, and the type of damage depends on what I roll with the d8. Is it an attack roll? Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's that's a thing I have to do first of all. Which you uh, can do. Yes, it's with... a ranged spell attack. With advantage, okay. right? With advantage because it's stunned. I rolled 21 to hit. That's a hit. Okay, so we roll Chaos Bolt and... Oh, whoops, this was one too many. Okay. Uh, subtract one from the 17 because the one was the last okay, one. 16, the next one. what damage? Uh, wait, it is 9 plus 6, 9 plus 16, so it's 25 damage. What would the D8? So 1 or an 8? Um, well, either acid or thunder. <laughs> mm. well, it's, either I, I would assume thunder? it's, it's as, as acid damage. I'll do acid damage. You will do acid damage? Yes. <laughs> 20, really 25 acid damage. Okay. Uh, you, you, your chaotic bolt decides on acid damage. And you feel acid is the one thing that this thing resists because it dilutes in the water. Damn, I was really hoping it would just so come it, in the water. Okay, so it's still... You attack, still did but... hefty damage. And now, right, because you so... cast the spell, roll me on the wild magic table. What uh, 99? Oh. Holy shit! Oh, no way. It, don't tell me it's the thing. No, don't. 99? 99? You recover all your sorcery points. <laughs> oh, sick. Oh. Oh. Would be funny if... But you had a mana potion. <laughs> 
Uh, I will use quickened spell. Oh wait, my tides my tides are back up. Uh, yeah, we um, quicken spell. You can only cast to... a cantrip. Yep, I'm looking for what I want to do. Uh, I will array of frost. Okay, right, roll for attack. I feel like frost would definitely be uh, effective. That would make sense, yeah. Well, that's a would... 12 foot. I would like to uh, punch it. Somehow, <laughs> the elemental is tumbling in pain from your magic, and the ray misses it. God freaking... Damn. You, you rolled with advantage, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, I rolled. Okay, okay. Uh, that's your turn, right? Yep, that is my Double turn. Double small roll. I'm so sad, man. Um, okay, that's no man. Up next, the water elemental is stunned. So nothing happens. The room. I'm watching the water. Let's go. The, <laughs> the water level rises. So, uh, someone could draw me, please, at D6. Uh, I can roll it real quick. Here. How do we get rid of the stun? The stun condition is gone. Yeah, now, I was gonna right? say, does the water oh, elemental oh, no. lose its stun really effect? Bad. The water level rises a bit. The water is now over your ankles. Yeah. And that's enough for the rest of the room to do the thing. Remember the torches with sparkling electric? Energy? Oh, yes. Oh, no, already? Everyone give me a dex aid. Oh, boy. I will use Tides of Chaos so I have advantage. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> deck safe, deck safe. Uh, oh yes! Woohoo! Nine. Okay. Oh, it's a twelve. Nineteen. Oh shit, Nomen, you still fail. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Hold it. Nomen, you guys I fail. use my ring of evasion to uh, hey. make that a success. No man, you all, you are the only one who takes damage. <laughs> well, not okay. So, uh, just quick question. Dude, Doesn't he has the lowest health too. I'm I evade so the damage or do I have to move somewhere or something? You guys make a hop as you see electric shocks coming into the water. Ah, the okay. However, normally you take seven lightning damage. Yeah. I took. I, this, you see, this is only happening because I, I got smaller by a couple inches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, no, Chloe, you see, you don't understand. You just didn't understand the mechanics of the boss fight. <laughs> no, I, no, I did SMH. a hop, but I, I was still in the water because <laughs> I was small. Mechanics is of the boss. <laughs> a quick question: Is the water elemental still stunned? No, right? It's going to be stunned until the start of the Midir's. end of my turn. Yeah. No, Midir's because he also stunned him with a punch. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, no, he did didn't I? stun him. No, no, no. Actually, I, it's I not going to be stunned, right? but attacks are going to have advantage. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, exactly. Um, unless you stun me, I I'll stun him again. I can't. I'm out, of, I'm out of key points, but there, there's, that's the thing. Is it my turn? Yep, it's your turn. I am going to take the opportunity. And even though the water is kind of at my ankles right now, I feel like... Are you going to take the special action? Yeah, yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the thing. I'm going to start taking off some of my clothes. I, I know that sounds weird, Whoa! but hear me out. Just remember, uh, I'm still streaming over here. This is, you know, <laughs> copycat. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean copycat? Uh, I did it. Uh, I did it also with my rope. It's true. He did. Before I attacked. <laughs> you know, yeah, both did the same. <laughs> what? Yeah. Anyways, I, I started taking off it. my leather jacket and a couple other things, and I I put it in. Uh, I kind of throw it, toss it to like the altar area over there on top you guys, of it. You guys see the the clothes going to the altar like falls on it, and it makes a loud thud. Like that thing was really heavy. <laughs> Are you actually Goku with weighted clothing? <laughs> yes. <Right. laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, well, you get key, five key You guys back. just never asked, so you know. Oh my I god. Get, uh, like, uh, I mean, that's, I'm... that's not a question. Oh, is your clothes weighted? <laughs> like... <laughs> That reminds me actually of Dragon Ball when Goku kind of puts off his clothes That's because exactly, he's like super nimble exactly and then Piccolo we comes with. along and Piccolo puts off his clothes and they're like super heavy. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. Aaron, you, you gain five temporary kit points. Yep, and that's, I'm gonna... Now that was an action oh, so I can't use an attack this turn, so... Yeah. But you, with, I am listen. going to... Did you say temporary key points? Yeah. Yes. Basically he got key for this fight. Wow. Ah. I have a negative while wearing it all the time, and I have to wear it to, uh, for a long rest to get it back. But anyways, um, so I'm going to use my bonus action to... It's done. You don't need to disengage or anything. Oh, unless you're trying to dodge. 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Because he's not going to be stunned anymore. I mean, he had, uh, you still have advantage because of the crusher feet from... Yeah, but I can't can attack that. because I have to use an action to pull that off. The close. That was the requirement. Uh, just uh, double checking to see if I can do anything here. No. No, I can't really do anything unless I want to waste key for defense. I am going to make a movement thing. It's water, so it's in my ankle, so I get a disadvantage. Like, I get a slower movement. The water right? is not impeding your movements right now. Okay. If it gets tired, am... maybe. How high is this altar, by the way? Uh, it, the altar? Uh, Same height? It's like three feet. I'm gonna... Well, the water's already encompassing the altar then, if it's three feet, right? I feel like. I mean, the water right now is up to... Actually, this this might be a bit exaggerated. But, yeah, there you go. There you go, that's the water level. Well, if that's the case, I'm just gonna take my action to move and, and jump on this, if that's okay. Uh, it's your movement. Yeah, it's I'm gonna fine. Go I don't need an action for that. Yeah, it, this is low enough for your well, movement it's to be movement enough. action, but yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna just uh, do nothing else. I, I just wanted to be on top of this. That's all. Okay. Um, Hogdor, your turn. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna roll for something. Oh. Intelligence check. Okay. Uh, Hogdor's gonna attack with his battle axe. Okay. Give me, give me, he does give me not realize or... that he could attack with the... He does not remember that he grabbed that sword mm. earlier. Uh, hold on. You have a, mag a shiny sword. Remember that. It is shiny. It is shiny. That's true. It's glowing really brightly, too. With moonlight. Also, you have advantage on the attack roll, so... Yeah, you oh, do yeah, have advantage do. until Midir's turn. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, 14? That's yeah, a hit? Yeah, it is a hit. Uh, it should be still yeah. minus 2, so 12. Oh, never mind. It's not yeah. a hit. Well, so we try again. That's more like it. That's a hit. Roll for damage. Are you using the, the, the Moonblade or not? Uh, no. Okay. I think uh, with the character, oh, he hasn't pulled it out yet. That's yeah. good damage. It would be 10, right? Yep, that'd be 10 damage. Well, as always, you notice your battle axe is not doing as much damage as you sh sh wish it <clears throat> would, it would do, but yeah. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, I think this is probably as good a time as any to use Action Surge. Action Surge! So I get another action, and now we're going to see... I'm going to roll with advantage to see if I remember the, <laughs> the sword now. Okay, I definitely you do. You do remember. <laughs> So, so you I... take the sword, the sword, the sword dies, 1d8. 1d8, okay. Because you have a shield. Yep. So I still roll the same melee attack. Oh, is it, it'd be strength-based still, right? It, it would be the same roll. Yeah. Same roll, okay, cool. Both, both damage and uh, attack. Okay, sweet. Uh, are you proficient with it, though? The weapon? He's a fighter. He, he uses every single sword. That's yeah. a hit. That's roll a hit. For oh, okay, roll for damage. Wait, did you just roll the range damage? Oh. Four. Well, that's... After you use the glowy sword, you notice that it's doing the damage you would expect. Okay, cool. I still get one more attack, so I will do that. Roll with advantage. Oh, I <laughs> forgot to hit the advantage button. Hang on. Although, do I need it? Probably not. Okay. Uh, do it in case You can roll again for crit. Oh, yeah, true. Okay. It's, it's a hit, but... Look for crits. Yeah, okay. I'm glad we nope, went with the damage. Roll <laughs> for damage. Hogdor is going in. It's attacking as fast as Ellerin right now. Six <laughs> damage. Is. Okay. Uh, the water middle is looking damaged now. Uh, Midir, your turn. That's my turn, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, since I um, haven't grasped it completely, if I use one... Uh, one of my magic slots, then this is like my whole turn, and I can only move around, right? 
So I cannot uh, like use magic and attack like with a. With it a depends what you use. It says on the card if it's like I'm one action. A spell would use your action. Yeah. Right now, all, all of you your have... all of your spells, except yeah, for absorb spells. elemental, all of them are one action. And shield, shield is also a reaction. Oh, true. Oh, okay, so I think it's gonna be wise if I keep a slot for a reaction spell, Up to and you. then. If I attack normally, I would also have only one attack. Uh, you, you attack if you punch. You have two attacks. If you oh, okay. trip, if you use a cantrip like shocking grasp, it's only mm -hmm. the shocking mm -hmm. grasp. Okay, so if, if I punch it, then I have two attacks, and if I use my extra attack from fight, I have three attacks or four. Yeah. No, if that you is punch the extra. It, it's two attacks because it, that's the. Extra because of your extra attack, yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, okay, one plus good. one basically. Um. Yeah, why not? I mean, Meteor is already flexing his muscles and just keep <laughs> punching it since it cannot be grappled. Okay, uh, roll for attack. Uh, let's see, Meteor's punch. Are you rolling? Number one. I mean, you don't. Oh no. You don't roll with advantage, though. That's true. Uh, yeah. Now the advantage is gone because it's yeah. Your yeah, yeah. No, he rolled. He rolled. He rolled correct. I was about to say roll with yeah, the yeah. advantage. Great. That right, that's the first attack. Second, second punch. The one, the one, two. Oh, okay. So I have to roll both. Okay. Yeah. yeah roll the second attack. That's barely missing. The oh. one elemental. That's probably barely magic boost out of the way. Both, right? Damn. Ah, damn it. Oh well. Made you look like a fool. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, bonus action or something? Uh, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, you, you. Yeah, I think as a fighter, you can use a bo your bonus action to use your second wind feature to regain HP. But you, you are looking healthy. I don't oh, think is that is it. that all I can do? Then I don't need to do the, it as of now. I think. Or now you don't have any other. Bonus yeah, it depends on like what okay. class you are and stuff. They can have bonus yeah, actions. Yeah. Anyways, no man, your turn. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe no one's gonna die over there. I'll I'll, uh... I, I would laugh a lot if you fireballed yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I will, as my action, drink one of the health potions so I get 10 HP back. Mm -hmm. um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me click that. That's and then I would... Blood. In rage for dying for, from fireball rage. Yeah, but... Uh... <laughs> I mean, you would not die, but you would uh, go down. Uh, so I will uh, use Quicken Spell so that uh -huh. I can cast the spell as a bonus action. And hey. I will cast Chaos Bolt at second level. Hey. Wait, is Chaos Bolt uh, like concentration or something that does... No, it's just so instantaneous. So if drinking oh, no, a health no, potion no. costs an action, would he... Wait, is Chaos Bolt a cantrip? No, no, it's an act. Uh, you, you, uh, you can, you, if you cast a spell of uh, more than a cantrip as a bonus action, you can only cast a cantrip as a normal action. But he just drank a potion. That has nothing to do with this. Right. Casting. Since I, since I didn't cast a regular spell in my, so, in my, during he's my action, quickening, I can. He's using a social feature to oh, make a, a normal spell with the that normally with would be a action. one action as a bonus action. Yeah. That's pretty okay. cool. I was a little confused so, with the whole cantrip thing. Uh, okay. Roll your right roll here. your stuff. That's a hit. 18. Okay. Okay. Chaos Boto. All right. That is uh, 15. Let me check what type of damage it is. 15. Uh, well, it's uh, unfortunately, it's lightning damage. Oh, boy. I'm oh, glad shit. I'm up here. Um... Well, it takes normal damage. Nice. And I need, I need Midir and Hogdor to give me a death save. Oh boy. I was Did we do a fire at all? <clears throat> I kind of feel like that's the weakness now at this point. Okay. Um, deck save, right? Deck save. Deck save. Uh, not very high. Hey, guess Close what? I'm gonna use my last uh, ring of evasion charge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Hogdor's very, very lucky. Hey, Lawrence sees this. <laughs> because this, this is after side damage, I'm going to roll a d6, and that's going to be the damage. Yeah. Right? You take five oh. lightning damage, me there. No! Okay. Ah, so here first. Uh, do I, do I roll, roll me on the wild magic table, please? Oh, boy. All right. 
32? No. What's gonna happen? Oh shit! <laughs> don't don't really? tell me I hit fireball. You guys see Norman disappear. What? Uh -oh. no, am I back in Shadowfall? You are transported. Like, you guys don't know this, but you find yeah. yourself in, like, in space. You are in the astral plane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I guess I'll guess chill for a bit. All right. <laughs> when he disappears, does he, like, leave off any trace of magic? You guys see, it? like, stardust where Numen was. Like a... <laughs> Basically that and Stardust. Oh. Uh, okay, that's Nomin's turn. Up next I mean, what a move. He stands there, casts Electrocute. electrocute. <laughs> God, no. just the Where did Nomin go? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Laren's gonna stay under his breath. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um... Uh, is well, you don't, you don't know that I did not do that willingly. That's yeah, totally yeah, that's why I would say that, yeah. No, man, because you're gone, roll me a d6, please. And let's see if the water elemental recharges its twister thingy. Please don't. I think no man was supposed to roll, right? Yes. A -A Sorry, what am I supposed to roll? Just roll, roll me a d6 and let's see if the, the uh, well ability, the twister thingy, recharges. Uh, I don't want to see twist. I don't want to go down there and stunning One. strike it again. It does not recharge. Okay. Thank God, because I'm going to pull up Vegeta on this. Okay, uh, well, the water elemental is, has been punched twice and pulled away from everyone, and the first one he sees is Mither, so he's going to punch him twice. Because it's a punching <laughs> I'm going to copy you. <laughs> exactly. Um, so lucky it's going to make two slam do. attacks on you. Uh, what's your AC? 16, My right? AC yeah, 16, is 16. Yeah. And I would like to ask um, if I would uh, would like to use shield, do I have to announce only, it before or you, after? You use your reaction uh, after you get hit by attack. Because ah, okay. this one missed, you don't need to use it. Mm -hmm. So, second attack, it's a 25 to hit. Uh, sadly, even with shield, that would not protect you. Okay, then never mind. Oh, and so it's also you, not an elemental uh, thing, right? It's bludgeoning damage. It's punching okay. you real hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You take... Oh, hold thousand on, damage. damage. You take 17 bludgeoning damage. 17? Yes. Oy. Oh, boy. So far, I feel like he's been a, a little bit of a pushover, and now all of a sudden it's like, whoa. I mean, it's been stunned for an entire round. It has. This is yeah. true. But the Vortex thing got disabled by me. I'm surprised it's not after me for disabling it. So, uh, what was it? I put 17 in here, right? Yep, and then the hit is, minus. The yep, thing one is, minus one. Oh, this, nice. elemental, cool. yeah. this elemental really wanted to get the cube back, but whoever has it is super gone. That That's true, passive? actually. What happens? Oh no, it's super angry. <laughs> okay. It's trying to look for the thing. <laughs> And then the well, room is next. Uh, that's Unless the water in the room. Uh, room now. Uh, turn. Uh, you want me to roll okay. a d6? Stay with it. Roll a d6 to see how much uh, water goes up. Oh, okay. Roll low, please. Don't, don't roll like me. Don't do six. <laughs> uh, <Five>. Bad news. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. The water level goes up. At this point, if the water goes up anymore, your movement is going to be slower. Makes sense. And now, uh, Eleren is fine. Midir and Hogdor, give me a tech save. Come on, guys, get a good actually save. do it this time. Okay. You, come on, Hogdor. <laughs> good save after all this time. Come on. You 14. can do it, Hogdor. Maybe, maybe it's enough. Uh, fourteen is a fail. Oh, oh my Hogdor. God, Hogdor! What? The Let's go. Backflips out. Hogdor nimble. <laughs> Damn, how much do I take? Oh, Midir, you take three oh. lightning damage. Ooh, that was a low roll. Look at that low roll. It didn't matter that much anyways. Yeah, but could be worse. Anyways, that's sure. the room. Uh, Elarin, your turn. <laughs> I'm going to pull a Vegeta. I'm going to start throwing Key Blast at the enemy. Uh, all right. I'm going to roll the first one to hit. I that's assume hit. that hits. Yep. OK. 
Okay, we're all damage. Roll damage. Nine points of damage. It does normal damage. Nothing weird. Good, because I'm doing it again. Nice. That's a hit. Okay. Eight points of damage. The elemental is going to kind use of rough. flurry of blows. Okay. Well, it's and... not flurry flows, but you can do it. Two more beams. Yeah, it lets me anyways. So. Roll for attack. Yeah, I'm doing that. It just takes a while. Oh, that's a miss. That's Dude, a miss. Come on. One key blast, of course, miss. Come on. Two. Oh my god, I, I saw. Ah, uh, unlucky. Okay. Magic boost out of both of them. I mean, to be fair, this is how Vegeta is, anyways. It's just the, the accuracy is <laughs> kind of lowering as he goes on. Hogdor, your turn. All right. Uh, Hogdor shuffles over look, next right? to. Next to Midia here. And apparently falls over Hit as he does so. Hit well, I feel like I'm a little protected. At the very least. <laughs> yeah. And he's gonna exactly. he's gonna okay. attack him with the sword. Alright, give me give me a tuck roll. That's a hit. Twenty, yep. Ah dang, these big rolls. Nice. Roll for damage. My big big rolls on both sides. Ah, six damage. damage. Like eight points of damage. Next and attack. let's do it again. It's six damage, one not eight. Oh sorry. Oh, because yeah. the minus six two, damage. Yeah. yeah. Two. 17. That's a hit. Okay. Octor for damage. Octor do good uh, hits. The water elemental is Six damage again. Rough. Wait. And that's Anything it. Else? Nope. Okay. Um. Octor. Mither, your turn. Um. Yeah, well. It's uh, time for two attacks again, right? Yep. Yeah. I think so. Punch it twice. Um, yeah, this is the maximum I can do, right? Yeah, you oh, can do two after, yeah. attack, yeah. After the second punch, I cannot move. It's it's just two you, attacks. No, you, can, you move. can move, but you can, you can move. move, but you are in melee range. It would get an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. No, I don't um, want that. Seventeen so damage was quite it's, enough. <laughs> it, it's not However, like in it's not uh, like in this band where you have two actions. Just ah. you always have your move mo movement plus mm -hmm. one action, whatever that action may action. be. Mm. In your yeah. case, if you attack yeah. as an action, you have an extra attack. So you don't need yeah. two actions for the so, attacks. Uh, if... Yeah. Ah, and okay, I get it. If, if you move away and it takes an attack of opportunity and hits, you still can try to use your shield spell to prevent the damage if you really mm -hmm. want to get away. Mm -hmm. You could also disengage, in which this is your, you as also... your action, yeah, exactly. which allows, which makes the enemy not have attack of opportunity, but as a trade-off, this is your action, so you yeah. can't attack yeah. and disengage. Mm -hmm. Except uh, that. Okay, cool, understood. Good. Then um, now I have a or, plan. Hold on. Does he have a potion of healing? He does. Yeah. Uh, okay. Keep in mind, you can also use a potion of healing as a bonus action to roll the dice that the potion says to get some HP back. Ah, we are using okay. that roll, so you can punch twice and drink a hastily make in a rush drink a healing potion, and still move if you want to. Yeah, that Actually, sounds good. If you punch him, you hit, and you push him away, you could run away without taking attack of opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I punch. So, do I roll both punches directly, or only one, and then look? Roll afterwards? one, and tell me if you push him away. away. Okay, so Meteor's punch attack. Roll. Cha 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 cha. Big uh, hits. There we go. That's a hit. Nice. Roll for damage. Okay. Um, where is my punch food. damage? Oh, uh, no, without shield. Black. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Damn. Damn, that's really good. Now, Big boy question. Punch. Do you push him away now, or do you take your chances with the second punch? Uh, Second punch, oh. let's go. Oh, I oh, have wait. a bad feeling about that. All right, roll for attack. Uh, Meteor's punch attack. Let's go. Yes. Oh, that's okay. Well, let's roll, roll for damage, and it's pushed. Punch it to death! Ah, damn it, not a lot. Maybe. Who knows? Okay, uh, you are out and... of the range of the elemental. You can move away if you want. Ah, oh, oh, you moved it already away, right? Okay, yeah. cool. Then um, I'm gonna backflip on the altar. <laughs> Acrobatic check? <laughs> Uh, give me an acrobatic check. <laughs> yeah, nice, I love it. <laughs> 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 
uh, acrobatics, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a dexterity yeah. roll. You could have I also chose to just climb up, but no, <laughs> no, you gotta be fancy. Oh, Dude, yes. he doesn't oh. give it. Yeah, you backflip like you're a monk, oh, and you're next awesome. to, uh, to Larry now. I gave him a quick high five with my right hand. Yeah, and I high five him also <laughs> with my left hand. <laughs> I feel a bit like I'm like uh, over, uh, like the, the, his high five is stronger than mine. I feel a bit, uh, oh. yeah, it's Finally, overwhelmed. You, you still, you still <laughs> could do something with your bonus action. You have second wind as a feature to heal up, or you can drink the potion you have. Oh, I would like to do the second wind. Uh, uh, cool. Is that like a uh, once per day kind of deal? You needed a uh, long rest, once... I think. Long rest. Yeah, okay. once per long rest. Uh, second wind. So roll a d10, and whatever you roll is that plus five. D10. Is this a d10 or is this a d10? The third one on the. No, the. This one would be a d10. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go, Mr. D10. Heal me up. Shit. <laughs> you get seven HP back. Hey, it all adds oh. up. That's and that's your turn. Yeah. Uh, Larry. No man's turn. No man. <laughs> Um, All right, I you... look around in the astral plane to see if there's any enemies nearby or anything. There is no enemies. Can... There is a there is a falling star going going around, and that's it. All right. Um, <laughs> if I want Bruh. to ready a if I, if I want to ready a spell, you can. Is that an action? You can or... you use your action to ready a spell, and you release it with your reaction. Okay. So I would use my action to ready a spell and also drink a healing potion. Well, bonus action, bonus healing bonus potion? Action, yes. So I rolled okay. 2d4. 2d4 plus 2. You get oh 5 HP back. Wow. And that's so why I let you guys use your action for a full healing. No, really shit. But I ready Frostbite. You ready and, Frostbite? Uh, is that a cantrip trigger, or a level spell? That is a cantrip. The trigger would be if something comes is in my range. If you range. see an enemy, if it's within like thirty feet, I believe sixty feet. If you see, if see an any enemy within hostile 60 thing feet. within thirty feet, sixty within okay. sixty. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's the end of your turn. Boop. You blink into existence, and you can't take your trigger. Nice. Uh, what oh. is frostbite? A con save? Uh, it's a con save. Yes. Constitution saving throw for the elemental. That uh, actually fails. Wow. I rolled a oh two. Uh, roll for damage. Okay. Uh, frostbite. Cold damage. Should be, like, should be something. It's a uh, six cold damage. Six cold damage. The elemental is looking very rough. Also, you notice uh, it's uh, part of its body is frozen. Seems that its movement is restricted. Makes also, sense. Also, it has uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage on? Yes, disadvantage on a melee weapon attack. Okay, so punches are have disadvantage. Good to know. Um, okay, uh, elemental turn. And only, uh, on, only, only on the next, during his next turn. So if it attacks okay. twice or something. Both attacks are with the disadvantage? Okay. No, Depending only one. On how only, things one. Go, only one. Only the first. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh huh uh huh. Roy, roll me, roll me the six, and see oh. if the twister thingy comes back. Uh, oh, okay, sure. I'll, I'll roll you d six. Let's see. Oh, up here. Uh, there. Flip your coin. Yeah, my okay. I'm still high it's number. It's back. Up. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to roll a perception check with a uh, the elemental to see if Nomen is seen because he has the cube. Uh, oh my god. I was so, going to put the cube in the bag of holding, but it was too late. It rolled a nine, so hmm. it has no idea where you're back. He took damage, but he's looking at these guys. Okay, um, conveniently, all of you are in a, in a 4x4 cube, so he's going to swim at... Still have speed, but he has like 45 speed right now. He's inside of all of you. I need all of you to give me a strength save. You got it. Uh, well, except for me, right? Yeah. You, you know, you, you are out of the elemental. You're fine. Uh, so only what? three. Oh, twelve. I'm so out of it. Hogdor oh, fails. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Only wait, 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 wait. fails. 
That shouldn't be plus four. One second. That's uh. I don't know why that's plus four. Even, even with the even only with the, with the die roll, you you already saved. So yeah, I don't know why it's plus four. It's so weird. Hey, go ahead. I I fixed uh -huh. it now. Okay. Uh, Mithir. Yeah. And Alarin get pushed away. Hoctor, you're inside of the elemental. You are restrained. Yay. <laughs> And your attacks have disadvantage, attacks on you have advantage. Do I take any damage in that take, process? You do. You take 15 bludgeoning damage. 15? Okay. okay. Hug door, dead door. Can I even that reach Can I even reach my health bar? Not really. Thank you. So. <laughs> <laughs> the 21 HP left. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Oops. The elemental's looking very rough. He's struggling to keep its shape. I'm going. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing. However, but um, the water, right? Yeah, the water level rises. Um, Should I roll a d6 for you? Um, actually, Midir, give me a d6. Midir, okay. Uh, d6. Is this going to roll a five or six like me? No, Mitya does not. Damn. All right. Hey. That's a <laughs> I'm letting him roll d6s from now on. And <laughs> at this point. So oh, that's probably that. Dude, that's literally up by my chest area because I'm so small. Yeah, everyone. Ha ha this is considered now uh, difficult terrain, so your speed is halved. Okay. Also, I have 40 when I don't have also my... outside the altar, the elemental is going to have its swim speed, which is 90 feet. Oh. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that's the room. Uh, electricity goes down the torches. I feel like right now we have to. Do I Should have everyone give me a deck save at disadvantage? Oh, yeah, I was gonna no. say, I, I know I do. Uh, I have to click the red disadvantage. You do, yeah, yes. Do. Well, it didn't matter, at least, I guess. Hotel fails. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well. Oh fail. my god, the second one was a four. Are you kidding me? Everyone fails. Good. Shit. You take eight lightning oh damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. And because the water level is high, the elemental also takes the damage. Oh, good. Oh. Good. Yeah, right now the elemental is going through the... going through the... Um, the the altar here. It's still at a water level. <laughs> Anyways, that's the, that's the room. Laren, your turn. The elemental is looking extremely rough. Yeah, can I swim up here just to get on top of the thing where it's at? Yeah, you can. You have enough speed for that. Yeah, thanks. So let me go right. Oh, he's even moving to the side. Look, so nice. <laughs> I'm dead. There, that's good enough. I'm going to uh, just kill it, punch please. <laughs> well, you see, I'm gonna stun it as much as possible. Let's be honest here. All right, I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna use accuracy right now. Please hit. That's gotta hit. That's a hit. I'm gonna roll for damage first, and I'm gonna do the stunning. So it's gotta roll a DC roll for damage. Con. Yep. That would be three damage. You punch your key into the water elemental. You feel how it goes all through over, over its body, watery body, and it dissipates. Oh, thank God. Oh, so I don't have to use stunning stray. Okay, cool. Wait, it was just it's three gone. HP left. Are you kidding me? Yes, it had a three HP <laughs> left. Just wow. Yeah. We cheated it. It um, was so close. I didn't kill it, unfortunately. In the last initiative. Uh, what? Are you guys Why? Doing the, uh, the room Can is I still going on. Hold on. Uh, oh, because of the water rising, right? Yep. Um, still going. Time to run the uh, heck away. Uh, we could leave, but we should leave. Hmm. You guys investigated the room. There was nothing else here. I think I'm going. Well, see, I used up what. Five, I'm going to say 10 to get up here, probably. 10 feet, probably. Yep. Uh, How do I want to do it? Like, I don't think there's any puzzle to this room. I don't think... Even if we put nope. the cube back, it's not going to do anything, probably. So No, yeah, we I'm got the gonna... thing, and then the boss appeared, and that's it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Can't use a dash. Uh, Wait, no, I can. I can. I, 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 I am... Wait, wait. Hold up. It's, it's not your turn. No, I'm just checking. Seven. Oh, you're... Uh, oh, wait. Did, sorry, did you sorry. say Mondo about dash? Uh, yeah, that you can dash as a bonus action if you use key. Really? I thought... Oh, yeah, with the key, of course. That's what I was going to use. Step of the wind. 
Uh, I have currently 30 feet of movement speed with a dash. Do I and, get... Uh, are you using Step of the Wind? Remember, you can jump yes. very long. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just jump, huh, as well. So... Do you want me to make a check for that, or just uh, give me uh, a distance? What's your strength modifier, and how much Two. does it increase? Uh, Not modifier, the score, sorry. Score is 14. 14? Yeah, would, you would... Uh, how much gives you Step of the Wind, like... It gives me a dash option, that's all. Yeah, but it, it says double you can jump... Speed. Double Doubles jump distance? Yes, actually. Okay, uh, it does so... You can jump 30 feet over here, if you take a step to the, to the side. Take a step oh. to the side. Okay, yeah, yeah, take the step to the side. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 over here. Yep. And is that it then? That would be your step of the wind. Okay, I that's my turn, I guess. Okay, uh, that's Laren Hogdor. Time to the go. The is flooding, and the Laren is seemingly running. Well, I have the ring have of swimming, so I have a swim speed of 40 feet. Move wow. 40 feet. So I move the 40 feet. high enough for you to swim. Which is there. Oh, you know, I'm going to describe my jump, actually. You know, like the Dragon Ball Z <clears throat> kind of jumps, like the really high jumps? The it's kind of like jump. that. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, that's Hogdor's turn. Midir, yep. your turn. Actually, wait. Can I so, dash? Uh, can I dash as an action and double that? Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah, all right. I get the heck out then. I feel like Hogdor is actually just gone, yeah? I think he went upstairs. Swoosh. Yeah, Hogdor is up the stairs now. Uh, okay, so um, I learned that the jump modifier is equal to strength, right? And Your then strength score I... defines what, how long you can jump, yeah. Okay, so um, I, I need some help calculating. So to get out, it's 70... Yeah, 65. If you, if you get on top of the, the altar, I'd say mm -hmm. that would take 10 feet of your movement. Okay. And then you need to take a step to get to gain some speed and jump off. So you could get like, th that would be a 10 between both. You could get like over here. here. And I cannot do some dash thingy or whatever to and get you out, can right? use your, yeah, And you can do a dash action to move 15 feet extra. Like here. It's over there, okay. That would be yeah, I, think it's the, I think it's the best I can do, right? Yep. Yeah, probably. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to do that. No man, no one's okay. just going to teleport, right? No man, your turn. <laughs> um, so we said that uh, movement is halved, right? Movement is halved, yeah. If, unless so if you have swimming speed. No, I don't have that. If I were to dash, I would have 60. So I would be Boy, able to... You... No, no, you would, would have 30. 30. 30 yeah, yeah with, with, uh, 60 with the dead, but that's half. I'm just checking. I'm not doing it yet. I'm just checking. Oh. Um, okay, so I, I as a bonus action, I use my... What was it called? Um, uh, our our Titus, uh, thingy online. I uh, know. Yeah. I didn't use Space of Chaos. It's available. Oh, also, it's Ellerin. not a spell slot. Um, Ellerin, by the way, we, we took our clothes with us, right? <laughs> wink, wink. Well, yeah, of course. That's the first thing I grabbed. <laughs> I mean, do you want me to... You you you, you guys have an interaction. You can pick up your clothes. It's fine. Yeah, I, okay. I have it yeah, in my cool. hand right now. I'm not actually, like, you know, putting it on because I would take another action. But I, will yeah, teleport, yeah, yeah. I will teleport 30 feet with my bonus action. That's my Blessing of the Raven Queen, mm -hmm, which cool. would put me right here. And then... Uh -huh. Because I have the action for the dash action, I just follow Hogdor. Okay, you're past Hogdor up there. Um, okay, uh, up next, the snowman. Water elemental is dead. The room, the water level rises. Uh, Cloak, give me a d6. A d6? What? Okay. For the water level, I think. The water level is still going up. Oh, oh boy, but... guys. <laughs> I think now we actually have to attempt to swim. Oh, at least I do. <laughs> now you're swimming. I mean, it's still the same speed, basically. You, you, although you could not jump your way out. Yeah, no way. Uh, anyways, uh, um, the room is done. Would you two give me a deck save at disadvantage? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, it's. Oh fine. boy. Can I can I use my elemental absorb thingy and not you take can. damage? You can. Just uh, just ignore this it. shit. <laughs> uh, Solomon. You okay, take half damage. Okay, I'm gonna do nothing now. I was looking at something. Ah. 
Disadvantage. Here we go. Time to take damage. Nah, disadvantage. Let's go. Deck save. Disadvantage. <laughs> du -du 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 -du. Hero mode. Come on. Let's fail. Uh, That's a fail. Hey, look, you're, you're, no. you have a deal on there. How much damage uh, are you taking here? As, as a reaction, I, I will Ooh. do the Oh, you guys are lucky. Thing. No, you what? guys are lucky. The last die rolled from a 6 to a 1. You take 10 lightning damage. Can I just mention the only time I've ever taken damage was just literally from, uh, re you know, Traps. environmental attacks. <laughs> well, oh. that's where the environment is for. That's true. Can I still Anyways. do the absorb element as a reaction? You can, if you want to take 5 damage instead. Yeah, please. Okay, so, spell <laughs> slot, Knock zero. Spell slot. For now, your punch is either shining with sparkling electricity. Although, you have nothing to punch. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe no man. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, Elarin, uh, Elarin, uh, he's like, he's thinking, man, I have a sudden feeling to want to punch Noman too. <laughs> Wait, what? I, do, I don't get it. Like, why would you want to punch Noman? I just <laughs> I totally don't know. understand. You uh, guys saw Noman pop up, pop back in and attack. That's a thing. No, it's, it's just a joke. But he didn't yeah, call we're just joking. He just didn't come back, but he's a little confused on why. Yeah. Alaren, it's your turn. Uh, I mean, I kind of uh, did shock Meteor. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> so, I'm swimming now, so I'm just going to take this. I have 20 feet. Am I out here? You are out. Okay, okay, bye. If you was a full moment, you'll be past Hobdor and Nomen. Uh, Meteor? Yeah. So, I suppose the same, right? It's... Yeah, you are out of the room. As you're leaving... Both okay. Alaring and you notice that the torches shut down. Hmm. Really? And the same happens with the rest of the... You know the, the lines of blue energy I described along the walls? Oh my god. I have a question. Like a DM question. Go. Could we have destroyed the torches or just extinguished yes. them or something? You Fuck! Could have them. <laughs> I was I thinking about, about that. actually. Oh, maybe I use my magic missiles and destroy three of the torches. But mm. you actually, <laughs> that would have worked. I gave the, each torch one HP. Oh, wow. Ah, That's no. funny. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, then. Well, I mean, with sparking electricity, I don't think uh, Elaren would, would even bother with it. The water level is still rising. However, for the sake of expediency, all the traps in the dungeon are not working anymore. Oh, good. So, you guys can lead. All right. So we don't have to walk through there. Though. I assume yeah, we, we get the heck out. I mean, unless you want to check something, I can break the map up again. Uh, I don't have I would any... like to only do one thing. So if I take an action to drink the healing potion, I'm completely full. But doesn't make sense um, because we are going back no, to no. town. Hold on. Uh, you're not you're not completely full. You regain 10 HP. I the thing what the thing oh. that we said was. Um, the healing potion has, has you rolling 2d4, and you regain 2d4 plus 2. What Mondu meant when he said you gain full is you don't have to roll the 2d4, you just get 8 instead of having to roll 2d4. So you get the ah. max that the dice would give you. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, but if we go back to town, then we are completely healed, or a bit, uh, uh, like rest. the long uh, rest? To be need fully rest. healed, you would need a, you would need a, long, a rest, long rest, which you guys also, can need. Okay. Yeah, we do. We do. We do need that. Also, if we go back, if we take the travel, the travel is going to be like two days. Yeah, yeah. at least two until days. Yes. If you guys until go we're back in time. Yeah, and 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 so we probably want to rest before we start traveling. I agree. Yep. That's uh, ah, like a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, All right. Are you guys leaving the dungeon? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Please. Oh, uh, and do we, we take do the we guy take with not us, of Yondu? Course. Yeah. Hey, you guys remembered. Uh, yeah, yeah, so oh my I remember. God. So, okay. yeah, we, we take him with so us. You guys sure. leave the dungeon. Um, we take him out. We can put him in the bag of holding. And Hold on. <laughs> Before we do anything else, oh. uh, Mondu, did he lock the door? Uh, he actually passed out before locking the door. Oh. Okay, so I'm sorry <laughs> I, to make I, I, when 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 we left, I noticed that the door wasn't there again. I didn't ask, but I because well, no man would care. The door wasn't there because hitboxes, but it, it was closed. But you guys never <laughs> heard that lock locking sound. Oh, you had okay. one job. <laughs> actually, I'm glad it didn't lock because I would have to lock pick it if he uh, passed out. Yep. <laughs> oh, our our uh, hawk bar smash. Yeah, oh, right. Exactly. Smash. Yeah. <laughs> All of you leave the dungeon. The water level is still rising, by the way. Uh, you swim up, and you're back into the, the little island. You find yourself at the company of no men. 
not no mint, sorry. Uh, oh my god, NPCs, Dorbin. Yes, yes. <laughs> bring, me, bring your minis over here. Oh, Dorbin, which doesn't need to have an HP bar up. Oh, minis in the middle, okay. Yeah. If I oh, this was the little druid guy that told you yes. about Yeah, the little druid. Ah, and you also okay. find. Quick. <laughs> Another hey, Dorbin. His twin brother. <laughs> no, you find his grandpa, Rakuta. Oh. Which you guys okay. met at the Druid Village? Yes, yes. Uh, Rat Attack? Oh, Did I hear that correctly? Yes, it's Rat, Rat Attack. Okay. But they were waiting for you. Rakuta came over to check how things went. And you guys are alive. If you want to talk to them, that would be fine. But for the sake of expediency, you, your mission is done. Does it have any merit if we talk to them except fun while role playing? Only fun. And I'm the gonna immediately. The, the, do we, the, the, the real question is: Do we have time for that? Like, do you guys have uh, time for that? Or it's midnight. It exactly, it's midnight. Uh, before we do quit out here, I'm gonna talk to Noman since we're, uh, you know, in a safe position. I'm gonna ask him if it's okay to, for me to take the artifact and put it in the bag of holding. If he's okay with that, to keep it safe. He has no idea what the artifact is. Like he said, he was just... sent as a guide for you guys. What? No, I'm talking. He's asking to me. Logan. I'm asking. Cole. Oh, oh, sorry, Dorbin Norman, it's my fault. You're fine. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I toss him the cube. Oh my god, he uh, literally. Uh, can I make a <laughs> dex save to catch that? Oh my god. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. It falls down, and you have to dive down to pick it up. <laughs> Regardless of what the uh oh. Uh -oh. The cube falls into the ground. Uh, either, actually, because you'd failed to catch it, Roy. Uh huh. I'm glad someone messed up the cube. Roll me a d100, please. Oh, oh. it's the wild magic cube. Wait, uh -oh. do I roll because it threw? Or... No, 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 no. Or... no, no, no. Roy fails, so he rolls. 17. 17. Mitya likes to <laughs> take a few steps back. <laughs> Hogdor does too. <laughs> no, Can't too late. A wave too late. of energy surrounds all of you from the cube. Rainbow energy. <laughs> okay. What all of you mean? grow a long beard. <laughs> Made of feathers. <laughs> even <Expensive>. even <laughs> Dorvin? All of them, including them, including both of them. Including okay, Dorvin. So Additionally and to my white beard, I have uh, an additional beard, or, or it extends <laughs> oh, my feathers. Beard is, the beard is made of feathers. Hogdog grow my beard. Oh. I want all of you to give me a con check. Okay. Okay. This is a sniffing okay. check, actually. Let's bring that over oh, it's from a the other campaign. Check. It's a uh, 19. Wow, 8. Uh, Meteor eight. actually was 25. Oh, 25. Ah, yeah, I see. Okay. Anyone over 15 is fine. I'm there was a few sneezes and the, 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 the feathers fly away. Fly away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the, so, so the beard is gone for everyone but Meteor? Yep. Meteor has a, has a beard of feathers on top of his normal beard. So can I just pull it out? Yep. <laughs> and it will not Okay, good. That, was, that had a purpose. No. Nope. It's like, oh, you're messing with the guy, and he the, pulls angrily at the, the feathers. The, <laughs> yeah, as the feathers fall from everyone, they pop in like a small firework. Kind of cool. Wow. And that's it. Do you pick well, up the cube? That is that is what the uh, wild magic table is. <laughs> yes. It's wild. I'm the no fire, kidding. Firework okay. is that something I added. The, the on, thing says it they explode. Where, that's probably where it's at. But uh, I'm gonna get close to it and look at it and see it. Well, not too close. I'm going to be at least 10 feet away. I'm going to just go look at it. Does it have any unstable magic right now or anything uh, uh, like crazy? Out, out of the little cute space that it's missing, there's like rainbow sparks coming out slowly, but nothing different from what you saw before. I'm going to take the bag of holding out and just quickly throw it in there. Okay, not throw it, but like put it in there. Wait, you put the cube in the bag of holding. Uh, yes. May you add the golden cube to the bag of holding? Yay. I have a and question um, for the it. wand. Um, my class don't uh, cannot even use the wands, right? 
Uh, anyone can use a wand as long as it doesn't require attunement. Mm, but if it requires attunement, what? Uh, well, this, this one, this one, this one does require. That one does, yeah. This one says it's spellcaster attunement. Under wand of magic, you see rare wand, and it says spellcaster attunement, which means you need to ah. attune to it. So you need to kind of spend an hour you need to with spend it. an hour looking at it. Oh, um, okay. Harassing it, licking it, sniffing um, it. Uh, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> not licking sure about it. a few of those. <laughs> I'm going to check if this specific one has a requirement on classes. Because, it requires attunement um, by a spellcaster, so technically you or no man can use it. Okay. Um, objectively uh, speaking, does it make sense for me to have it? I mean, if you have a wand in your hand, you can only do one punch. Actually, you can punch twice, but you would, you use the lower die. Yeah, you use the because one of your hands is taken by, by something. Okay, and if I uh, would do my magic spells, I would just get plus two for two attack, attack rolls. rolls. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, okay, it doesn't make sense. So, I go to uh, no man. Keep in mind the the loot and stuff you guys retrieve from this is requested by the by the, the the oh my god the milestone guild. The guild, yeah. You guys can choose if you want to keep something, but if you donate quote unquote the thing to the guild, you get points, right? You get uh, you get money. Money. How do you get points though? Is it based on level? Points up? is one plus your level. Oh, then mission, one right? question, um, because of uh, Meteor's alignment, um. Was this part of the quest or request to also get the loot back to the guild? Yes. All of this was... Uh, I mean, your quest was to get the loot back and investigate whatever the heck was, the, was uh, the Ah, okay. Yeah, then Mitya turns... Retrieve artifacts. Their mission was that plus retrieving you guys. Yeah. See, the nice. mission so, is um... complete. Uh, funny enough, both Rakuta and Dorbin both transform into a giant eagles and fly you back. Oh. Okay. Nice. Gando. I like Man. that. Hey, uh, before we leave on this note, Mondu, with the whole giant eagle thing, could I actually make a meditation check to get my key back? Uh, not needed. You guys are going to spend a few days flying. Okay. Just You're going to get a long rest. For uh, the purposes of this, the session is finished. Like, I, I'm going to do shot, some ask, or the two shots. ask That's you guys what items you want to keep or donate. How much money get you, you get back? Uh, Hogdor likes me, his shiny sword. So yeah, I'll also I'll keep the elven elven mail and get give back. And I kind of want to keep the, the ring of evasion as well. That's pretty good. Oh, enough. Uh, the that uh, sword Hogdor has the mark of the of the. Oh yeah, it does. Hmm. So that's probably something someone took from the party that went before and just dropped it. Since it was at the exit, you could figure that it was the fighter that dropped it. As right. He was fleeing from the mm. scene. Okay. So that you would need to return that. Because okay. It's a, it's a, Aww. It's a, I return. You, you can get it the next session. Can Hogdor do a persuasion I, I check these. to see if he can keep it? <laughs> well, it, mm, no, you, you can, can, His can persuasion is Hogdor-like shiny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The the sword is part of the item pool. You guys you guys can pick up. At the start okay. Oh. So uh, I return this. So Sorry, three empty vials and the potion of climbing. Let's see. You I keep the that. elven signal. Okay, so you get a. You use all of these. Now these three I used. Okay, they are gone then. Don't worry. Only one of them he used uh, was part of the Omega holding. These can go uh, back. Let me do this one. One of them is an empty vial, right? One of them, yeah, the empty one doesn't matter. Do we return our healing potions too? Um, if you Only have extra, from Mega Holding, yeah. I believe. What is uh, extra? Did, did you guys use points to buy potions of healing? Sadly, I did not record that. I, got I, I used, I I used one. one. Yeah. I yeah, I one. did. I did. I think yes, two. I think I grabbed. I mean. All of you had one potion of healing at the start. Yeah. Yeah, I used that one potion of yours. healing for, for, for so points. So, if you have a single potion of healing in your inventory and you still had others, you can bring it here. Right, so can I keep the one potion of healing or? If it was, did you, how many did you have before you drank your potion? 
I had three to uh, during the dungeon. One was from the bag of holding. One I bought, and one I had. Okay, then you if you still have one, that's yours. All right, cool. I'll so Hogdor can then. also keep one. Yeah, right? sure. Okay, um, from the loot you guys had, anything you want to donate? Anything you want to actually keep for future? Before you go, I will any... keep. I will keep the Elven chain. I will keep the Ring of Evasion as well. I'm gonna well, hold on. Let me let me do this. Okay, so rations it take what? How many days was it to the the ruins? For uh, it's like one and days. a half, I believe. Yeah. Was it two? Yeah, by now it'd be two days. It's nighttime outside. Two days in total oh, on the, the way back as well. Because... It would be two more days because you're flying in a freaking giant. So, so four in total. So if we were to divvy out rations, it would be six and an eight. It would be 14 in total with the, all four, uh, four of us, right? I, I like the dedication to counting the food. You're, so flying, with one... two, you're flying with two do it, druids. They can forage for food. Don't worry about it. Oh, well, then I guess... And I'm we were also turn... traveling with the druids, so we have the... I forget that druids can do that. Honestly, it just kind of goes over my like, head. They can create food with a good berry spell. Well, then I gotta give back all 15 rations out of the bag of holding. Uh, I give back the elixir of revival. We never used it out of the bag of holding. Uh, we never had. Did we ever use a tent? Did we never set up anything? Did we? No. Sleep. Did we sleep? No, no. We you just guys made took a long, rest. one long rest in the adventure. It was yeah. just one long rest. Oh, we didn't true. Use a tent. During we just... the night. We, we never we never specified that we we're going to use a tent, so. Okay. Okay, Pipe so... torches. We didn't use up any of the torches, so out of the bag of holding contents, uh, we have that golden cube, and of course, the this must be uh, Yondu, though. This wand of the do war mage. Uh, this was mm -hmm. set apart any loot that you found in the dungeon. This is not from the the, the guild, so this is actual loot. You can wish to, you can keep it or donate to the the guild for money. Oh, okay. Since I don't know which one is better, I would like your advice on that. I mean, it's a plus two to attack rolls with uh, spell attacks, so it would make you more accurate with your with your uh, shocking grasp and uh, firebolt if you wanted. Oh, okay. This is this is for you, Manu, since it's kind of hard to tell you everything. Basically um, everything from the bag of holding plus the golden cube and the dead body. And... <clears throat> you can, you can I... drop all, all you want to get back here. Oh, you want to put it over there? I can do that. Yeah. Here. And Wait, when I we it must... To the what? Oh, oh, sorry. So if everything... I return it to the guild, what do I do? What do we get? Uh, more money. Also, remember your rental items should come back. So your goggles. Yep, that's how I was going to give them everything. Yep. Hold on. Let me let me just bring everything over. I only had consumable rentals and I used them. Okay. Except for the potion of climate. Except for the climate. Uh, yeah. uh, rental, rental. And then bag of holding was not rental, but was part of the quest. And then I was gonna give back the where is it? The boots are tracking. I wanted to get back because I have no use for. It. I never got a chance to use it, anyways. But you didn't actually use them. You made bear tracks, like were bear traps tracks. Yeah, when we were walking, we had elf tracks. And oh yeah, tracks and the war yeah, yeah. bear. War oh yeah, I guess bear I did use it once, but that was it. So yeah, let me go ahead and give you this item back. I'm bringing the card. Uh, I did not use the rental consumables, so I'm gonna give back the one of the potions of healing. And I think that's it for the things you had. Yep. Cool. Everything else I kind I just own. Okay. Well, being that it, uh, let me see. Consumables, <laughs> rentals are fine. A bonus for not using the elixir for Bible. Here's your elixir, by the way. I found it. Uh... There you go. So not using the elixir for Bible. Probably the most expensive item you guys had on you. Well, you see, if one of the um the other explorers that went inside the ruins, if they had a chance to get revived, I probably would have taken it, honestly. You successfully found a, 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 someone that's alive from the quest. 
Yes, hello there. <laughs> Oop, people, oh, in addition to Midir. Uh, yeah, uh, we're just gonna forget uh, Midir, Midir even exists. That's a reward so. for you guys actually going faster than normal speed. You actually managed to find someone alive. Nice. So if that's we didn't a bonus. do that, I feel like Midir would probably actually never exist, let's be honest here. If you guys took a, uh, came here slower, I would have made Midir have either one point of exhaustion, so you guys would need to go out and rest, or be lower in some way. Yeah, lower fair. HP maybe. Yeah. Low HP, maybe. So you guys nurse him back to normal. Um, that holy water is pretty cool, though. Yeah, holy water, that's from the, the mage. So I assume you're going to just do all the calculations on your free time at this point since I think I'm already I'm doing time. it already. Two healing potions back. So that's, that's that. Wand of the war mage. Well, it depends how much gold do we get for that. Um, You will get uh, about a thousand gold for this. <laughs> I mean, the party will get it. Yeah, yeah. I... How are you want? Um, well... Can um, anyone even use that one, anyways? I mean, I, I would, I would want it, but Norman wouldn't sail it. If wait, if I will send you guys a, I will send you guys a little list of what you can do with the extra money you're getting. Because I'm going to update that what you can do with money. Uh, you can just so, send it to us whenever, right? If you also donate cool. something to the to the guild, you get money, and the, this one is going to be in the pool of items next time, if you want to pick it up for some points. So wouldn't it make sense to cash in the gold and then no man can take it next time? Yep. Yeah. But he, you need to spend points. Yeah. So I it's, the thing is the thing is if I points. take it next time, I would also have to give it back after the mission. Yeah. If we yeah. decide to keep ah. it, I can just keep it. You can just keep it, okay. but you miss out on gold. So, uh, once again, as I originally... Oh, right, since I have 17 HP. We did a long rest, and now we are completely full, and the spell slots are also oh, completely there. Get your spell slot. It's, you got, like, two long rest on the way. Don't worry. Okay, okay. so... Cool. HP well, back to full, well, key points back to full, everything back to full. Okay. Nice. Like, okay. ne next thing you guys would do would be, like, a few days after mm -hmm. or something. Cool. So, uh, as originally planned, I would like to... Uh, go over to no man as I noticed that the other two are not really that attuned to magic Be before, uh, before, you, before you did yes. that, uh, oh, again, I did the do once? Stumbled, so you never know go, 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 go. Do the thing. Yeah, and uh, I take out the the wand and um, Suddenly I noticed that no man seems kind of a little less intimidating than before Because <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a half a head shorter than you yeah. all of a sudden <laughs> Yeah, and I take out the wand and kind of make this this poking notion at him, almost poking him, and like, uh, well, I don't need this little insignificant twig, if you would like to have it, or we can no, also I, return it to the guild. I was the one who identified it, right? So I, uh, I know. I think exactly so. Yeah, yes. yeah you yeah, would know yes. what everything is by. Yeah, I knew by exactly now. what it was. So up to you. If you want to donate it, it's a thousand gold. If you want to keep it, you keep it. Well, I would most certainly make good use of it, more than any other in the guild. Then he uh, kind of flips it over in his hand, so the, the handle is on the other side, pointing towards Noman, and it's like just giving it to him. Hey. And uh, Noman kind of stutters a little and says, thank you. <laughs> Damn, that very development? <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> And uh, as you also come back, comes back, sorry, Hector. As you thank him, you notice that in in his beard there is still a feather. <laughs> <laughs> After two long days. <laughs> okay, so keep the wand. Good to know. And so return, return, return. The potions give you an extra for not using them. And the golden cube. Uh, Simple interaction. You guys see Cyrilla looking at the cube. Her eyes go wide like a cartoon over her bottle bottom glasses. And she puts a huge bag of coin on top of the counter. No words. So the entire party gets 6,250 gold. 
Are we turning in over gold the gold or tree? each? I think we have to. Uh, uh, but I don't what, what do you say? Do, could we theoretically take, keep the cube? No, the cube is part of your uh, mission. Okay. It's in your it's mission in report. And you're getting for all of for the cube the cube on it, in and of itself is five thousand gold of reward. Wow. Wait, uh -huh. so we get six thousand two hundred fifty in Every, total? You get six thousand two hundred and fifty gold as a party. You can divide it by the sixty fifty divided by four. Everyone gets this number of gold. <laughs> like how instead of reading it out, you just say this number. 1,562. Ah. So, uh, if it's add, okay for add you, your, your character sheet. Okay. So we divide it. Okay, cool. I mean, they, they kind of force you to divide it because they took everything and gave you gold as a party. Mm -hmm. We don't even know what's what in value. Yeah, yeah. They, they, that's really making a checklist. And that's that. I'm going to send you guys, like, I need to write down what you can do with the gold as an off time activity. God damn it. Uh, I'm gonna say you can spend 500 gold to level up. Oh, okay. To level 6. I'm... Can I do that twice? No, because level 7 takes <laughs> more money. How, how much, much is level 7? <laughs> uh, how much? I need to do math and it's kind of late. <laughs> okay, okay, let's 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 do that the next time then because if there's enough, so, I would go up to seven so, in a heartbeat. Yeah, me two too. Questions I feel for like you I would guys. too, but I don't know. Two questions for you guys. Uh, number yes. one, get, come over here to the map. Over here, yeah. Uh, where? Order. There. Oh, yeah. Big map over up here, here. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, let me get. Lake. Okay. This is where we were. Two mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cool. And also we probably went back horse. to Cherry Grove Village. I assume that's where the so, druids take us. Let me see. Orange flag over here. The not so nice forest. The not so nice forest. Red flag over here. Oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, and, scared. Mm, no. <laughs> of course, not scared. Red flag over here. Orange flag. That one's kind of hard to see. Over here. I mean, just angle yourself a bit. Oh, yeah. yeah, if you angle down a bit, you'll see it. And I'm missing one you, more place. You know we got to go to the question mark area next. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be your choice. Because now I'm asking you guys. Oh, my God, lag. Big lag. Uh, simple thing. For red flags, you're going to need to be level 7. Orange for six. orange flags, you can go at your current level. Is there I a green like flag for lower roll. level stuff? What? Sorry? Is there a green flag for level lower level stuff? Uh, no. Too easy, I would, you would think. probably like to go to one of the... Well, me as a person would like to go to either of these, but so... no one doesn't give a shit. Maybe, Norman, no. Norman would make the Norman would make the decision to depend of you guys anyways because he doesn't intend to go with you again, but it would just work <laughs> out that way. Well, the funny <laughs> thing is, I feel like Manu, as a guild person, he would probably just summon all of us again and just happen by fate. You can bring any character you want. Yeah, you guess you can the bring same characters. Character you yeah. uh, bring your minis over here to boat. Basically, you have a mission available at Mortis Boro. That's a swamp. Mm -hmm. A mission available in maybe the forest. That's a forest considered very dangerous. Specifically, target something that's preventing people from going through to the quote unquote safe path. I'm in the middle of these where, two. Where the, this little map conveniently has a big tree in the middle. And question mark over here, the ice area. People have, have gone there, no one has come back. Now you make and me really want to go there. Olivine Cavern, near to the sea area. Uh, there's been strange reports of fish people going around. Like, mm. um, 
maliciously or just going around like having a stroll? Um, <laughs> the flag is red. Take that as you will. <laughs> okay. It's like, oh, so, look, over there, by the riverbank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Drop your mini wherever you want to go to go <laughs> next. Really so good. I actually can prepare the mission. Okay. Mm, where's my figurine? I, I feel like we could just take one of the easier ones. The... I think we should. Mm -hmm. I, think I mean, I still my cove is super close I'm to sorry. the field area, isn't yeah, it? Too. So, like, it'd be super free to just engage. Extra information mm -hmm. uh, to... Twitch mission. Let me let me get the marker. Not that, not that marker. Uh, this one. To this one, you had to old-fashioned travel. Same for this one. For Oliman Cavern, you can. There's a teleporter circle in Quartz Leaf Town. Recently made. And over here, you could. There's a teleporter at Purewell Town. Over here. So travel time is not too long. The same as the last one, if not. Uh, we mm. where was the guild again? Here in Ice Made Ice Hill, Made, right? Yeah. The guild Correct. is at the top of Ice Made Hill, yeah. So we would have to travel over here, yeah. or I do we place... teleport to, like or do we teleport place, to uh, EU Watch Outpost? Uh, there's not a teleporter, yeah. Okay. It's not big enough, I do think. This yeah. post is uh, controlled by the people of the guild, so it's safe based. Okay, so it's safe like back. five five days of travel, is that? Uh, each hex is one day at normal pace. Because that would be around five. Unless we use horses again. And using horses <laughs> would be three days, roughly. Okay, I, I, I personally, me as the player, vote for the tree thingy because I would like yeah, to no, I, honestly, check out the tree thingy. I'm down honestly, for whatever. out of all the... Other than the question mark one, which is honestly the peaking of my interest, I it's intriguing. Think... It is. Yeah. I, I I agree. It is very very intriguing. It's but also I a level I seven like... quest. Yeah. Yeah. The pe if the thing is, if we can level up to level seven, uh, I would. So I, in that case, I wouldn't mind Actually, going there. Let me let me double check the level the challenge rating of whatever I'm placing there. To see if it actually level seven or maybe lower. Uh, not this one, the other version. Bruh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this one, you, you would need to be at least level 8. Okay. Bruh, the, the, bruh, bruh. The one I agree with the forest idea, then, no matter what. Oh, okay, doing. forest it is. Hey, you can go to the forest, gather some more sure. money and rewards. And uh, yeah. this is an extermination mission. This is Love like it. fun. Wait, what is an extermination I... mission? The, the we forest. We oh, the... shit, I'm down. We get the punch. Noman is a hundred percent down. Punching things come again. Yes, <laughs> dude, you missed it. So... Uh, I, I I punched wolves. It was great. Anyways, <laughs> that's going to be it for for everything. Yeah, good. One more fun. thing. I don't know. I don't know if if there's <sighs> time for that. But can we talk about whether we want to play with five players next turn, next week? Do we actually play next week? Is this only a thing? Is this a uh, thing we're gonna do on the side now? Because I would be down to do it every week from now on, but. That's just me. Oh, so much for multis, like, I guess. Fun. Yeah, I had amazing, fun. Like, amazingly yeah, it fun. It's super great. Super awesome. Wouldn't be my, I wouldn't mind doing it next week. Okay. Um, I, prep, I can prep for, for a week. And for the five player thing, I don't mind. Like, we need to kind of adapt the table a bit. Do you want me to? My vote my is still or... no, but. I just feel like five players is too many. That's really the only reason. I personally that's wouldn't it. mind giving it that's a, a try. Concern. Also, seeing five players, I would raise the bar a bit because you have more actions per turn. Mm, I, like this I mean, one shot took here. us five hours. It would, yeah, it would also lessen the. It's impact gonna take of even longer. I don't but know. But it was five hours of good content, say. Yeah, it was, but also I don't know. Yeah, it's really for say right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think Definitely. I have a better I have a better idea. How about we get uh, I mean here um, used to the D and D a little bit before we add another one. Yeah, yeah this so was do... what I was about to say. Um, I mean, I'm the new guy and stuff. I don't know if I can uh, vote also with you veterans, uh, but for you me it was kind vote. of. If you want to join the next session, you can perfectly vote too. Yes, I would love to if 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 you. <laughs> yeah, you no hesitation. Sure. Yes. Um, no, really, it was a lot of fun for me. Um, it, yeah. it was just sometimes for me very difficult to kind of place my action also within you guys, and I have 
the feeling that if the like one or two players additionally would come in then i have like no idea when i can say oh i would like to yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Also, big agree. Yeah. that happens a lot okay so so the way you need to do it is you just need to speak the loudest that's that's how that goes sadly yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I but i didn't to... want to interrupt <laughs> Could just do a turn order thing for things that we want I, to do. I did try to like move the spotlight to see, okay, you're doing that. What are you guys doing? Yeah, and that was really good. Maybe yeah. yeah. failed a bit, but. You I know what you we could do? do a chance to do stuff. Don't we have like. Jet, uh, well, I mean, if we feel like it's getting out of hand, we could put up like the stopwatch thingy that we had for the time where it's like, okay, I'm, I, because we, we spent a lot of time RPing. Which is, yeah. it was fun, it was great. I think yes. it was maybe, fun. maybe it was me. too much time because we could have gone there a little bit quicker. Uh, let, let, no. Let's. It was okay. Well, but I had fun. Yeah, then now you, what you have to understand is it's like midnight, it's pa half past midnight for mm. Say yeah, Word and sure work tomorrow. So. And also when we start, it's like 1 a.m., I think, for or like 2 a.m. for Roy, and it's 5 a.m. for Mondu. So. Time zones are a bitch, so yep. yeah. While it's like half past four for us PM, and I'm pretty sure the both of us could keep going for like another four or five hours, <laughs> no problems. Yeah, I, I not, do need to cook. <laughs> yeah, it's not that for everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. But like, anyway, now that now that I got this experience, I I kind of balance a bit more, so it's less time. Because obviously, I could not account for your guys, your decisions, and how you tackle stuff. It was Mind great. You. I loved it. You did a really good job. Yeah. I'm just going to say that. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. It was great. All well, every Everybody fun. everybody was great. I loved the role playing from, from Hogdor. I, I really <laughs> oh, like. I love Hogdor. Uh, I'm glad you Hogdor like Hogdor. Hogdor is just awesome. Laren yeah. was, really, was really fun as well. He acted like he would. Very cautious. Yeah. Checking everything. Yeah. Making sure to just move and stuff. Although there was no need for it. It's just. That's just what he does. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and then Meteor just times, Meteor's so just many... the old school dude who's coming in and <laughs> punching shit. He's a good researcher <laughs> apparently too. Seems like. But yeah, next I time... really like that pose. <laughs> next time you guys can use the same characters. You can change character a bit if you want. I would. I would probably if we don't get to level seven. I would probably like to swap my feet, if that's uh, if that's okay. Don't mind you can re re repurpose your cutter if you want to swap any feed or something you can do it yeah and pro possibly one i would swap out like, one spell. like like i said before this is a playtest area so spells and feats if you grabbed one you can swap like retrain cool. yourself that way you can experiment and see what you you have more, most the most fun with cool I feel like I, I got my character pretty uh, sought out well with the whole cautious out, uh, outlook, so I don't think he's yeah. going to be removing a word anytime I, soon. I like the characters. Again, it's, it's I, really funny how they work together. They're I really like the RPGs. dynamic we got. I'm really sad. Uh, I'm going to tell you now. There was a very very useful item in this in this ruin that you guys did not find. It was a high not DC bad. in the water, right? It was a really high DC in the water. It was a wand uh -huh. of magic detection. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh, that would actually be really useful. If you use the wand, it's not even a tournament. If you use the wand, the entire room would light up and show you every single illusion around. Oh, it's a freebie cool. puzzle thing. Let's go. Do, 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 it's a freebie do, do, do. puzzle, but save you some time realizing what the, what's the trap and whatnot. Anyways, I, I think Saren wants to try to step out. Be sure yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you good night. Next Sorry, time, Sarah, good night, step in the wind, my good dude. Night. Bye. I good night. Bye. Okay, good night. Good this forest. It's going to be a more straightforward thing. Yeah, cool. So yeah, cheers, dudes. Uh, I'll be ending it, stream and heading out. So yeah, <laughs> take oh, care. You're still Hi, oh, you're Oh, damn. <laughs> All right, thanks for hanging out, folks. Saw a few folks tonight, which was nice. And I'm dead tired, so I think I'm just gonna end. So <laughs> have a good one, folks, and I'll see ya. <laughs>